gentlemen and ladies, how are we doing? Um, I just realized I didn't have game capture on, because it was set to God of War. There we go. Deep rock. Now, hopefully, you should see. There we go. So, how are we all doing in chat? Please let me know that you can hear me, and I will introduce my guests once I have adjusted my... Ah, uh, where is it? My screen resolution. There we go. Right, perfecto. All right, so um, this evening we have Skullkeeper, who was in uh, here last time when we did this a couple of weeks ago. How are you doing, Skull? I'm doing just fine. Excellent. And uh, we also have Mr. Captain Silly Frog, who was also also not here last time. So uh, a vast just swabs. Yes, Yahar. Um, yeah, we also have Tank who was here until about five minutes ago and his power went out. So what we're going to do is rather than uh, wait for him, we're going to jump straight into a mission because something that this game does that's pretty cool is when he has power, he can just jump straight into the level and uh, join us. So um, yeah, looks like Chat can hear us. So do we want to get started on our mission? Sounds good to me. Excellent. Rock and stone, Rock and stone motherfuckers. All right. Now, the missions did change, but did we decide on what we wanted to do? Um, I'll do whatever, but bear in mind we don't have tank, so we'll we'll be three-manning it. Mm. And maybe don't... Yeah, don't do a hazard four until <laughs> until there's more of us, <laughs> but yeah. Do like a two or a three, I, I don't really mind. Oh, and uh, chat, while we're picking our mission, let me know what you're drinking, if you are indeed drinking. We will do a quick one, and we will go for the goal. Excellent. Right, even nuts and eggs. We're consented. So, yeah, anyone who was watching last time, I was playing as the driller. I am not this time. Uh, Silly Frog is playing as the driller. I'm playing as the engineer. So I've got, uh, like, mobile gun turrets, which is pretty fun. But I haven't played it quite as long as I played the uh, driller, so we'll have to see how it goes. What hazard level is this, two? This is on three. Three? Oh, God. All right. Oh, eggs. There we go. Straight away. Oh, no. These are even nuts, not eggs. Uh, we got some dirt there. Patrick McCarty is drinking beer. Well, good man. I'm trying a new cider. I have an Angioletti, which is an Italian cider that I've not had before. And it's pretty nice. I'll have to see if they actually have any when I go to Italy in a couple of months. That was the wrong button. There we go. That was the right button. That was the- yeah, I suppose that's always the right button, isn't it? <laughs> Getting a mag? Yep. Where is that damn view? One sentry gun, ready to be built. Okay, dropping a turret. Ready to shoot. That seems to be fine. Molly. Oh, I thought, do we- even if we don't get a swarm, I thought, do we always get- an no, amount it, of bugs? Uh, there's a big chance of getting a swarm when you get an egg, but it's not always. So there's a great likelihood, but okay. it doesn't mean that it goes one percent. But you will always get something, right? No. You might get a few stragglers, but okay, okay. You, won't get, you won't have a whole uh, swarm. Um. Right. Fifty. Where is it? Fifty-five titles. Zero random. Really enjoyed the Rings of Power videos and enjoying the Hobbit. Very entertaining. Appreciate all the effort those must take. Well, thank you. I am very glad that people are enjoying them. They do take a lot of time to do. And uh, unfortunately, there is going to be a little bit of a gap between part two and part three, because... Jesus, part three is something else. <laughs> is it that bad? It's that, it's that bad. I'm... Oh, no. Have you, you guys have both seen it or not? I, I actually watched it in cinemas when it came out. Okay, it's the only that one... That was on my... Uh... It's the only one that I didn't see in the cinema, because I just lost interest. 
Um, but yeah, so I'm, I want to say 30 minutes into the film, and I'm at about 15,000 words already. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a long one. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I have no idea how long it'll take. That's a meteor. Yes, it is. Yeah, it's a big one. Or she blows. Yar. Right, let me move my turret and then... There's also an egg over here. Where are you, turret? There we are. I caught Molly. Hey, Ender, how are we doing? Punch your shit here. Oh, and I have... I forget I have the platform gun, don't I? Also, uh, Skull, I forgot to check out those mods. I'll uh, have to do that for next time. Because I saw the, the one that predicts where your um, platforms are going to go. That one looked really useful. That is why I, I that is why I actually use it, but if you don't have it then, then that's alright. Oh fuck. Oh Where you good? Yeah, we're okay, I, did, I think. But somebody uh might deny to underneath my legs. Inventory If I did, I'm sorry. Are you gonna do a playthrough more like more like Ophelia or Achille? I'm not sure how to I'm answer sorry. that. Um what was the question? Are you gonna play more like Feely or Keely? Because, I mean, they're dwarves, obviously, but, um... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think I prefer Feely to Keely because... Well, I mean, Feely doesn't have much of a personality, but that's better than Keely, so... Yeah. And Ender is currently jogging on a treadmill. Well, listening. Good man. Bro knows how to multitask. Yeah. That's all. I'm full. Doing, doing 11k. Nice. Damn, dude. Right, I need to move my turret quickly. Are we... The thingy hasn't been switched on yet, has it? No, it hasn't. Okay. God, we're missing a scoot. I'm full. Heading to the mule. Donkey, come here. Oh, Janus. Well done. Secondary objective completed. Thirteen kilometers an hour. That sounds. What the hell? That sounds quick. That's uh, impressive. Yeah. This is the very least. Yeah, running is not something I was ever any good at. Um, like, if I go to the gym, I will get on a treadmill, but I typically, like, sprinting is, is, is only been the thing that I'm good at in the gym. So, yeah, distance and, um, yeah, all that kind of thing is not, is not for me. I just stick to my weights. Molly. Yeah, that's... so, I actually... I'm having a look at turning the garage into a bit of a home gym at the moment. And, um... Yeah, I'm having a look at a treadmill and some weights. Because it'll be the first time having anything like that at home. Hey, we'll an the... I've just called we'll Molly. I'm for the gym. What's that? It'll save you a membership on the gym. Oh, yeah, it certainly will, yeah. Plus, it uh, gives me an excuse to... Where's the turret? There it is. It gives me an excuse to actually clean the garage. <laughs> um, 55 Titles says, Did no one else think it was really weird how normal Keeley looks compared with the rest of the dwarves? I think that is weird, but I don't think he's the only one. Like, I think there's a, what, two, three, four of the dwarves that just don't look like dwarves. But then you can kind of get out of that because they're younger. Like, you, uh, we, we kind of have to assume that, like, a ten-year-old dwarf doesn't look like Gimli. So, you know, what do they look like as children? Probably, or, you know, young adolescents? Probably something like Keely. But it's it still looks a little bit odd. Especially as well, because, like, Thorin doesn't have a great big bushy beard. Um, and he's... I believe in the book, I think he's the oldest, but I can't remember. God damn it, there's a pebble in my boot. Jackhammer connected. Everything looks good. Right, do we want to do the cracking, or do we want to... Is there an egg nearby? There's, there's, I think the rest of the eggs are in this area, actually. There's, there's two eggs, like, above us. They are the last two, yes. Okay. That's how we crack. 
Yeah, go for it. Let me um, move me turret. Make sure I've got it where I need it. All right. And it's the battery things that we've got to that we've got to protect. Yep. Yep. A repair. Okay. Um, yeah, go for it. I'll move my turret up to All this right. one up here. Oh, for fuck! No. Oh, jeez. No, I'm okay. That's good. <laughs> that was close. Hello. Yep, we're good. We're good. Uh, this is. Luckily, we have our shields. Otherwise, I would be dead here. Right, let's try that again. Right, come on, turret. Do your thing. Oh. This is the thing with playing engineers. I don't really have any of the upgrades. <laughs> Sorry, Skull, I just shot you. So yeah, like it really seems to be down to where I put where I put my turret. Alpha. Yeah, something killed me. Oh, that was a splitter. What's um what's the next weapon that I get to replace my uh to replace my weapons on the engineer? Um if you've not unlocked it already, you will get an SMG. And that replaces the shotgun? Yes. Okay, I don't think I have that unlocked. I'll check. After the uh after it's level. Called the scubby. Okay. Good God, I'm taking a beating. Well done. All that's left is to deposit the core samples. Well, at right. least it's over now. Yeah. Glad I ain't the one to sort this stuff later. Mule zip. There we go. Mule reel. No. Why is it running away? Well, that's Molly for you. There we go. Well, that's, that's all of them. Was last time. Yes, it is. Right, I need some, um, red sugar. So long, suckers! Do we know where there might be some? Oh, oh. I think there was some over here, but I... Let me check. Yeah, there's some over here. Lovely. Alright, getting an egg. I'm fairly confident this one will spark a swirl. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm ready. Ah, uh, there we go, health. Now we're good. Until I lose it all again. There we go. Oh, it fell down. It's in the meteor. Swarm, where are we, where are we defending? Uh, we're all here, so I reckon this is a good spot. Okay, yep, good idea. Come on, Sentry, come on. Come on. Here we go. Oh, watch out! Exploders. Yep. They're coming out the ceiling. And yes, those are splody boys. Yeah, if I freeze them, they don't explode. They don't explode. If okay, nice. But only if they haven't started their animation yet. Okay. Just to make you mindful about it. That's a big boy. We have one more, one more egg after this one, or? Yeah, one more. Okay. Are we good? Not yet. Nope. Hey, Truffle, how are we doing? And Jarvis, welcome. Be done soon. Uh oh. Okay. I keep forgetting to reload my gun. There's got to be a mod for that. Uh, good it, just, 
tells me, like, reload your gun, you fool, or something. <laughs> Risk it for that. Is here. When you freeze them, they don't just like automatically die. They just remain frozen for a period of time. No, yeah? I uh, I got a special mod in it that gives a chance for them to instantly die. Okay, nice. But that's a special attachment. That's not by default. So I think this is the last thing. Uh, yep. J.M. Gonzalez says, All this noise, and yet what wakes up the Balrog is a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> That's true, though. Yeah. Was that the final egg, or are we, did we drop one? Yeah, no, that was the final egg. Okay. Ah, explode it. Deposit it and get the hell out. No, we're... We're on two out of four. I think we're missing one. I think. Oh no! no the, the ones near the uh, near the meteor. I just fell down. Oh okay, okay. Here we go. About to deposit. Press the button right away. Ready to go. Ah, here we go. What? Platform up. I, yeah, yeah, I'm good. Go for it. I'm just trying to get to you. Keep it together. Drop pod is en route. I'm bringing me platforms. Fighting bugs and moving dirt is the best way to make a living. Let's see you at the smaller land. Drop pod is going north. Okay. We need to go back. Guys, are you blind? Molly carries yeah. minerals. Well, that wasn't too bad. I was a good warm up. Yeah, for, yeah, hazard three. I was expecting that to maybe be a little harder, but I I went down once. Not bad. Not not too bad. That was a pretty small cave as well. Ah, bugs. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Yep, there we go. Hello, Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. Rock and Stone. Sourcemaker says, I don't get this game. Why having one team of minor, sharpshoot minor sharpshooters instead of miners and sharpshooters? Having people specialized in their jobs is a thing, people. Yeah. Well, yeah, everyone in this game has a gun and everyone can mine, but everyone has different guns and uh, everyone is... Well, yeah, they have other abilities that make them, make them distinct, so... I don't think there's really much overlap in this game, honestly. Like every, I think you're thinking a little too much into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, every everyone can complete every mission. Like theoretically, you could complete a mission with four of the same class, right? Yep. Yes. It'll just be a pain in the ass. You kind of miss out on back all the in the synergy. day. It used to be the build used to be four scouts. Way <laughs> way back in the day. Well, all right. Right. Let me check my perks quickly. Dark Morkite again. Do we have a mission where we can take advantage of that? I'm gonna check what I don't. Well, it hasn't real jets, and there are missions, but like they don't have anything special, so. Okay. So is Tank coming back on, or is he just gone? Um, I will see if I can get hold of him. Give me a sec. I mean, if he can't join us, maybe we could get Truffle. So, unfortunately, although I would love to get Truffle on, 
um, the version of the game that he has is the uh, Microsoft Game, game one. Past One, yeah. and for some stupid reason, you you can't play, you can't you can't crossplay with people who have the Steam version. No, nope. it's not interchangeable, sadly enough. So the the only way yeah. for that to work would be if he were to buy the game again on Steam and start from level one, which is honestly bullshit. Like you you shouldn't have to do that to yeah. just play a game. But yeah, that is unfortunate. But yeah, we'll give. Um, I've I've messaged I've messaged Ryan. I'm not sure if he's if he's available. I mean, I know that he's not available right now, but if he is available and Tank can't come back, then he may be able to come on. I don't know. Um, but yeah, otherwise we'll uh, probably do another mission as three, and I will see if Tank gets back to me. Uh, for anyone who's just jumped into the jumped into chat, uh, we had Tank, um, and then his power went out five minutes before we went live. <laughs> Which is unfortunate timing, but yeah, shit happens. It's very unfortunate. What the fuck? Ow. Oh, I've set up the goal in here. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. No, that's not fair. Right, anyway, what was I doing? Checking my perks. Um... That one seems very silly. Loot bugs explode when you get within two meters of them. Yeah, that one's more for... It's more of a gimmick. Yeah. It's not worth the slot, because you're limited in how many perks you can even take, right? Yep. Perk obtained. Righty. Um, okay. Do we, do we need booze for this one? Um... Also, what is this? Football. This game has football. Sort of. <laughs> okay. Yay. Kind of. Yay. Keep it up, Lloyd. Uh, it's dark morke, so I'll just get us a normal drink. Okay. Round of Oilios, please. Stone and we're rock. doing what? Salvaging mules and collecting fossils. Alrighty. I believe this is your assignment mission. Mine. Yes. Okay, nice. Because the the assignment that I picked is just the weekly one. Because I have not done the weekly one before. I don't think so. Yeah. Oh wait, Fair is enough. that the? Yes. That's yeah. the priority assignment. Um, let me have a look. We uh, got yes. the corn on. Oh, I'll take that as well. Weekly priority assignment. I yeah, but I still need to do that one. It I think is yeah, it's three missions long. Yeah. But I also just stuck it so that way I also get progress. Oh, oh nice, okay. Track. Did you hear a rock and stone, Loud Soup? Rock and stone, beautiful dwarf. Well, now you did. <laughs> right. Let's roll. Drop sequence initiating. Fasten your seatbelts. Did I hear a I suppose, yeah, with, with regards to Tank's internet, there's maybe... Well, it's not even his internet, it's his power. But there's probably not a huge amount that he can do, because, you know, he's on a boat, so... <laughs> Yeah. Guess it depends on what the cause is. This rock is gonna be the death of us. Pull yourself together! Rock on! Time to collect your paycheck! This is a salvage mission. A previous crew lost their mini mules, their drop pod, and their lives in this cave. Find and repair the lost mules, get the drop pod operational, and return to base. Expect heavy infestation, and try not to mess it up like your former colleagues. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking about um, other games that we can kind of do this kind of thing in, and one option is Secret Hitler. I don't know if you guys have ever played it. It's a card game, like a social what? deduction game. I have not played it. Okay. Um, it would require... like it. It works best when you have a lot of people, like maybe eight players, I think, possibly ten players. And um, it requires that people own tabletop sim. I've just been yoinked by a, a Gribbly. It's got me. It's picked me up. Oh, Grab yeah, it. coming, yeah, coming, you. running. Don't think I can make it in time, but uh, we'll not follow your cops. Where the hell did you go? 
Um, oh, you already went to the next cave, you bloody map man. Yep, yeah, sorry. <laughs> there we go, it's, it's let go of me. I think I'm okay. I tried to shoot it through the wall, but my gun didn't pierce deep enough. Right, I'm gonna try to get back to you. Where are you? You're over there. Yeah, I'm, uh, oh, I'm God. Oh, it's all gone horribly wrong. Oh, yeah, that's, uh... Yeah, the Raptor. Raptor is dead. Right. I think I'm out. I think I'm out. We've also got a breeder, which is a bigger problem. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Vamos, vamos. Vamos, vamos. There we go. Thank you, Sentry. Andale, andale. Andale, andale. I can't reach the damn thing. There we go. Uh, yeah, the breeder has to die, yeah? Yeah, but my, my frost gun can't reach it. I might be shooting at some damage, but not enough to get the thing out. Oh, there we go. Now's your range. Yeah, the shotgun's not great yeah, against this thing, but... Oh, you got it. Nice. That's also the bonus about the frost gun. If you freeze any frying creature, it's just dead. Because it will just fall to the ground and crack. There's a roly-poly... Ah, oh, damn it. Um, Truffle, yes. Um... Chapel says he's played Secret Hitler a few times, the board game IRL, not on a PC. Um, yeah, I've played... It's a bit different when you play it in real life, because obviously you can see people's reactions when they're pretending to not be a Nazi, and it's like, they, they are in the game. Um, whereas it's probably a little bit harder when you're playing it on a computer. But yeah, it's a, it's a very, very fun game. And um, where is it? Ashen, Ashen One in chat. Welcome. I don't think I recognize your name. Um... Am I letting subs join you? So this, not currently, that's not really how I'm doing it. But basically, the guys that I'm playing with now are on our Discord, which there should be a link for in this. Oh, another grabber! Yep, yep. Where? Yep, I see you. You should be next to my gun. Yep. So yeah, basically, we kind of plan out community game nights like this. We've done games that aren't this as well. Uh, plan them out in advance and uh, people who are regulars on the Discord are welcome to jump in if they play them. What is this goopy shit on the floor? Like, is it is it spreading oh. or is it just there? No, it's just there. Uh, okay. Well, there's a whole lot of shit in this cave. Right, let me find something to mine. If anyone sees any sugar, let me know as well. Yeah, I hear. Thank you. Your own fault for being right, next to the Nexus. Dead. Uh oh. There we go. All jolly and good. Uh, Skull, your uh, girlfriend's in chat. What? <laughs> she, oh, is he in trouble? She's in chat. <laughs> You're fucking Or at least someone claiming to be her is in chat. <laughs> yes, that's her. Hello, Alexis. <laughs> um, right, 55 title says, random what's next after you finish the third Hobbit video. There is going to be a fourth Hobbit video. Um, I'm not joking. The, I know there's only three movies, but I'm doing a final autopsy on it, same as how I did Rings of Power. Um, after that, I don't know. I have a couple of ideas, but I, I'm kind of not thinking about it until I'm done with The Hobbit. Because, uh, yeah, the next two Hobbit videos are going to take me a little while to do. I was going to watch them all at once, so... Oh, God. <laughs> That'll take a while. I'm not sure I could do I that, need, Jesus. Great work. I need something to do at work, man. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> um, right, this scanny thing... Oh, you're finding the legs. Do they appear on the map when you switch that on? Is that how that works? Yeah, when you scan it, it will show them on the map. But we already got... Oh, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, nice. I wasn't yeah, paying they, attention. They turned purple. Okay. There's a roly boy.
We have uh, so many fossils not, on the wall. Uh, uh, there's still plenty we can find in the cave. Okay. Don't press the bottom of Molly yet. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I reckon there's plenty of shit we want to dig out. Should we bother with Nitro or no? Yes. Uh, we need Nitro. Okay. There's a whole load of it there. Calling Molly for a jazz crystal. Um, I could use an ammo drop soon. I'm out of my grenades. Uh, let's see where the base is and drop it over there. Okay. That's over here. I'm gonna call one. Okay. I'm full of nitro, so that should give us another one. God, this goo is annoying. I know. That's why I, I hate the bogs. Yeah, bogs not great. Ugh. Four miles. I wish we had the scout because God, we have so many fossils that we that we cannot uh, reach. <laughs> we need to get tech to the Always away. Um, so Ender says, is four miles in 30 minutes good? Um, well, put it this way, it's better than I could do. I need metrics for that. that form. Well, so it, I know that a six minute mile is, like, good. Like, very good. Um, so, yeah, four miles in 30 minutes, I'd say that's, that's good, yeah. It's definitely a lot better than I could do. Same. I miss the days I used to be able to run 10 kilometers in like 43 minutes. Yeah. Oh, that's no longer the days. Yeah, running was never my thing. Uh, when I was younger, I did competitive swimming. But yeah, running, no. Even when I was good at swimming, I was just terrible at running. I don't know why. I used to run and surf a lot, but those days are... Uh... Not there. Yeah. Anymore. Yeah, we discovered alcohol. Yeah, we're pretty <laughs> much, yeah. And all the interesting facets of life. Yes. Do not go into too much detail. Oh, is that a tank? This is a tank. Hello. It's a tank. Oh, hey, no. tank. <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, so we're live, obviously, just so that you know. Alright, uh, someone sent me an invite. Um, yep. You are not online currently. I should be. Can you, can you not? Wait a sec. You, if you have me on your friends list, you should be able to just join, right? Or uh, Skull's hosting the game, so maybe if you have to join from him. Yeah, I would have to join on him. Okay. Uh, or someone would have to send me the invite, yeah. Let me... I uh, just oh, sent yeah. you one on Discord. I see you, yep. Oh, perfect. There we go. Okay, I'm coming oh, in. Fuck. Right, now we have a scoot, and you can help us get the final, um, fossils. We just need one more to go on in my inventory. We oh, there it is. We haven't done the, um, the double XP mission, or did that one disappear? That, it disappeared. Ah. Uh, can sorry. somebody do me a solid and keep pinging that fossil, because I'm digging uh, through the ground to get to it? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Almost there. Okay. There we go. Ooh, and I got a friend on near me. If oh, yeah, yep. yep. Could possibly take care of that. Have would we, be great. Have we, um, can I do a supply drop or are we. There's one near the base, we? but, uh, let's see how much. We, uh, we have 184. You should easily be able to open it. Uh, okay. The supply drop doesn't, uh, doesn't knock it off. Oh, no, no, no. I meant to, because I'm out of, I'm out of grenades, is what yep, I meant. I got it. We have a tank inbound. <laughs> oh, okay. Hello, hello. Tank is here. Where is Tank? And that almost dropped on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tank. Um, okay, so where is it? I think I think oh, we got it. Good. Okay. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. So, is there anything else we want to grab on this mission, or are we done? Uh, we don't need to, to finish the mission by, uh, but we probably want to see what minerals are around because I okay. reckon we missed a whole bunch, especially it's... over there. Oh Jesus! Yeah, this cave is bigger than I thought it was. Uh, I'm here. 
So, um, oh, there's also just I need to read this because Truffle said, Yeah, I was going to say I used to run 5k in 30 minutes 10 years ago. Now I eat 5 kilos in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds about uh, right. Oh. Uh, I, I actually just did a personal best uh, 22 in uh, 22 minutes 5k. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And in the chat, Ashen One says maybe he will or they will end up in a game one day. Um, you are free to join us, good sir or madam. He doesn't have <clears throat> doesn't have Discord. Yeah, if you, I mean, there's some people who are like in the Discord who literally don't use Discord. So if you do want to jump in, then feel free. Um, even if you only use Discord for this particular server, it's totally up to you. Um, but yeah, potentially. We may, may end up in a game together. Um, also, 55 Titles asked, have I, have I watched House of the Dragon? I have not. Have you guys, any of you guys watched it? I have. It was surprisingly good. Okay. Um, I have not. I, I am about to commit cultural genocide here and say that I've never <laughs> actually watched Game of Thrones. Okay. I so... watched all seasons extensively, <laughs> including the last two. Yeah, we don't talk <laughs> about them. No. <laughs> so how I does... haven't... Yeah. Sorry, thank God. I was going to say, I haven't watched it, and I only watched season one of Game of Thrones, so... Yeah. I also have to okay. mention, House the Dragon may have been absurdly good, in my opinion, because of rose-tinted glasses of the last season of Game of Thrones. So, you know, if you have to compare it to that, which is the most logical conclusion, um, it's not a really a high bar to make it look good. So how do you think it compares to, like, good Game of Thrones? Like relative to season, I don't know, three, two, two, three, four, one, two, three, four of Game of Thrones. How do you it's think? It's a far more condensed story because there's a lot less characters. So, okay, um, this, the story it wants to tell flows a bit easier. Where in with the earliest seasons, you would kind of like go from side story to side story to side story in like an episode because they had to juggle so many characters. Yes. So, um. And because of that, it can also focus a lot more on its character, and they do try to, not flawlessly, absolutely not, but they do a lot of the of the character building. Because it, House of the Dragon takes place over like a, like multiple decades. Am I right? Like there's a time jump. Y yeah, there is a time jump. Uh, episode six, it jumps if I recall correctly. Okay. Uh, there's like a big time jump and. Even in between, like, the, um, there's going to be, like, um, time jumps as well. Like, it could be an episode, and suddenly the next episode, like, the actors won't have aged up or anything, but suddenly, like, four years or something like that has passed. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I definitely need to watch um, The House of the Dragon. I just never got around to it. I, I was busy with other things, let's say, when it, when it came out. <laughs> uh, we've also got... Uh, where's the name gone? Stuart Knoll, Sup RFT, good to be here for a live stream. Well, welcome, and I'm, I hope you enjoy. This this thing here is one of those secondary things where you get, like, a cosmetic, right? Put some shells in the uh, this, no, this is oh, part no, of the actual... Oh, okay, okay. Thing. No, the, um, little mini mules missions is, like, you need to repair them. Yeah. Come to here, link him up, and after this thing is linked up, there's going to be a fuel cell we need to collect to the uh, main ring. Yeah, Put okay. That again, and then we're done. I think I've only done this mission. I want to say once or twice. It's, I can't quite remember. It's one of my favorite missions. I'm personally a big fan of Liquid Wall Kite. Oh yeah, that that one's yeah, hands down my favorite. Drill the main, so that's uh, particularly bias. Also the um, the escort mission where you're on the big drill, that one I really like. That's also nice. Because it's very different to the others. It, it makes a nice change of pace. Oh, we have a Steve, because obviously we have a tank now. <laughs> uh, no, that was the That's other. The oh, that wasn't yours. I didn't find an, uh, like a suitable Steve yet, and now I found one. So. Uh -huh. I always like the drums. Shield 
Um, chat, while we're doing this. Last movie you watched. Go. Uh, last movie was actually Zulu. Oh, nice. I still need to watch that. We need to do that for a movie night at some point. It's great. I love it. Yeah, like I, I actually think the last movie I watched was Scream in the movie theater. I don't watch movies. Was this the as in original Scream or as in the new one? The one that was uh, that was released not too long ago. Okay. Um, last film I watched was I think it was called The Insider, which is a Michael Michael Mann movie, which I had never heard of, and I really like Michael Mann, but I'd never heard of the movie. So we just put it on the other day, and yeah, it was really good. Um, it's basically like a story about a whistleblower and an investigative journalist uncovering uh, basically screwy things that went down involving tobacco companies in the 1990s. And uh, yeah, very good movie. Russell Crowe and Al Pacino. I like Al Pacino. Al Pacino is very good, yeah. He's, I, I said to Ryan, because I watched it with Ryan, and he, I think, is the, he's usually the highlight of any movie that he's in. So for this bit, we want to stay close enough to it, yeah? For it to do yeah. it quickly. Okay. Yeah, you just stay in the green bubble. Okay. All oh, right. yep. Got it. But only one person... Oh, I think only one person actually has to stay in it. Uh, I assume it, it, it's quicker? It, it, it's the more people that are in it, the yep. speed. Okay. Well, it's not necessary, but it does help. In that case, I will move my turret. Uh, the turret was actually fine there. Oop. Oh, well, I can't reload it if it's over there. And stay here. Oh. Ah. Uh oh, grab her. Grab her. Grab her. Uh, yep. Fine. Uh, I am out of bullets. Okay, last movies people watched. End game. Um. Oh, there's another grabber. Oh, okay, okay. There he is. Yep. Dead. Original Lion King and Aladdin. Well, good choice. Those are definitely two of the best Disney films, I think. And uh, incidentally, two of the worst remakes. I finally remembered mine. I was recently re-watching The Hunger Games. Okay, what do you think? They're like all right. Like I, I haven't read the book, so I can't compare it to that. I think they're entertaining. Are they amazing? No. Are they bad? Nah. It's just a good watch. I mean, I think the second, no, the third, the second one, I think is decent. The third and fourth, I think, are awful. But I, I have, I couldn't tell you why. I saw them years ago. Uh, I'm gonna say I think uh, the Hunger Games has a uh, has a great uh, idea, and I, I think we should implement it. I don't remember his name, but the one who plays presidents. No, that's just oh, oh that's um, Donald Sutherland. Yeah, Donald Sutherland. Yeah, he's good. Uh, he's really good. There's a great movie, um... and they recently announced a, a prequel. Okay. Mm. So that's about young, the young President Snow when he was a um, a game boy, when he ch when he with the first mental ship or something like that. Isn't that going to be a TV show, or am I thinking of something else? Yeah. Maybe it is. I'm not sure. And I, I know I saw a trailer. I have no idea if it's going to be a show or or if it's going to be a movie. Could be both. Okay. I'm not invested enough to. Uh, no, me neither. No. I'll watch it when it comes out, but I'm not going to follow it. Yeah. If you want to watch a good um, 
a good movie with a uh, with a young Do Donald Sutherland. Um, uh, Kelly's Heroes. Oh. I no, I have not seen that. I don't think I've heard of that. And it's tomorrow, and um, well, I want to say might. Uh, I'll probably say probably going to regret that. Gonna see Guardians of the Galaxy three in the cinema tomorrow. I've heard, I've heard it's actually good. pretty decent. Yeah, yeah. Because normally I would I would be in the crowd that would basically see Marvel movies like on opening night, but the last few have been not so good. That's a <clears> polite <throat> way to say it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So <laughs> me and my mates were like, yeah, we're we're not we're at the point where like we're not gonna go on opening night. We'll wait for the big opening weekend. See how reviews are after that, and then we'll go the weekends after yeah. that. Because we're no longer willing to put our money down, so... Uh, I mean, if nothing else, I trust that James Gunn will not make a bad movie. Whether it will be good is a different question, but... yeah. Ooh, I've unlocked stuff. Ooh, that's noise. I need it. Um, yeah, so Kelly Hero Kelly's Heroes is a World War II film about a bunch of Americans going uh, deep into um, German-held territory to rob a bank filled with gold. Okay. Ooh. And it has, if I remember correctly, Clint Eastwood, Donald Sutherland, yeah. And also one of the most brain worm uh, opening theme songs. When was it made? Is it like 60s, 70s? Uh, I believe it was in the 70s. Okay. Yeah, it was uh, no, no 1970s. Yeah. And let me see. Yeah, Clint Eastwood, Donald Sutherland, Telly uh, Salvez, Don Rickles, uh, <laughs> Carol O'Connor. Uh, George Savalas, yeah. Don Rickles uh, voices Mr. Potato Head, doesn't he? Or yeah. he voices someone else in Toy Story, I forget who it is. I think it's Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Um, oh, Gene Collins is in it, too. Huh. I don't know who that is. Oh. Yes, yeah, and... 70s movies, I've, I've, I've seen select 70s movies. Um, once you get any earlier than, like, 1970, it gets... It, hazy for me. I've only seen very specific movies that are older yeah. than that. Uh, Kelly's Heroes is like Dirty Dozen. Uh, I'm no Dirty Dozen is not is not that great. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna be contrarian on that. How about how about Small Soldiers? <laughs> Which basically I do like just Small has, Soldiers. It just has the it's Dirty so Dozen. It's so stupid. It's great. <laughs> Rock and stone. Uh, to the uh, yeah, Small Soldiers is that was one of my favorites when I was younger. It's like, wait, but you put, like, military chips in toys, but why? And the movie just never never has an answer to that question. It's like, because oh, why I, not? Why not? Like, because why not? Yeah. <laughs> Get ready to rumble. Oh. Um, Caden says that apparently the new Hunger Games is going to be a movie, not a TV show. Oh. Interesting. Yeah, what was what's the other one that's Jumanji, the um original Jumanji, that was another childhood favorite. Mm. I mean anything with uh with uh Robin Williams was generally pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I have fond, I have fond memories of of uh Flubber. Yes, Flubber. <laughs> <laughs> um oh, Alrighty then. Right, what is this mission? More kite. Oh, righty. More kite, and we need to kill. Uh, Fester fleas. Yeah. Alrighty. Right, I'm got the turret down for these fuckers. Oh. Goddamn walls. There we go. Um, Caden, I don't think you missed any channel updates. Uh, no, I don't really have any channel updates, honestly. Um, I'm in the process of... Well, I say I've in the process of... I've just uploaded the lounge music version of the Misty Mountains theme to the second channel. I haven't yet made it public, because I literally did it just before going live. 
So I need to listen to it and make sure that it's, you know, not muted and that it's uploaded correctly. Oh. Um, I think that's kind of it. I'm uh, about 15,000 words into Hobbit Part 3. Uh, Hobbit Part 2 is doing very well. It's doing better than any of my other videos so far. So big success with that. Very happy with that. And thank you to all of you guys who have watched it. Um, yeah, it was really good. Thank you. Uh, it took, took quite a while to make. <laughs> Um, I couldn't. I couldn't watch the spider parts, but yeah. Spider parts. Oh, do you not do spiders? Oh, I do not do spiders. Okay. Um. Yeah. No. Af Afghanistan really fucked me for those. Does this maybe explain why you don't think Australia is a real place? Because no, I just also I've never met a I've never met an Australian, so it doesn't exist. I I'm not a big fan of spiders as well, but my arachnophobia is not as severe as some people. I've actually backpacked through Australia and. You're lying to me because Australia doesn't exist. <laughs> to a continent claiming to be Australia, and... There's no such thing, there's nothing there. Fucked up spiders. Uh, we had a lot of poisonous ones. And well. the, the craziest I've seen was near Cairns, in the northern part. And it was basically these fucking, like, the size of your... I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try and be as little graphic as possible. It was big. We got and a wasp nest here, by the way. Female in the middle of the nest. I forgot the name of it, and it was like it had like a, a big orange ass. Okay. And there were like five or six smaller ones on the end of the nest, and those were apparently the males. This species has a interesting life cycle, namely, um, the web the males make is stronger than that of the female, and once the female is ready to be. Um, Fertilized, she will <laughs> emit a certain pheromone, uh, giving hints to the males like you know she's ready. Um, if there's something in the nest, the males will go try to get to it before the female does, and they will ensnare that prey. Because uh, then, when the female starts to feed, it will take her a long time to get through that stronger web that the male makes uh, when she's trying to feed. Uh, giving the gentleman plenty of time to uh, do their dirty deed. Uh -huh. um, at that point, when she is pregnant, um, she's getting a bit more hungrier, and to save her appetite, she will eat all the meals, <laughs> all of them. And when she is finally ready to hatch, she will pop around about between 80 and 100 little ones. Who, in turn, to survive their growing month, will eat their mothers. Good God. Yeah, that's... You, see, that's why Australia does not exist. I fucking hate oh, yeah. spiders. Yeah. Um... I even though they're not... Go on, go oh, on, sorry. I was gonna say, even though they're not actually real spiders, um... I, 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 I've shown you the camel spider, right? Yeah, yeah, I've seen... I, well, yeah. I say I've seen them, I haven't seen them in real life, but I know what they are. So, they will actually chase you. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. They scream. They scream while they're doing it. <laughs> because what they want to do is they want to, uh, um, they want to, uh, sit in oh, your, uh, sit in your, they want Thank to you. sit in your, um, uh, shadow. Uh, okay. So they move around based on where you are. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's some, um, I'm not gonna sleep tonight. Thank you. I remember. Uh, only, you don't see them. You, you'll only see them in, like, Afghanistan and Pakistan and Well, you won't, you won't see areas. them. You'll hear them. <laughs> uh, no, you'll see them. They're pretty big. Oh, fuck me. I know I, um, because Annabelle, my wife, she doesn't, she doesn't do snakes at all. Um, oh. and I, uh, I want to say, is it the Black Mamba, I think, that, like you just said with the spider, they literally chase people. Yeah. Um, and I think they can move at, like, how fast? What was the speed that Ender said in chat? I can't remember, but I think that... I'm trying to work out if the if the Black Mamba could outrun you, Ender. I think it was about sort of 10 to 14 kilometers an hour is how fast they can move, which for a snake is pretty damn fast. Uh, yes. Yeah. That is very fast. Because, like, people think that snakes, like, maybe because they've just seen snakes on a plane and that's it. Um, <laughs> they're just on a fucking plane. That's, that's a movie night movie. <laughs> we need to do that. Oh, oh, oh Lord. <laughs> Yeah, like, Apple Jackson. Snakes are slow. Like they're not even if they're aggressive, they're they're not fast, so 
They're not supposed to be fast. Yeah, they're not supposed to be. That's that's how God nerfed them, by just making them slow. Grab it. We got them. Yep. They are a... They are quite a few snakes in Australia. They are only allowed to strike fast. They are not allowed to move fast. Yeah. It was also kind of funny, because uh, I was working. Uh, I was backpacking through there, so I also had a few gigs where I was basically working for my lodging and food, and uh, in my free time, I was just free. And I was in the surf camp for a couple of months. And there were already a bunch of poisonous uh, spiders around there that we had to be careful of. Well, not fine. <laughs> and we've seen some snakes around fine, but suddenly this one night, and we see this snake that's like, I can't, once again, I can't remember the body name. I'm not a zoologist, but it was uh, black with white stripes or white with black stripes for that kind of person. And uh, like the, the night crew manager was like, all right, folks, just, you know, chill, don't move towards there, relax. And he was really trying to keep us calm. And he was like, oh yeah, no, no, no. That, that snake was, uh, was, was, was not poisonous. And then we Google it the next day and that thing is hella venomous. <laughs> oh, it's a sea snake. It's a sea snake. I know those. He might uh, have been mistaken for the milk snake. Well, there's two, aren't there? There's, is it the, it's either the coral snake or the corn snake. One of them is like deathly poisonous and the other one just looks like red the one that's deathly poisonous. I forget which way around red it is. Touches, red touches black. You're okay, Jack. Red touches yellow. You're a dead fellow. Okay. Reloaded. Yeah. It's it's interesting how that kind of stuff like evolves, because I mean like a snake um, isn't gonna know what it looks like really, is it? Yeah. Um. Well, and most of the colors are meant to warn predators, if anything, yeah. because like like most animals, they don't want to get into fights. Like fights are stupid. Um. You know, it's a waste of energy, and you could get injured and all that wonderful stuff. Um, well, you even have like plants that will mimic, like, poisonous scholars so they don't get eaten by birds. Yes. And, or you have some that, uh, you know, that, uh, create a, uh, highly, um, irritating poison that we find absolutely delicious and turn into food. Yeah, chili peppers. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's... Is it chili peppers? Uh, the reason why they're spicy is it's Mother Nature's defense uh, system, and we're yeah. just like, yum, thank you. Yeah, as a machine. Humans, humans just turn up and we're like, Arriba! <laughs> hey, no, exactly. <laughs> oh, oh no, no, let's, let's oh, not do that one. Let's um, not do that one. So chat is asking, oh, it's a coral and a king snake, apparently? Yeah, that's it. That was it. Okay. Oh, and oh, wrong. someone else in chat, right, DP, asks, why do you guys know so much about snakes? I don't think I do, but maybe collectively we know a bit. I, yeah. Because uh, we... Uh, uh, we also had to um, be very aware of what kind of snakes there were uh, in Afghanistan and all that. Yeah, that makes sense. God damn it. Hell, I didn't know anything about snakes in Australia or spiders. Just one thing, stay the fuck away from them. Yeah, in Australia, it's a pretty safe bet. Like, it's pretty simple. It's not like these are okay. It's like, no. If you see one, just no. Uh, fun snake soy. Um... In our uh, patrol base, uh, we actually had a snake problem, um, and so we didn't know how to deal with it because they would come into the shacks and sleep in the uh, <laughs> uh, um, and sleep in the uh, the what you call them um, the sl uh, the slats in your bed. Oh right. So we didn't know how to, so we didn't know how to deal with it. Uh, so we came up with this idea that we were just going to ask the quartermaster for a uh, mongoose. Literally a so mongoose. We, yeah. So we uh, we wrote up a. <laughs> Uh, we wrote up um, a whole requisition form and he went to Kabul and came back with a birdcage and in that birdcage was a baby mongoose <laughs> who we named Sketch uh, that's an adorable name I was going to ask what you named him um, yeah and he had like this little uh, we, we built him like little tunnels all the way to uh, to all the buildings um um, and uh, he had this little uh, little um, overlook that we filled with like uh, like cotton and uh, and stuff to to make like a, a comfortable bed. We called that um, we called that uh, observation post mongoose. <laughs> uh, oh, can I get a uh, can I get a uh, platform here? Um, sorry, ping it. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Yep. Good. Are we going to the tower? Oh. 
Uh, then I got injured and I had to leave. Um, and apparently what happened later is the Americans came over, came and took over that area. And they thought that, uh, Sketch was a, was a, uh, uh, kind of like a camp mo uh, mascot, so they would feed him. Uh, they would feed him chips and candy and all this. And he got so fat and obese that he couldn't fit into uh, the uh, uh, couldn't fit into the uh, the PVC uh, the P <laughs> PVC piping anymore. And then all the snakes came back. Oh no! I guess he, wow. I guess he couldn't catch the snakes either. <laughs> yeah. Did you uh, put a? Uh... Oh. oh. Okay. Uh, Never mind. You good? Okay. Yep. Okay, is there any... To be fair, why we would he gone? bother chasing his food if it was just, you know, yeah. to do great? So no offense to the marines here, but I hate you. You ruined my mongoose. <laughs> Swarm, okay, I'm coming to you. Oh no, we're, we're here, okay. I'm going down to the tower. Alright. Oh, we're going down that way? Okay. I got 31 more kite. Um... I thought I had some. Oh no, I do. I have 30. Yeah. Also, just wondering, do you all know how the tower works? Just I don't you? think I've done the tower before, no. Ah. Because that needs some explaining. This is probably, of all the events, the most annoying, annoying one. Like, we've had missions with mates where we basically died on this thing. So, I assume we're waiting until the swarm is done. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Is this an actual pretty dangerous event? Depending on the setup, because the towers can vary. It has three levels and they are randomized, so depending on the combination, you can, you can be in uh, for a breeze or a world of hurt. Okay. I'll explain it a bit. Yep. Uh, oh, I thought Steve just hit me. I don't think he did, though. No, that was me shooting you. Oh, okay. Um, can I call a supply truck, or do we have one? I'm out, I'm out of grenades. We have a resupply up that way. We do? Up through the tunnel. Oh, uh, yep, yep, I'll go there. I haven't been up there yet. Yeah. Um, Chucklepup asks, do I remember MySpace? Um, hold on. Where is it? There it is. Uh, okay, yeah. Let me know when you're back and I'll, uh, explain. <laughs> DPS, why do you guys know so much about snakes? Yeah, Sorry, <laughs> I read that earlier. I think it's I just... I didn't do that one before. Resupply, actually. Um... Okay, so Travel says, do you remember MySpace? I uploaded a video of my mate feeding a mouse to his corn snake and got banned from MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's down this way. Okay. Oh, uh, this probably wasn't the... Oh, Jesus. No, we're good. Oh, there's one. I'm assuming... Yeah, I'm going to take one at the machine. And I also need ammo. Uh, okay. I think it's all taken. Uh, yeah, the one yeah, that I just went down, to we'll is empty. One down, uh, okay. Yeah. Awesome. Oh, Can somebody call Molly? Cause uh, Molly's being Molly. Job well done. Um, hey Gagalum, um, thank you for joining. No, I haven't been to the toilet yet, which is an odd question to ask, but yeah, I haven't haven't done it yet. Right. Why was it your first question, dude? I don't know. Well, it's because he he tra he times how long it takes me to do a wee. Let me let me try and explain this damn thing. All right, go for it. Around this tower, you have three platforms. Yep. Keep note of those. Because once we activate the machine, you need to stand on the platform long enough for it to activate it one of the layers. They Each layer will have a different type of attack. And only if you stand long enough on the platform will it open up its little green batteries on the sides, allowing you to damage it. Now, mm. this thing can 
deal a lot of hurt on you in a lots of different ways. Okay, he's got a question. It has a top that sh shoots like a bigger laser. There's a, there's a top that shoots like little flying machines on you. The bottom is often like this laser production beam that you kind of have to dodge. Um, main objective is try and stay on the platform while damaging the associated layer with it. Yeah. So how do you That's, avoid if, taking damage if you're just standing here not moving? You like, just got you just got to keep moving. Um the way the best way that I have found is uh the gunner's shield cuz you can shoot through that. Okay. And my suggestion is we just we stand on one, concentrate fire, move to the next, concentrate fire, move to the next. So stay yep. as a group of four. Agreed. Okay, in that case, is, does it make sense for me to bring the turret with me? Because obviously I need to reload it. You might just want to leave it alone. Yeah. Just, okay. Just put it up, re refill it, and if it's empty, it's empty. Yeah, okay. Um, Alright, uh, are you I ready to go? I think I'm fully reloaded. Does, how many how many ammos is, have we got here? we got two ammos that haven't been taken. I've taken one. Uh, we're all on. I'm good in ammo right now. I'm pretty okay. good, yeah. All right, let's um, start from this one. Okay. Okay, so that one? Gotcha. If you're all ready, I'll, uh, I'll activate it. Yeah, we got some bugs here first. We also need some light. Yep. Thank you, sir. So if anyone right. dies, is it worth the out, the, the downtime and damage to get them back up? I'm guessing uh, yes. The, the, that depends. That's okay. like, there, there's so many variables with this one. Uh, I have no idea what to expect. I've never seen this before, so... Let the dead lie where they fall. All right. <laughs> let's go. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's still... How do we... Oh, oh there's still one right here. On. Okay, I got okay. it. I got it. Ah, that one wasn't finished yet. Got it. Ready? Yep. Here we go. Three, two, one. Look go. go. Oh, God. Okay. I find the fly is the most annoying one. Yeah. Uh, we'll see. So we can only shoot. Oh, Jesus. Okay. We can only shoot the bottom. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The green batteries. Jesus Christ. This is some cuphead bullshit. Yeah. Yep. Uh, there, right? That, that, that one's actually the hardest, I find. Yeah. Get it it's out the oh, most annoying. Somebody's shooting something is fucking... Oh, it's the top one, top one. Oh, it was the turret. It's the right... Ah, that's why. Uh, did the turret fuck something up, or are we okay? No, no, no. no the, the, the second layer is a turret. But... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so this, this, this red light, stay out of the red light, because that thing will fuck you up. So if it's... Okay, so it's move off the platform if it's coming here. When you're not dodging it... <laughs> it's not good, eh? Okay. Oh, uh, where'd it go? There we go. Ah, there we go. That was alright. Let's see what we got. Fuser activated. Hmm. Oh, hmm. uh, let's see. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Do I want cosmetic or no, hmm. I'm gonna get a Do we each choose? The... Oh wait, no, this is the thing where you have oh. to be like level twenty-five, yeah? Yeah. Okay. You need I to don't... have your first promotion. Yeah, I don't have that yet. Yeah. All right. We could work on your promotion, man. Um, so the only the one I would need to play driller, and I'm more than happy to play engineer because I played driller last time. Um, but yeah, I think you I'm level 24 on the driller. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I think I'm level 24 on the driller. Just play. We we could switch. I, entirely up to you. I don't mind. I'm happy to do my promotion if you want, but I'm also more than happy for you to play driller. I really don't mind. Because uh, this this is my second highest, and this is like level 12, I think. Oh God, there's oh, we're, a we're, we're, uh, we, oh, we've uh, we've the called in the drop pod. All right, you're out. Um, mission abort. No, we're okay. We've 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 got everything we need, right? Oh no, there was another cave. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, I thought we were done. <laughs> <laughs> Jazz Crystal that needs a hole with me now. Five minutes. My bad, man. I thought we were done. Hey, uh, drop the drop the crystal and just drill. I'll carry it. All right. I'll just drill from here. We drill. Defend Three me. Two. I have the crystal. See, children, this is why you always ask if if the team is ready. <laughs> yeah. Steve is dead. Am I going? Oh. Oh. Mm, I wonder if I, I can make that. I reckon I'll be short. Yeah, I'm not. Um, I'll need a drop in the cave. I'm not gonna reach this. Oh, you don't have fuel for the. I will not be able to reach it all the way. Okay. Oh crap. Where's the sentry going? No, it's going around the long way. Okay, that's fine. Sentry gun needs we a better hurry. We're almost there. We can make it. Weapon ready. I hear a grabber. Oh. Yeah, there's a grabber coming behind us. The one thing I could do is, because um, we're really close, use my uh, dynamite. C4. Uh, yeah, C4. Yeah. Get back, get yep, back. Yep. In the cave. Go yep. back, go back. Here we go. I need another one. Oh, that's up. What the hell just is up, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's another. Well, that's a nice double faction. Oh, come on, are you kidding me? Oh, it's just right on top of us. Okay, I'm trying to, I'm trying to dig up. Ah. This is rather disorienting. I, I can't see where I am. Oh, I'm fucking down. Maybe just call in the supply drop at the thing. I reckon that will be fast. Oh, we don't. We don't have the nitro for it. No, we don't. <laughs> I'm nearly there. Come on. Where? Ah. Uh. Two minutes. Is it? Oh, do I go up or down? I don't even know. Uh, oh my god! I'm here. I made it. Are you guys here? No. Okay, I'm I digging to no you. I'm digging to I'm you. Digging. I'm digging to you. My map is refusing to load. Oh, I'm going way the wrong way. Ah, oh, I'm down. I got you. I lost a. This I lost a crystal. Wait, no, no, go out of this thing. This is going the wrong way. Go out. Go out. Oh, no, I've got you. I've got you. Here. 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 Oh, I'm down. I think I'm down as well. No, I'm down. Reviving. Reviving. There's two, reviving. There's two tunnels that get you there. I made one and then I came back in the other Please one. Please get out of the cave. I can't move. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Go out. Just revive yeah. later, please. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, we're gone. Fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, yeah, just go, just go. Go. If you, anyone who's there, just get in the ship and go. Booyah! Drop pod departing in T minus one minute. Ah! Jesus Christ. No. Fuck! Oh. Uh, You're not supposed to run out of ammo. <laughs> Thank you, Stuart. Yes, we, we ran out yeah. of ammo because we, we forgot that there was another cave. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I will take the blame because I thought we were done. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, happens. Uh, we still get all that for it. Right, whiskey time. Hold down. Also, I'm going to open up a bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. Fortune. There we go. Uh, it happens. 
Ooh, pots of gold. Pots of gold? They're after me lucky charms. Gagalum says underpants review. Are you... Oh, what? I know what he wants to do. I know exactly what he wants to do. He wants to review our underpants. Because we're in the, like... Oh. Yeah. I already changed out, sorry. Mm. Yeah! Nice. Nice cabernet from Chile. Well, I think my underpants win because mine have a beer on them. Yeah. Uh, I got oh, leopard. Nice. Yours are leopard. What is? Frogs is a. Oh, it's a rocket. Okay. How come you're not in? I already changed up, and that's because I switched my load up. Ah. Uh. Gold missions going on. Um, okay, possibly. Let's see. Uh, no, no. If there isn't, generally a mining mission is usually the best. Yeah, all the mining missions seem to be short ones. There are no gold missions, sadly enough. Oh wait, there's um, a long. There is a long one with golden bugs. Oh okay. Yeah. In the, kite. Yep. And the uh, think... hollow bug. Yeah, the golden the golden bug doesn't. Uh, I know, doesn't I actually, know, but it's it's no. a little extra. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. Can we, we do that one. We're we're rich. Galaxy's Hopefully. Uh, okay, this is not it. This is not it. Oh, wrong one! I was getting oh. excited. It was liquid liquid morkite refinery. It had the golden bugs though. Does it? Hollow bow. The the mining mission. Yeah. Alien pass. Oh, I see. Yeah, those tend to have more gold than... Yeah. And the pots of gold thing just means we get double all of our cached gold, right? Triple, yeah. I think. Triple, fuck, okay. okay. This is the right one, yeah? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Damn. It's Come on, Dalian. Rock on! Rock on! No Most American missions. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have some freedoms to deliver to you. Ah, nice wine with hints of red wine. Oh. I'm gonna have the raspberry beer. See how this goes. <laughs> Wish I had some cheese to go with this. Oh, I have a super chat. Mi micro, micro well. I think I, I think you've sent me a super chat before. Um, there's no message on it, but thank you, thank you so much for your kind donation. Um, if you do have any questions, then stick them in chat, and I will answer them, and I'll ask the guys. Because we do like talking about stuff. Yeah, that was Thorin that asked for the uh, red wine. Sorry, what about the red wine? Oh, it was, um, there, someone asked uh, a little red wine for me. That was Thorin that actually asked for it in the uh, book. Oh, in the in the scene. I know exactly which scene you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. Because I am a Tolkien nerd and can go on forever <laughs> about it. I'm going to have to say I, I've never read the books. The books, I, I'm going to, as much as I am a Tolkien nerd, they are very dense. Kind of the Hobbit, not so much. I, I do have a lot of Lord of the Rings stuff, like I got a replica of the One Ring sitting in front of me right now. Yeah. I have a replica of the uh, map of the Lonely Mountain. Ooh, oh, that's nice. cool. And I have like this little mini replica of uh, Sauron's hammer. Oh. Or mace, whatever you want to his, call it. Yeah, his mace, yeah. Which is kind of laying on like a little carved map of Middle Earth, but uh, the cool. maze itself uh, obscures most of it. Yeah. Damn. So they're not really on display room? anymore, but I still got them in storage. Uh, in the music, uh, in the music channel, I posted a heavy metal rendition of "Over Missy Mountains Gold" in 
uh, in uh, the dwar in Tolkien's dwarven language. Oh, nice. Damn. Yeah. Because there are people who are even nerdier than me when it comes to it. <laughs> oh, at this rate, I'll pop soon. Okay, can we get lucky and get a uh Oh yeah, I know what you mean. Golden loop a buttons. Mmm, maggots. God, I'm trying to find something to mine. My mining fingers be twitching. I, I, I got nothing. Doo -doo. Ow. This is a uh, big empty cave. This is a big empty cave. Oh no, no. Never mind. I, I mean, it did say it was a long one, I think, so. True, but mostly you'll have something in it. Yeah. Found something. Uh, Gaglum says, do the messages with the ASS word in them not come through? Um, mm. if you've sent some messages with naughty words in, then I haven't seen them. YouTube is stupid. YouTube is very, very stupid. Yeah, YouTube. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay, bugs, bugs, bugs. Yeah, YouTube is pretty much a case of, um, you need to obey the rules. Okay, well, what are the rules? Well, we're not going to tell you what the rules are until you break them. Yeah. And we can also just retroact, <laughs> retro, uh, well, make new rules and retroactively enforce them on all the videos. Yeah, like, if you... Um, this has definitely happened to some people, I just can't think of any names. If YouTube changes their policy on, like, certain swear words or whatever, they can just demonetize any video that has those words in, without giving uh, the the people who have had those name? videos up for years the tools to remove those words. Now, is this Irish YouTuber? I forgot his name, and... Uh, oh, I'm gonna guess he says, um, the see you next Tuesday word <laughs> several times because he's... You know, Irish. No, 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 he's a pretty uh, chill streamer, but like, uh, they, they also eventually got rid of this, but was basically a new policy where if there was a swear word within the, like the first Hello? 15 seconds of your video, it would automatically be uh, oh, demonetized. Tank, Tank, I can hear you. Ouch. I'm not a balloon. Oh, it was Tank. I don't know if Tank might be going again. Um, yeah, what you just said about... Um, Am I dead? No, Party I can hear you, Tank. Yeah, this is weird. Yeah, YouTube has rules about not swearing in, like, the opening minute of whatever the video is, or, or whatever it is. But, um... What happened? An interesting exemption to that is music videos. And I remember when the Callista Protocol uh, came out. Uh, in the game, there's a scene where basically a uh, robot makes jelly out of somebody's head. Okay. And um, somebody actually m went through the effort to censor that, and they still got demonetized <laughs> for that fragment, even though it was censored. And other, of course, bigger YouTubers who didn't censor it at all didn't get demonetized for the exact same clip. Yeah. The worst thing about YouTube is not only are its rules archaic, mystical, and unbeknownst to anyone, it is also not consistent with them. Yeah, like, their rules can be whatever they want to be, and if people don't like them, they can go somewhere else. But the problem is when they're not clear about what their rules are. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's a couple of messages in chat I need to... Sorry, Tank, are you back now? Because you were in and out. Yeah, I have no idea what happened. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah you didn't... Was like... We could hear you, or at least I could hear you. Molly. I couldn't uh, hear him. He was glitching the hell out. There's a whole yeah. lot of over there I just pinged, by the way. Um, yeah, so Ren's Little Toe and Gagalum are apparently... A, their messages aren't showing. Um, so I, Ren's Little Toe, that message where you just said, Hello, my messages aren't showing, is the first one that I've seen in chat. I'm, I don't have any chat filter on chat, so if anyone's messages are being filtered, I don't know why. That's YouTube doing that, not me. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Oh, I know, no. I know that happened to Truffle Pup the other week, where he said something... 
I think it was something that was factually incorrect about, uh, uh, what was it, the Bismarck we were talking about? He, mm. he just got it confused with a different boat, and for some reason his message didn't go through, because I guess YouTube considered it misinformation or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, I... Yeah. I mean, I'm assuming that your message doesn't contain just a massive list of swear words, but maybe try rephrasing it? I don't I don't know what else to suggest. Do I have top chat oh. activated? How do I... Oh, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. <gasps> Wait a minute. Okay, so can I now see... Can I now see Ren's Little Toes question? Because I did not know that that was a thing. Mm -hmm. But how does it... No, okay, so Ren's a little toe, if you did ask me a question, I I can't see it still for some reason, so if you want to ask it again, I should see it. Swarm, I'll drop the turret here. Are we going to do it here? Up there? Yeah, Up I here, think. Yep. Three so, men ask, who is Tank? Who is Tank? Uh, well, Tank is Tank. Tank is Tank. Tank is Scoot. Yeah, Tank is playing the Scoot. Go get him, boy! Um... Yeah, top chat doesn't make any sense for live chat because you guys can't, like, uh -oh. thumbs up each other's live messages, can you? That is a job for TNT. Everything's a job for TNT. Danger Putty is is amazing. Are we con are we going into the cave? Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Grab, 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 Stable. Don't worry, he's running away because okay. he's a bitch. We're good. We scared him away already. <laughs> Well, yeah, now it looks like we've worked out why certain chat messages don't go through. It's because I didn't know how YouTube chat works. Um, Ren's Little Toe is asking about the Legends of Vox Machina. So I've seen, I think, one episode of it. I I just didn't... Like, a friend showed it to me, and I just never got around to watching the rest. It looked decent, and I do want to watch it, um, but I have only seen the first episode. Or, like, the first half of the first episode. No. It's... Do you know... Are you familiar with Critical Role? I, I know about Critical Role. I don't watch this stuff, but I know they okay. exist. So basically, Legends of Vox Machina, correct me if I'm wrong, chat, but Legends of Vox Machina came about as a result of them crowdfunding, um, I want to say Amazon, to make, to like fund them making a an animated TV series about their D&D campaign. And that's basically what it is. It's a, it's an animated adaptation of their D&D campaign. Interesting. And it's supposed to be very good. Um, but yeah, I'm guessing it's mostly, if not exactly the same, as the version that will have played out on their streams. Hmm. Interesting. They crowdfunded and Amazon jumped in and added them all. Okay, so yeah, it would have been like Amazon said, you need to raise this much, and then... Uh, we got gold there. Yep. Oh, they probably just want to raise enough money to, to gouge interest. Yeah, because well, wanting proof of concept. Because the thing is, like, Critical Role is massively successful, but there's massively successful and there's, you know, Amazon successful. And, like, it has to like, be a proven uh, concept. You mean, like, Rings of Power? campaign is, is not, you know, it does not equal making money with an animated series. It, exactly, that's what I mean. Like, something, take take an incredibly popular YouTuber, they make an, a TV show. It doesn't, oh, it's Lord. not necessarily going to make money. Look, there's plenty of YouTubers who made, like, a <clears throat> movie. And uh, I, I can't I can't remember a single like successful example. There's one I can't remember the name of the movie, but do you guys know Raka Raka? Yes. Yeah. So nope. they have made a, a horror movie because they're like I don't know if they're actually like stunt guys or visual effect not visual effects like practical effects guys, but they made some pretty insane videos on YouTube that then ended up getting uh, banned from YouTube because their content was too extreme. Um, I guess they deemed it to be unsafe. And, uh, yeah, they've made a horror movie themselves. It's supposed to be very good. I just, I don't know where I can watch it, so I'm kind of waiting until it comes on a streaming service or something. That's cool. Yeah, no, that's always... That's always cool to see, um... Like, content creators, like, actually become successful. Yeah. But yeah, like, it looks like they've actually come up with this idea for a movie, and it it is, you know, a proper movie. It's not like, I guess, a mockumentary about a particular famous YouTuber. It's got nothing to do with them as YouTubers. 
Mm. It's just that they happen to have come up with this idea. So, yeah. Molly, come here. And, um... Yeah, regarding Legends of Vox Machina, I believe it was renewed for a second season. Whether there's a third season, I don't know. But again, I could be wrong about it. There's a spitball somewhere. Okay, yep. Yeah, another one down here. Oh yeah, we're also not finding any of the Apocablooms, are we? Uh, I... We are. We have some. We're I finding very looking. few, and there's one up there, but you'll have to get that one. Yeah. Come on, turret. Come we on. We need uh, some platforms for that one. Yep. That platform okay? I know, up in the night trouble, you can't oh. see them down there. Yep, okay. Yeah, that's uh, already done. I am going to need a uh, ammunition fairly soon. Okay, yep. Uh, we'll drop one. Nitro, yeah, we have so loads of nitro, we should be good. Supply drop has been ordered and is on the way. Apparently they're doing um they're doing another uh what do you call it uh Avatar show? As in Last uh, Airbender or as Last in Airbender. Yeah, Last Airbender. H. I, I don't know. If and it's, it's it's with the original makers, right? Uh, I believe one of them. I think I don't think the other one is actually involved with it anymore. They had a um Apparently they had a bit of a falling out from what I've heard. Oh. I'm completely oh. unfamiliar with um, Last Airbender, so I can't I can't comment on that. I highly recommend it. It's it's a good good show. Okay. The, the original is, is yeah. great. Legend of Korra. Let's. Um, mm. I've heard Legend of Korra isn't good, but I I don't know why. And I've um, heard that the live action one was legendarily bad. Oh, the, yeah, I've yes. seen the live action one. Oh, yeah, the M. Night Shyamalan one, that's uh, trash. Watching that with no context for what The Last Airbender is was pretty hilarious, because it, it was like, what is, what the hell am I watching? And watching it with the context is absolutely painful. I can imagine, yeah. Oh, I got a bunch of gold down here. Oh, where are you guys? Down there? Okay. Yeah, I've just gone down. Swarm Another okay. grabber. Somewhere. I'm at the bottom of the zipline. Yeah. I got a bunch of gold here. Uh, hold on, calling Molly. Okay. There's a big fucker. Okay, you can call her. Watch out! Oh, crap. Ah, I'm good, I'm good. We're good, okay. How much gold? Jesus, we've got a lot of gold. Yes, we do. Loverly. And does it get tripled as you bank it or after the end of the level? Once no, 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 you, as, you, yeah. as you mine it, you'll just get more out of it Okay. you mine. Nice. Let me know when I can call Molly. I'm also sitting on some gold. No, you can call Molly. There's a breeder down here. Calling Molly. I'm here. Yo, Jesus. Where's the breeder? It floated away somewhere. Yeah, Molly's free. Oh, I'm out of ammunition again. <laughs> uh, we have enough. Oh, probably plenty. Yeah, yeah, we do. We have enough for two, I think. Not quite. 
Where is the breeder? Where's it gone? Oh, here we go. Oh, I've been yoinked. Mm, trying at least. Ah. Are we good? Yeah. Yes. Oh, there's a uh, hive somewhere. Uh, oh, we are... A whole bunch of mock out. I got some nitro. They should get us up to another one. Okay. Oh, more over here. More cat up there, I just pinged it. I got it. Uh, DP says a new video idea. Legend of Korra is not that good. I, I, yeah. That would require that I watch Legend of Korra and not watch Avatar. That would be an interesting... Uh, yeah, I'm guessing like no one really will have watched Legend of Korra without watching The Last Airbender. It will be so confusing. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. Can I call Molly, by the way, or no? Oh, someone's already called uh, her. Yeah. Oh, and um, Tree Man, a Highlander. I've only seen the first one. I love it. Like, it's not, it's not like a masterpiece or anything, but it is so enjoyable. And I just love how um, Sean Connery plays open? the Egyptian, and he just sounds like Sean Connery. Boy, hate Thor. Oh, there's plenty of gold down here. Whew. And yeah, I All could right. I could watch both um, in terms of watching The Last Airbender. Um, you know, it's one of those shows that I have intended to watch for a while. It's just pretty long. Sweet. You know, it's a lot of seasons, and I, yeah, I'm in the middle of watching other stuff at the moment. Yeah, no, that's fair. And my Let me know if Molly's free. Uh, I'm not using her. Alright, here nobody, so... What are we missing? We're missing a pocket blooms. And I'm not seeing any. Like, I've only seen, like, two. Yeah. I've, I've only seen that fine. one. I reckon it's gonna be a whole bunch in the last cave. There, There is another cave, then, yeah? Oh, yeah. You, you, you guys are there now, okay. <laughs> yeah, going through it. Uh, we could have just uh, we could have just my uh farmed that for infinite gold. True, but we would have been here all day. You can farm uh, something for infinite gold. gold would also be a thing. So, oh crap! Um, so do you guys know what Ac Akinator is? What? What's A A K I N A T O R. No. No. Heck, Gag that was like an old site. Gagalem, you're gonna have to explain to me what that is, or someone else in chat, because otherwise your comment makes no sense to me. I didn't see the comment. But, um, no, the answer to that question is, one, I don't have a sister, and two, she does not work in the adult entertainment industry. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's uh, that's what I mean. It doesn't. Without knowing what an Akinator is, I can't. I don't understand the context for that comment. <laughs> Molly, over here. Right, that's uh, that's looking like an instant, interesting piece of conversation. Uh, okay, yeah, there's plenty of apocalypse blooms in here. Oh, lovely. There's also a lot of assholes. So, Akinator is apparently a thing on the internet that guesses a character or a person based on your answers to its questions. Okay, so it's like 20 questions, but where it's guessing a person. Alright. Okay. Oh, a prospector. Yeah. Still no golden loot bags, I take it. Oh, uh, anyone got Molly? Because I'm calling her. Uh, I, no. Okay. What does the prospector do? What is that? 
Uh, we, destroy destroy it, we get a paycheck. Okay. Uh, swarm as well. Oh crap. What the hell is this shit? Come on, Terry. Okay, so we're missing six. Access provided. Got me, Crystal. Where's Molly? Incoming. Oh, there's Molly. Oh crap. Yeah. I'm out of ammo. I didn't pay attention to it. We have enough. We have enough. Get a supply drop if you want one. Further than the bottom of the cave. Alright, so we've got me trusty sidearm and even trustier TNT. Oh yeah. Prospector, someone. Oh, fuck, that was me. Did someone tag it. <laughs> that was my TNT. Okay, okay. Uh, so fine. He's. Do we have to like focus it? Is it going to run away? Yeah, he runs Ooh. away and then brings these. We will be able to find it later, though. Okay. So it's not. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. It's taking our what? Our jobs. It's. Ta Wait. It took mm, not, the not the jobs. <laughs> Hey, Burp, it's Jer! This thing is an asshole, I can just tell by looking at it. Oh no, it doesn't actually do like any damage to you, it just runs away. No, I know, it just looks like a douchebag. It has that look about it. Yeah. Um, did, did anyone call a supply drop? Because I'm out of grenades. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah I'm calling I see him. There's a great likelihood I'm going down fairly soon. The, is the patrol bot? Oh, the, that skulls. I shouldn't have attacked that. Sorry. That's right. Oh. I think we're okay. All right. Did it get away or did we kill it? We killed it. Loverly. And it dropped a whole bunch of loot. Excellent. I'm just going to grab this more yeah. We are missing three Apocablooms. I've got two. You got two? Yeah. I just got to drop them off. I got blue. Does anyone, does I anyone have one? Decks. I don't have any, no. No, I don't have any either. Oh, there's some gold over there. Don't call Molly yet. Friggin' gold everywhere. Uh, something's up with your patrol bot. There we go. Oh, eventually it'll explode. No, I mean it was so. like it was like bugging out. It was stuck on a wall, I think. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna call Molly for the call if that's all right. Yeah. Um. Um. Yeah, we've got all the mockite that we need, so I will. Stop There's mining. plenty of gold up here. Uh, yeah, got lots of gold oh, yeah. up here. Yep, yeah, on my way. Yeah. Call deposit it. Well, that was a little chaotic. Uh. Yeah. And that's what we like. Move your tin ass over here and hurry, right, uh, gold. This is the gold, yes. Lovely. And there's some ammunition over there. I need... Because one can never have enough bullets. With the right upgrade, apparently the grenade launcher turns into a mini nuke. Is... Why have yes. I not been informed of this? Mm. The fat boy. The fat boy? Oh lord, not the, not that one. That scores there. Well, friendships die with that one. Is that a friendly fire, like bastard? Yes. <laughs> Everything's an enemy with that thing on. Okay. 
Oh, we got. And you can you can blame the driller for you know you know TNT scout all those memes by that thing. Oh. Given that we're full on Morkai, <laughs> is there any point in me getting more or no? No, no, no. Point. no point at all. Nope. Okay. I think it just gets a you a little bit. Satisfying of... sound, maybe. I yeah. think technically it does get you just a few extra pieces of credits, but it doesn't get you anything it's, else, it, really. Like, okay. The amount is neglectable. Yeah. <laughs> I got more gold. Depositing. Um. Yep, I have I don't know. gold. Mm. Uh, I don't know how I feel about this beer. This raspberry sour. Nah. That no. reminds me. I need. Mm. I need to crack open another cold one. Right. Are we going to have Devon Orchard cider or Sheppy's Vintage Reserve cider? Uh, go with the Sheppy's. The Sheppy's is a lot stronger, so let's go with that. We good to leave. Uh, does the driller have all of his? Uh, is fuel canisters filled? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Filled to the brim. 44, baby. Uh, uh, Gagalum, I don't understand what that question is. I don't know if you need to rephrase it. RFT, is you joining the DC Seaman Cull a religion a possibility? I don't know what that means. What? Oh, that's their little cult where they do the, uh, the sea is always right. Oh, in Discord. Yeah. Uh, okay. The one that I keep asking, you know, you just, you just, just let me, just let me. <laughs> I'll solve all the problems. Um, <laughs> Gaglam, I think to remain impartial, I will not choose sides. But you are welcome to have as many cults in Discord as you would like. I am I am perfectly stable and can be trusted with heavy ordnance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tempt me, Frodo. <laughs> Don't you believe the seed always be right? Um. No, we're gonna I, start the rock and stone cult. Yeah, that, I feel like it should be the seaman and the rock and stone, or the yeah, the sea and rock. Maybe I, I don't know. Seaman and rockman. Well, stones, stones do sink, so it, because it doesn't look uh, because it only looks down. Yes, ah, we that's look true. Down. Yes, we, I forgot. We are dwarfs. But I'm just gonna say, what about what about um, what about the mountain? Does the mountain have an opinion in this? Yeah, well, a mountain's made of stone and it goes up, so. Uh, okay. Mountains. Beat rocks, It'll be I a guess. bit of a drop, just letting you know. Okay, yeah. Oh, we need a. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some help with that one. Oh, gee. That's, that, 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 that's not that driller's job, sorry. Hold on. I, I can't. I can't. I can't put a uh, platform on that. Nope. You got a zipline. How? How? Bloody pilot's not doing his job. I there actually we go. had seven gold, but, uh, fuck it. Yeah, so I, when I said earlier that you could, like, complete any mission with any class, you can't do that if you don't have a gunner, right? I mean, a scout could do um, it, I guess, but... I, I could, I could dig around it and then make a precarious jump, but it's relatively annoying. But you'd have to, dr you'd have to drill down to it from, like, above it, right? Yeah, and you would have to fall and potentially hurt yourself. Yep. And, and on the rail. You don't want to know the tunnels I've made in the past. <laughs> wow, that went well. Stock and roan. Yeah. Stone and rock. I mean, what? <laughs> Technically, uh, that's the beer talking. Surf and turf. <laughs> Uh, as the actual sailor here, no, the sea is not always right. The sea is also a massive cunt. I was about to say. That's, <laughs> that's, that's pretty much what I would have guessed. I don't know why anyone would think the sea is always right. Mate, I'm bloody Dutch. The sea is a mortal enemy. That's why that quote never made sense to begin with. <laughs> oh. I don't even live near the sea, and, and I know it's going to be a bitch. 
I mean, we have a saying like, "Dort made the earth, but the Dutch made the Netherlands." Oh, <laughs> is it? Is it the Netherlands, or is it? It might be somewhere else that I'm thinking of, where most of it is below sea level. Is it the Netherlands? Yeah, that's the Netherlands. That yeah. is the Netherlands. Okay. That's. If yes, the, if the dams room. would break, uh, the place I would live would be, I think, eight meters below sea level. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. That's unfortunate. You better, you better hope no one, no one where you live feels like being a massive asshole. Sure. And we haven't flooded in what? But no, that's not true. If we Limburg flooded like a year or two years ago, with the big flood in Germany as well on the Rhine. Right. So yeah, I. Uh, but that what that that wasn't the sea. Just you know, that doesn't count. So you. <laughs> that was right. Oh. Fuck. Now oh, my base internet. Gotta love it. Gotta oh, love it. Did it cut out again? Yeah, it was cutting out again. <laughs> it's it's one of the dumbest pieces of world building ever. I agree, Happy Nihilist. As the, a writer, the, I agree. The the sea is always right. Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Okay. I think anyway. Oh. Anyway, I will be right back, so let's take a five. Yeah, no problem. I'm checking my upgrades anyway. Right, Chat. I I'll be right back. Cool, cool. Chat, do let me know how you were doing, what we are drinking, and uh, if anyone is still on a treadmill. <laughs> oh, it's good. Good. Go work out. Actually, while he's doing that, I'm going to go check my laundry. All righty. Yeah. We got a bit um, of a, a dilemma next one. We could do yours random, which is a dreadnought kill mission. Oh, fun. But there's uh, also, for Tank, a long mining mission with Gold Rush again. Um, I don't mind. We don't have, uh, we don't have possible. So. Well, if we do, if we do one of them, is it, is the next one going to cycle out? Like after, in the amount of time it takes? Or? Uh, let, let's see uh, when they are probably most of the time, especially with the long might. Yeah, that's eight minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, we, yeah. we probably won't be starting it for eight minutes, but yeah, I don't mind. We'll do either. We haven't done a well, dreadnought mission. We haven't done a pipe mission yet either. No. And like, like if the horse is away, if he's not back in eight, eight minutes, it's not going to be a. Yeah. Not even going to be a choice anyway. So. Um, if anyone wants to learn something crazy, Google Doggerland, a huge, massive land that is now the North Sea that connected the Netherlands to England. Doggerland sounds like I should not be googling it, but given that my web browser is not on stream, I'm going to do it. Wow, okay, it's not porn. Okay, we're good. Um, okay, interesting. So if the sea level sunk, then that would be what would physically connect England to Denmark. Interesting. There is also a theoretical proposal for the EU to make a giant uh, dike in between uh, England and the Netherlands and Denmark to basically because um, it will would protect a whole bunch like from um, Germany, Scandinavia, uh, uh, Belgium would all all be protected from uh, flooding. Okay. But it will be like the single biggest mega project in the world. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, <laughs> would would cost. Uh, well, I reckon nobody could even make that cost. And the biggest downside, slash slight upside, um, it would displace a lot of the salt water and created a large reservoir for fresh water, which would be a bonus. Uh, but the question is, um, will that actually like actively fill up with? Uh, enough fresh water for it to uh yeah you got to think of the amount of effort that that would take you, you're going to want to know the answer to that before you start doing it uh yeah okay gentlemen but if you already Bonjour. know how much debate is going on about fish quotas yeah something like that between england france and the netherlands you yeah, had nothing like that we, we everybody ignores the belgians on that part that's never gonna happen. Um, Gagalim says, RFT, would you be willing to press STRG plus H in the browser on Steam? What? 
As in the keys, S T R G and then H. What? I don't know what that will do, but no, if it's if it's on Steam, it's going to end up being on stream, I think. Oh, control. So control H on Steam. I mean, I'll do it. You won't see what happens. If this closes the game, though, I'm not going to be happy. It's oh, not all F4. I've got to be on the browser. Hold on. How do, how do you get to the browser on Steam? I know it exists. Uh, I'm back. Yeah, oh, on Steam, right. Oh. oh, it turns the HUD off. Okay. Um, no, I think I want to keep the HUD on. <laughs> <laughs> he he might need it. I might need it, yes. It seems like a good idea. If this is a drop up mission, I'm probably going to go with the flamethrower. I don't know why. I thought he was trying to get you to, like, open the steam uh, thing. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what was going to happen there. I, yeah. One of these days I'll, I'll, I'll regret doing something that chat tells me, but so far that hasn't happened yet. One day. Yeah, one day. One day someone will catch me out. <laughs> we good to go? Uh, I think we're good. Which mission are we doing? Dreadnoughts. Uh, yours. Oh, do we need do we need a drink or no? It's a uh, back I guess, or not for this one, really. Yeah, but okay. I think we all got it anyway. Uh, I didn't, if there is yeah. one. Oh. I think there's, I ordered yeah, it and I here. didn't pick it up. There's two here. Oh, well. What does this one do? Also, where we, is uh, it? You, uh, you can carry things easier. Oh, uh, okay. Quicker. Yeah, that's kind of generically good, I guess. So With the Aquawks, it's uh, nice. Yeah. And with the mules as well, with the legs. With those things being nearby anyway. Oh, okay, so Ga what Gaglin wanted me to do is change the stream to my web browser and then press Control h which would then open my web browser history. Um, no, I'm not gonna do that, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'll have a look now and see what's there, though. Uh... I don't want to know what kind of porn you're watching there, random. Well, I use private browsing for that, obviously. <laughs> I mean, yeah, mainly it's YouTube and, like, video game guides and IMDb, that kind of thing. Nothing nothing interesting. You jack off to fucking game walkthroughs? No, I, I jack off to IMDb. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've heard worse. I've heard worse, so... Quality content. Yeah, quality content. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you got any friends in the British Army, ask them what a soggy biscuit is. Oh god, I know exactly oh, what a soggy biscuit is. Fuck that. <laughs> I'm oh, American dude, and I am not gonna you, Brits are fucking insane. Yeah, I yes, know. They a, are. I know a couple of guys that were in the army. I, I think it was army. I think maybe it was marines. Wait, I can't who, remember. Who makes up shit like that? Really? They are just... Um, <laughs> the, it's, bo it's a combination of boredom, stupidity, drunkenness, and being young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've also been young, and I was never like, oh, let's do this with a couple of mates. That'd be fun. Oh, and yeah, don't, don't Google Soggy Biscuit if you don't want to, because it's definitely not safe for work, and I don't know what will come up. So It's not it's not no. safe for your life. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Google it. Well, put it this way. If you do it, I'm not responsible. <laughs> I will not. Thank you. So, remind me, the Dreadnoughts are in, like, little or big yeah, eggs, and if yeah, you touch yeah, them, yeah. they spawn, right? So don't touch them. Yeah. And fossils, okay. That's a scout job. Oh. Oh, gold right here, if, uh... You wouldn't mind putting a... Oh, never mind. He's got Certainly. It. Can you put a uh, yep. platform there? This yeah, area is probably good to awesome. fight the uh, dreads in. Yeah, we got a... There's a dreadnought egg right here. What's up? My drop hit. I'm guessing my turret won't automatically pop the dreadnought. No, it won't. Lovely. No, it won't. Good. And our way out is there, so I guess... Yeah, I guess... Yeah. Oh, uh, you want a platform by the Nitra? No, that's... 
Uh, up here. That's not under it. That's kind of like... Here. That's kind of in it. Yeah, that. There we go. Can I call Molly? Uh, yeah, a happy nihilist. I do... Uh, I recommend. Yeah, just Google it. Just, don't, just don't, Google it. Don't, don't Google it. <laughs> See, I could describe it to you, but I'm not going to because I'm on stream. <laughs> <laughs> You'll never ask for a biscuit with tea again, let me tell you that. Yeah. Oh. You might never ask for cream again, either. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, why did uh, mention that? Do we want to continue exploring, or do we want to pop him and, uh... Pop him, I and Have we... Have we... We, we have haven't... enough for uh, to resupply, so... Yeah, we haven't... We haven't gone into the next cave, so I think probably deal with him now, right? Yeah. Because, like, this room is big enough. Yeah, What's maybe the... plug, maybe try and plug this crevice a little bit. Let's also try to clear some of the debris out. Oh, I can do that for you. And, boss, you might want to move your turret. Okay. You won't be able to, you won't be able to get to it now. Oh, you made him a floater. Yeah, you can Float. just hold the, um, I th think it's E. I'll stick him, I want him to be kind of up here. That's yeah, it. you need to keep R pressed and then we'll just go to you. Yep. Oh, we got a uh, oh, storm coming. That, no, impacts, right? That's... Oh, impacts, yep. Yeah. That might Meteor pop the dreadnought, that might pop the dreadnought. No, there's... I don't think so, there's none uh, over by him. Okay. So how do you know if there's anything in the meteors? Is it like blindingly you obvious? Or? There's just one always. Okay. And you just need to find the right one. But do they look different or do you have to mine them no, and find out? You just have to mine them. And okay. one of them will hold the plague heart. And very Hopefully. rarely you very, very rarely you can actually find two. Right. Okay. I've never had that happen before. I mean that didn't look uh, like I... it was doing anything, but I don't know if I was doing it wrong. Uh no, I've already hammered that one. Oh, okay. And there was nothing in it. I don't I think, think there's cleared up enough. I don't think there's actually one in this. Can there be some platforms in uh, in between here? Um, where? Sorry. In the in the crevice, so we don't fall down. Oh yeah yeah yeah. I'm gonna put the ammo over here. So we might need that before the fight's over. Oh, Caden asked me a good question, um, which I will... Don't get squashed. Um, I will answer that once we've done the Dreadnought. Uh, the question is, why do you give the Thorin using the wood as a shield a pass now in The Hobbit? Because I changed my mind on that. I was convinced. Um, and I'll go into that once we've done the Dreadnought. Oh, okay. Not already when you are. Uh, yeah, I'm good to go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh that's two wins. They're gonna heal. They burrow, right? And then they heal? Yes. Okay. Oh, shit. Well, they're not gonna do much. They're pretty close to each other. Is the heal depending on the difference between them? And is that random, or do they try and get far away? Um... They're invulnerable when they heal anyway, so it doesn't really matter whether they, uh, okay. go. Oh, Jesus. Where is he? I'm taking some of the ammo. So they should go to heal. I think he was on me, yep. Yeah, they're gonna get healed now. Okay.
We okay? Where where's he gone? I know. Behind us. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh, that was alright. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I need ammo. I'm gonna open up the cave. Go. Uh, how are you doing on ammunition? Um, I'm good. I just realized as I was called out in chat by oh, Lucius, oh, I took oh. two. I didn't realize I took two, but yeah, I took two of them. Okay, Gunner, you're good. Or, Skull, you can take it. I'm still relatively good, so... I'm out on my grenades, but I don't need them until we do the next raid, I don't think. Yeah, because I'm a tad low on my minigun. Yeah, minigun's more important There's than more the... There's more nuts uh, right here, so we can call in another drop uh, once we find the next egg. Okay, so, um, yeah, regarding Thorin and the Plank of Wood... Um, Thorin, it's more than reasonable, I think, think, to accept that, like, dwarves are more durable just based on the fact that we see them take more hits than people. In the same way that I think it's reasonable to accept that, like, elves are really good at oh. stuff because we see them being really good at stuff. So, um, unless there was an example, and, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of one, in The Hobbit or Lord of the Rings of dwarves being as fragile as humans, then I don't think it's... I think it's totally reasonable to be able to accept that scene. Um, regarding the plank of wood itself, um, as I think a couple of people pointed out in my comments, it is substantially thicker. Like, I called it a plank of wood because I was kind of being facetious, but it is, it's like a tree trunk. It's a lot thicker than, like, a shield. Um, so I can believe that it would absorb more of an impact than a traditional shield. So, uh, yeah. I will... Oh, sure. Oh. Yeah, go on. If, I, if, yep. um, I was also going to say that still fell for it. Tradition, traditionally, shields were actually generally made out of wood. Oh yeah, no, I, I knew that. I was because yeah. I think I think one of the points that I made was that Aowen in there's gold up there. Go! Um, <laughs> bring it, let's go. <laughs> um, we're rich. Yeah, I think one of the points that I made was that, like, Eowyn has a shield, and she gets twatted by the Witch King, and she, mm. like, her arm is, like, very obviously broken. She's absolutely fucked after that. Um, yeah. Yeah, that I, shield went freaking splinters. Yeah, like, I think the point that I was making was that that would have been what I was expecting to happen to Thorin, but it didn't, and therefore it's a problem. But I wasn't considering that, yeah, dwarves are more durable, and I think that's pretty reasonable. And the piece of wood that he's holding could very likely take a bigger hit. Uh, yeah, I would also point out that the, um, the, the blow that she took was from the Witch King. Yes, that's it. That, yeah, well, and... eh, that I'm not sure matters, because it's the Witch King and Azog. Like, if it was just Rando Orc number three, then fine. But Azog is, I, I, I mean, from what we see, I think it's reasonable to say that Azog has mm. got a hit about as hard as a Witch King. Hmm. Like, maybe lore-wise, no, but going from yeah. what we see in the film, he's a brick shit house. Yeah, no, true true enough, yeah. I, I keep forgetting that you're going from... Oh yeah, I'm only going from the films, because, yeah. yeah. Azog, I, I believe, is not even, he's not even in the book, he's dead by the time The Hobbit takes place. But, uh, whereas Bolg is in the book, I think. Yeah. So, the change that they made if I remember correctly, is that they made it be that instead of being killed at the Battle of Moria, Azog was wounded. And the reason why they did that, like in principle, I don't have a problem with it. Uh, because it means that you then have this idea of this one particular orc who has it out for, he has it in for Thorin and he specifically wants to hunt Thorin. Um, yeah. If you don't have that, then you have Bolg. And Bolg's just some guy. Like the only reason why Bolg is interested in Thorin is because Azog says, go get Thorin. Um, so, like, in principle, I don't have a problem with them changing that, but obviously, yeah, what they ended up doing with it wasn't particularly good. Oh, I found a helmet. A helmet? Ooh. Yeah, nitro. That, that's a job for me. Uh, we have gold as well. And nitro, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, yeah, it's back. Platforms place. Right, uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll go get it. This go nitro here will need a platform. Uh, ping... Okay, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, you don't need a platform. I should be able to get that. Ah, oh, platform you. There you go. Just in case you pull it off. Azog is an embarrassing inclusion. Yeah. I, I don't necessarily agree. I think the way that he was used is not good, but I, 
again, I feel like in principle making that change I can understand. Because once you make the decision to split The Hobbit into... I mean, two or even three movies, the first movie doesn't have any kind of impending doom threat type... It doesn't have anything to really drive the plot, it's just the first bit. Because it's, you know, half a story. So... It, it, including Azog means that you then have a villain for the first... I did not know that would happen. It means that you then have a villain for the first movie, and he is narratively tied to Thorin. So I think there are ways you could have done it and had it work, but yeah. We got what we got. The um, treasure is open. Um, yeah. Whereabouts? Next to you, yeah? Yeah, okay. uh, I'm the right next to the entrance. You just need to walk back once you're uh, in the big cave, take the first zip line up, and I'm at the entrance to the okay. uh, hidey hole. I also got one fossil, so we only like one more fossil to complete. Yeah, I got the last one right oh, here. Oh, nice. uh, yeah, I found the other um, dreadnought. I'll be right there. Okay, I'm trying to. I was trying to get to you for the uh, helmet. I assume we want to pull the dreadnought out. I guess that's not a very good place to fight it. Where was the? Uh, where's the helmet? You need to go back. Uh, you can see me on the map in the cave. Just go way back. And then, um... Watch for the, the, the other cave I'm in, just take the first zip line up and I'm near the entrance. Okay, I'm alright. Okay, no, I took the wrong way. Rock and roll! You know what, I can actually dig to you guys. You... Yeah. Right. I'm thinking we should fight the dread in this room. You do? Oh yeah, okay, yeah, pull him into this room. And I can hit him from here. I... Oh. I could use a resupply before we fight, by the way. Yeah. We got Coming plenty in. of, uh, we got plenty of nitro. We, we now also can yeah. just, uh, possibly take it over here, but I don't think this isn't particularly a great cave to find him in. Um, the helmet is where? Yeah, here's up, up here. Right, I'm back in the cave. I will wait for you guys. Okay. Ah, uh, thank you. Dark neon. Well, that Dark sounds good. Mm. I also need to deposit a whole bunch of. I've got damage. Did I just go the wrong way? Uh, I'm calling Molly. If that's all right. Oh, wait, wait, give me a minute. Oh, uh, I'm right behind you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay, there she is. All right, never mind. Well, I reckon this cave is fine to find it in. We just yeah, I think so. This uh, pillar here, then yeah, we should be good. Which pillar? Uh, this one. Oh, yeah, I'll... I'll... There we go. Right, I made it. Okay, I'm next to the dredge. Like, I'm... Yeah, I'll come back to the main room. You come and I will shoot it. Okay, let me move my uh, turret. Alrighty. We good? Um... Yep, yep go for it. I'm just spawning the yeah. turret now. Uh, if we're gonna uh, get it through the way. Yep, go for it. Go get him, boy. Ready to kill some more crates. Don't forget to restock, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to restock. Oh, yeah. I have three rounds left. Uh, I should probably yeah. have to take them. Getting more ammo. I needed that. Uh, I'm good. Apparently, my gun doesn't quite reach up to, to the egg. God damn. Uh, okay, I'll go get him. If I had the mole, I was so tempted there. Where is the egg? Uh, okay. Okay, it's a. Oh, nice. It's a good egg. Come, come. It's a yeah. It's the easier one. Come. So just to. Yes, there we go. There, there, come oh. on, not little further. Come on, come on. Stand oh, yeah. a little to the left. Right him off. Smile, you son of a bitch. Yeah, so that you guys have, uh... Oh, Jesus. Fun thoughts while we're fighting this. Uh, chat's currently talk about, talking about chewing on Helen Mirren's ear. What? <laughs> that is weird. Chat is weird. 
How, how, how did that come to be? Question mark. I don't know, I just looked at it and was like, well, of course that's a conversation that's happening. Gaglin probably has something to do with it. Probably. Ah! I'm guessing like me. my lure grenade does nothing for the dreads, does it? No. He okay. will chase you regardless. Okay. It will distract his swarmers, though. Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, yeah, he's coming after me. Nope. Uh, yeah, he's not liking me. Uh, there's a warden as well. Oh, front right. Yeah, then. Yeah. Oh fuck, I'm in a bad spot. I'm gonna run. Oh no! Ah, I'm out of bullets. That's alright. And the Dreadnought is out of life. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yes, yeah, we've got it. everything we need. Is there another cape? I don't no. think so. I don't believe so. Let's restock and get out. Yep. Yeah, that's Hardack the rest anywhere. Um, yeah, Nihilist, regarding the plank of wood, like that, I could be convinced either way on. My main reason for changing my mind is because dwarves are tougher than people. Like, I think, I think I'm totally happy to accept that. Um, so even if, uh, you're totally correct about the shield, about the plank of wood, um, I still think I'm convinced that Thorin could take that hit and be okay. Um, have we... Yeah, we've hit it. Nice. Drop pod has arrived. The mule has been called back. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. That said, however, Nihilist, I'm not yet at the point in the film when this happens, and I'll... Um, I'll avoid spoilers for the one person in chat who hasn't read the book or seen the film. Um, dwarves take hits later in film three. And depending on how they take those hits, that may sway my opinion back. So we'll have to see. <laughs> I can actually happily say that I've actually never seen any of the Hobbit, Hobbit movies. Okay. Well, the third one's a bit of a fever dream so far. I, I've heard that. I've seen I've seen bits and pieces of it. Like, <laughs> I really cannot wait to see your video because oh, it's gonna have a lot in it. It it's gonna be a case of a lot of revision to make sure I'm being concise because otherwise, Jesus Christ, it's gonna be long. I mean, once you release, it's gonna be in premiere. I'm I'm gonna have snacks. I'm gonna have booze. <laughs> I'm gonna make a night out of it. <laughs> Oh, no, I've been clipped. Nikola Obradovich has clipped me. Dwarves aren't people, quote RFT. Allegedly. Well, that, <laughs> that is factually correct. Yeah, it is factually correct. If we're talking about fantasy dwarves, let's not get back into the Peter Dinklage discussion from last time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good board. Right, well, that went pretty well. Yeah, that went very well. Um... Well, Gagalim asked Truffle, but I'll ask you guys, are you feet people? No. No. I mean, I'll answer as well. No. Well done. <laughs> One mission to go. Oh, we got another pot of gold. No. Lovely. Uh, in answer to that, I am a gold person. Yeah, we all like gold. Just gold. I don't see any... No. Uh, this, it, it, oh, nah, there is a gold rush, but it's an escort mission, so that's kind of jank. This, oh, there is what? one! A short one in um, a mining mission in the Glacial Strata, but it's a short one. Oh, uh, that's alright, that's that's extra gold. You can do it. What was the mission, sorry? Not the escort? 
Yeah, that's a... Another more cut one. Oh, nice, okay. Um, the, um, we got a booze here for someone. Yeah, it's a short one, but the uh, the cave is actually fairly lo is decently long enough. Okay. So we so we should make a good haul. Yep. Uh, yep. Anything but that. Anything for the Hurry up! I ain't getting younger, you know. Ah, oh, precious. Okay, so the gold crazies? Yes, I am. And, uh, yeah, Gadgetronic says, Careful, leave. RFT, I hit, I hit too much gold, does things to the mind. Yeah! Um, <laughs> so only now, at the point where I'm at in, in the third movie, have they actually clarified what it is that is causing Thorin to go crazy. Oh. Which is, what, seven hours into the trilogy? Because, yeah, prior to that, it had just been conflicting or vague information, and then it's like, no, it's actually this. So, yeah. Not particularly good storytelling. God damn it, Being Gaglum. something vague is a really poor excuse because they can't think of a good idea. Well, I mean, it's yeah. like... Well, that is... That is symptomatic of, uh, of, unfortunately, just of, uh, of the Lord of the Rings recently, because, like, why do they make the, uh, like, there's no reason for them to make the Rings of Power, like, ugh. In Rings of Power, like, you mean? Uh, yeah, yeah. Money. <laughs> no, I mean, like, the actual making of the Rings of the Rings. It doesn't actually make sense. Well, no, because uh, oh, you, sorry. two will divide, but three is balance. That's why. Yeah, but, but I mean, just even making them doesn't make any sense. Like, like yeah. I can't remember, because my, my brain has kind of been destroyed by the series. What reason did they actually give for them wanting to make them? Because it was it was Gilgalad's plan the whole time to, to do it, which is why he wanted Calabrimbo to make the forge. I need to call Molly, by the way. I'm full. They essentially just used it as an excuse to cure the darkness, but they didn't ever clarify what it was or why they were sick. We think there might be a Sauron somewhere, so we're going to make rings. That's right, yeah, yes, that's he wanted yeah. he wanted to yeah. make the rings and he wanted to just get... Because uh, before before it was rings, it was going to be the crown that they were going to give to Gilgalad, and he was going to like wear it on his head and just counter evil or, or something. Yeah, like, which doesn't make... They... Like, they never said how that would work. Well, they just said, anymore. screw it, let's do it. Well, what I was thinking, like, I, I think the best explanation I for that, which is not in the show, but I think the best explanation for that is that the the crown of power, I guess at that time it was going to be, was going to just make him really, really powerful. And then he would then have the ability, enhanced by the crown of power, to defeat Sauron. That's what I had assumed. But that that isn't what the show actually tells us. No, it's and like in the in the law, what is it? Allude to, but then it didn't actually do. What's the explanation in the law? If that can be explained briefly, I, I don't know if it can. Okay, so in uh, so in the lore, magic is failing oh, because. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Um, so in the lore, in the lore, uh, magic is f uh, fading from the world because of Mel uh, Melkor. Basically, he uh, he uh, weaved discord into the song of creation. Is Melkor so Morgoth's is, predecessor? Mel, uh, Melkor is Morgoth. Oh, Melkor is Morgoth. Okay. Yeah. Um. And and so what ends up happening is uh, as magic is magic is leaving the world, and Kellen Brimbor, um, also being incredibly arrogant and wanting to learn everything, decide uh, is tricked into making uh, the Rings of Power, mm -hmm. which will help preserve. Uh, will help preserve ma uh, magic in the world and keep uh, magic in Arda in Middle Earth. Okay, and by keeping magic, that inadvertently ends up helping Sauron because Sauron needs magic to do what he wants to do. Is that right? No, no, no. What it was was um, Melkor. Uh, so Sauron taught him to do, uh, taught him how to make the make the rings. Well, he was for uh, he was going to forge his own, which would allow him to control uh, various uh, the various peoples of Middle Earth. Okay. Yeah. 
And then the elves uh, went and made their uh, their own rings, which would have um, which had no uh, which Sauron had no influence over, which allowed him to. Uh, or yeah, so he forged. Uh, they forged the three rings, which uh, which uh, they did without his help. That he would have no control over, because he had no influence over them. And when uh, and when he found out, he kind of went mad. Uh, he invaded um, uh, Region uh, and killed uh, and tried to get the. He invaded a Region, captured the uh, the door, uh, the seven and the nine. Um, brutally tortured Calabrimbor. I think uh, at the end of it, um, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he uh, basically shot him full of arrows and then strapped him and used him as a uh, battle standard. Okay. Yeah. And did, was Celebrimbor involved in the creation of the One Ring, or was that entirely Sauron? No, that's entirely that was, Sauron. Okay. Yeah. I was actually going to... Uh, Is that... that um, like, all the other rings have like, right? a, a, like a tiny bit of Sauron in them? If I'm correct about that, but the One Ring has like more Sauron in it. Yeah. That's the way I can explain it. it basically, yeah, um, yeah, and uh, oh, we have a core lock. Can I get a uh, platform? Yeah. Can I, yeah, platform right there. Certainly. Uh, you've also got purple juju right there. Oh, and there's green right here. We're rich, guys. We're rich. We're rich. Um, okay, so that's... That's a callback I was not expecting. The One Ring is basically Sauron's soggy biscuit. <laughs> Don't ruin this for us. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. We're rich. Oh. That nation executed. Oh. Oh. I'm safe to say that I'll unsub if you put that in the video. Put what in the video? No oh, the soggy biscuit Fight. thing. Yep. Oh god, no, I'm not doing that. That that will be a reference that only the people currently in chat and you guys will actually get, and it's not worth it because everyone else will just be like, what the fuck. And then they'll go and Google it. Yeah. And it'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> no, I don't oh, want to be doing that. Oh, uh, was that, a, was that a swarm, yeah? Did, did I just say swarm? After the swarm, I actually did have a question about the ring, but that will wait. Yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. I will require my full attention on that so I can oh. speak. <laughs> Please bear with me. It does get a bit intense, doesn't it? A moist taco maneuver. Moist taco maneuver. Uh, Stuart uh, Noll, I have not seen the Bicentennial Man, Robin Williams movie, late '90s or early '90s. I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I, I, I know what the cover of like the DVD looks like, but I've never seen it. Does it ring a bell? Oh crap! Watch out! What? Yeah. Uh, Tyrant Sprout. Oh. I didn't realize. Almost triggered it again. Ah, oh God, I'm getting chilly. Damn it. Everybody, chill. I'm doing my part. Nothing that's it. Hostiles are backing down. Finish them. Okay, as I was saying, Ava about the ring, because I have not read the books, but I have played the fan games, in the Shadow of Mordor games, it showed that it was actually Caleb Brimborn making the rings, including the one ring. Did he actually do that, or was no. that all Sauron? That was all Sauron. 
Okay. Sa uh, Sauron was actually probably one of the best. So the the other cool thing about it is Sauron was actually probably the greatest smith um, uh, outside of um, oh crap, I can never remember his name. Uh, no, no, he was even better oh, than Kalimbrimbor. No, no, he was even better than him. Oh, okay. I yeah, I don't know. Um, be because Sauron is actually a um, uh, a Maiar, uh, who um, who are essentially the angels of uh, of Middle Earth. Well, hold on. What the fuck do we do with this? Just kill uh, it. Just shoot the green. Just shoot the green. Okay. Sorry, and I'm not done with this. Before. Purple. The purple Aether. Okay. There's a healing pod. Uh, where? Got it done. I could use some ammo uh, before that happens again. Yeah. Anyway, you were saying. Would would Fingolfin be the guy that you were trying to think of? No, it's uh, the guy who it's a uh, it's the Maiar who, sorry, the Valar who made the dwarves. Aule. I can I can never remember his name. Was it Aule? A U L E. No. No. I'm just going from Rings of Power. So if it's if I'm wrong, it's Rings of Power's fault. But. Um, <laughs> and, and, and it might be. Uh, I, I can never remember his name. It's um, Truffle Pop so, says it's Ali. Truffle Pop. Uh, yeah. I'll, yeah. That. Yeah. That's 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 who he is. Yeah. Sorry. But yeah, he was a he, he was a Maiar uh, of um, Alloway. So he is actually one of the greatest myths on Middle uh, on Middle Earth, if not the greatest. Which is how he he was actually able to make uh, the One Ring. I was simply curious because the actual games never actually, as far as I know, didn't depict him actually crafting. It. Uh, didn't, well, they didn't depict him crafting, so I wasn't sure if he actually did it or not. Yeah, he did. It's only the, um, also the only ring that got crafted at Mount Doom, which is why that's also the only place where it can be destroyed, because that's the only uh, heat source that's hot enough to Fair destroy enough, it. That would make sense. Okay. Yeah. Or, or uh, uh, I don't know if this is backed up in Tolkien's writing. Apparently, Smaug's fire. Uh, no, Smaug, uh, Smaug's fire could not. Uh, Dragon's fire could actually not consume uh, the the rings. Okay. Uh, it was it was said. Um, and I, I think there, and, like, I think there it, was the one dragon. The ring in its own like would probably prevent a dragon from doing that, yeah. since dragons are pretty pretty corruptible. Well, yeah. so something that popped up in one of my comments, I don't know if it was more than once, was someone was suggesting that apparently part of the reason why the One Ring had to be taken back to Mount Doom was because by this point the last of the Fire Drakes, which was Smaug, was dead. So I, I don't know no. if that was if that's wrong, but I mean, it kind of sounded like it could make sense. Uh, it is wrong. Uh, like, um, Gan in, in the book, Gandalf actually specifically says that uh, not even, um, I think it's Eder, uh, I can never remember his name, uh, but he was a dragon the size of a mountain. Oh, and Caligon um, the Black. Black, yes. He yeah. could not melt uh, the, the, one ring, uh, the rings. Okay. Yeah. I Just quickly, by the way, um, super chat from Nikola Bradovich. Thank you very much. Um, he says, Sauron made the one ring in secret after he quote-unquote helped Celebrimbor forge the seven and nine, yep. and he didn't know about the three, because the elves didn't trust him and made them without his involvement. Okay, so the yeah. the three, because who were the three elven rings given to, like in the lore, right? It was Galadriel, Gilgalad, and 
Galadriel and yeah. Calibrimor, I believe. Did Calibrimor yeah, get one so, himself? Yeah. And then uh, when Gil Gilgalad died, um, it w his was given to Elrond, I believe. Well, Gil yeah, so I was looking at this when I was doing a bit for Battle of the Five Armies. The ring that Gandalf has was Gilgalad's ring. Okay, he yeah, came to him at some point, but I can't remember yeah. the details of it. Yeah. I could yeah, use I could use a resupply when we have one. By the way, but, uh, Gandalf was not an original owner. Yes, he his was from Gilgalad, but whether it was given directly to him, I, I don't know. So, in that case, um, does that mean because in Rings of Power, this is this is probably a stupid question because the answer is obviously yes. But did they just completely fuck it? Because um, yes. Sauron knows that the three dwarf, uh, elven rings got made because he was like, hey man, go make, we got rings, you can make them, here's how you make them, here's what an alloy is. That, that's, <laughs> yes. he knew that that was happening, so that is not accurate at all then in that case. No, and it actually, <laughs> and it actually completely fucks with the, t it actually completely fucks with, uh, with how and the rings work. work. Elves were already great craftsmanship, so the, the, the f idea that an elf would, uh, at least an elf's craftsman, wouldn't understand what an alloy is. That's hilarious, just... yeah. Oh, I, I know nothing about any of that, and I know what a fucking alloy is. Unless they well, literally just only used one metal for everything. Yeah. Which, well, I mean, maybe, maybe they did, but, um, I mean... Well, the other the other issue is not only that they also knew what um, they also knew what Myth, uh, Mithra was. Who who did? The elves. <laughs> Should they not have? Well, the, the, no. In the in the in the show, it's like Mithra was like this ma mystical. Um, oh, I see. Okay. Unknown. Power. But they did know what it was because. Um, Elrond uh, explained it to Durin. But the, well, in the, in the um, show, the reason why the reason why they know what Mithril is, is because Gilgalad had the whole story about it being, like, put in the mountain or whatever. How he knew that it was real is a different question, but he seemed to know yeah. that it existed. Well... But were, were, the, were the elves already using Mithril by that point in time? Yeah, um, Bilbo's shirt, uh, Mith uh Mithril's shirt, uh, was made, uh, was made for an elven princeling of Gondolin. Which okay, was so, in the First Age. So in... In the source material, Mithril is not some magic MacGuffin. It's just this thing that, peop that the elves use. It's a uh, it's a very very valuable um, it's a very metal. Rare, uh, metal that's super strong, super light, super durable. But it is just but a metal. It's as not. As far some... as I'm aware, it's like in Rings of Power, they make it like this magical, evil curing thing. And as far as I'm aware, it's never mentioned like that before. It's just. It it's just a super powerful metal, but it's very rare, and thus it's very valuable. Well, because because yeah, in, in Rings of Power they use the Mithril to make the rings. The, that, okay, that was part so, of the point. Yeah, um, in the in the source material, uh, the uh, specifically Galadriel's ring is actually made with myth, uh, Mithril. Okay. Um, so that that's that's fine. The the issue. Oh no, we've already got it. I think we, I think we're done. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, yep. Yeah. Uh, I think we're good. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, her. Yeah, her ring is actually made with uh, is made with myth, uh, Mithra. But that's not no, normal. That's not what they're all made gets cooled down there. God damn it. Oh goddamn it! <laughs> Uh, apparently, the elven ring bearers were Sirdan, Galadriel, and Elrond. Yeah. So not hmm. not Gilgalad then. He didn't take one. Or did he get? Or Celebrimbor. No, no. I think that. Uh, okay, so if I remember correctly, Gil Gilgalad did have one when he died. His was passed on to either Sirodin the shipwright or uh, Elrond. I can't remember who it was when Gandalf. Uh, when Gandalf uh, came to Middle Earth. Uh, Sirodin gave him his. So from what I read when I was looking up, the, like, the history of Gandalf's ring, like, because he's obviously not an elf, but he has one of the elven rings, um, apparently it was Gilgalad's that was then given to Sirodin, and then he gave it to Gandalf. Like, why all of that yeah. happened, I don't know, but, um, yeah. Uh, probably because Sirodin would have known Gandalf's mission. Like, uh, the other thing is, Gandalf is, um... 
is a Maiar. He is the he is of the same he is the same being as Sauron. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So although he, he although he is admittedly weaker. Yes. For some reason. Uh, he because so the thing was when he went to Middle Earth, it wasn't to take charge. It wasn't to defeat Sauron on his own. The the whole idea was to unite was for men he to unite. He, he yeah. guides the races to be able to, at least with some help, fight him off that, on their own. Strength. That's the only explanation that I've been able to fathom from his what he does in the Hobbit movies. Yeah, and that's and that's what he does in uh, the Lord of the Rings. He's constantly like he he acts as an advisor, but generally it's more to uh, it's more to um, advise and ma let people make their own decisions. Yeah, steer people in the right direction. Yeah, be yep. a guiding hand. Um, Chapelpup says... There's other comments in here that I want to read, but I'll just do this one quickly. The stupidest part of the Three Rings was they melted Finrod's dagger, gold, and mithril into one pot and managed to make two gold and one mithril ring. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I get, well, I guess within the canon for just rings of power, you would have to assume that that isn't the case. You would have to assume that they're all made from some alloy of mithril and, and gold. Because, like, is it, also, is it narratively important that one of the rings is mithril and the others are not? Like, does that matter? I think that was made just to show which one is going to be Galadriel's. I don't think it's going to have any other oh. real use. Okay. Because then, yeah, well, the fact I, that they've changed that doesn't necessarily matter, yeah. but yeah. I can... Well, that's interesting. The, the other part is, as a, um... The other part of, of it is, uh... There's other metals in that dagger because you're yes. not going to make a dagger out of out of out of gold or silver because those are terrible metals to actually use as a weapon. Yeah, they're very soft. <laughs> uh, so uh, silver is actually fairly heavy. Um, it actually makes it, you can actually make a good bludgeoning weapon out of it. Believe it or not, like a silver no, gold is. Uh, yeah, no, gold is actually uh, very soft, so it wouldn't actually. So none of them would actually be able to hold it, uh, hold an edge. Hey, so I know in detail why gold is soft, and it's because I've seen the end of the second Hobbit movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um. Right. Where is there was another comment that I wanted to wanted to read. Where is it? I'm gonna go for uh, for a wee. Okay. As you put it. Um. Uh, no. Bag of Bondify says. Did he know that there, this is referring to Sauron? Did Sauron know that there were three? I think he thought there would only be two, but I also try not to think about Rings of Power more than I have to. So going just from, from Rings of Power, forgetting the source material, Sauron was under the impression that, they, that there were going to be two rings, and Galadriel's plan to subvert that, because at this point she had realized who Sauron is, she was like, no, we can't do exactly what he wants, so we'll make three, because three will... What was it? One will corrupt, two will divide, three will give balance. So her fix for this was to make three instead of two. Um, but yes, Sauron's understanding was that there was going to be was that there were going to be two rings rather than one crown. Unless unless he manipulated Galadriel and you know, all the rest of it, but like I don't even. You can't. I don't think you can draw that out of what the what the episode actually showed us. Alright, so what mission are we doing, boys? Um, I'm just upgrading my gun. Give me one sec. Um, at some point tonight, do you mind if I jump on Driller, uh, Frog? Totally up to oh, you. Sure. I, 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 can, I can switch. Okay. No, I, I don't mind. Are you okay playing Engineer, or we can all juggle up? Like, I don't... I no, don't... I, don't uh, I don't mind one bit. Let me just give me a second to switch. Okay. There we go. Shoot your turrets to create an overloaded shot. No, I'm not sure I like the sound of that. Okay. Can't wait to try this out. Where's me pod? There's me pod. Right. So this should hit me level 25, which should then give me 
Uh, what is it? Prestige your... or promotion, is it called? Yes, and then you'll have to do another assignment, but that one you do not have to play the driller to actually do. So I can unlock the promotion now, and then if I wanted to, I could jump on the scout and progress the driller. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, interesting. And what does that actually do? It unlocks, like, other weapons, or...? It will allow you to access more missions, and I believe if you've not unlocked it, you should unlock more weapons, yeah. Okay. But like that- And in general, a promotion also gives you, like, uh, two random calls and a skin set for a random stuff, so... Okay. Also, like, some random calls. Once I get promoted, I need to have a look at exactly how that works, because I haven't looked at it at all. I don't know. Yeah, and just so you know, uh, to promote... You need to go to the Hall of Remembrance, which is up here. Uh, yeah, I know where that is, yeah. All right. To the very end, there's a console you can promote over there. So once and I hit 25, also, I have to do that. Yeah, you also can't be... Don't ask me why. You can't be in a multiplayer lobby where you're promoting. You'll have to dip out, go to like a single uh, lobby where it's just you, go to the console, and then promote. But you can do the mission while... Uh, yes, in a, you in can do the missions, absolutely. Okay. Just the promotion in itself, you can't do that when there's somebody else in your lobby. Okay. It's just a weird thing about the game. They do also state that, but it's just, just uh, yeah, odd that they haven't changed that over there. It's probably something with the engine or something that it's limits it. Interesting that it doesn't actually explain that with the terminal. It just gives me a list of classes. It doesn't tell me that I have to be level 25, but... Yeah, it will just say, like, there will be a button underneath the character where you can basically just click promote. And you yeah. need to pay some costs. It's some minerals, it's some, uh... Okay. Some stuff. Also, fun fact, you see these statues over here? Oh, yeah, let me come back, hold on. They're probably all grey for you now. The, yes, they are. But, uh, depending on which character you've promoted, at least once they'll turn gold one by one. Okay, nice. Because, yeah, right now on there I only have the driller and the, um, engineer. Because they're the only ones I've played for any amount of time. Um, right, I have another super chat. Where are we? Uh, Postal John, thank you for jumping in chat. I don't think I recognize your name, so I hope you have enjoyed. Um, he says, just spent the week rewatching your Rings of Power uh, review, L a lack of capitalization intended. Thank you again for ripping it apart as it deserves. Deep Rock Galactic is more faithful to Tolkien's work than Rings of Power is. Wow. <laughs> Uh, and that's, that's, yeah. you're not completely wrong. Yeah, you're not you're not wrong. I mean, Deep Rock Galactic, I think, has a better understanding of basic physics than um, than Rings of Power does. Um, yeah. And dwarves. And dwarves, yeah, that's, there's that. Um, Stuart Knoll is also asking... Sorry, Postal John, thank you again for your super chat. Thank you. Um, welcome, Kraken. And Stuart Knoll asks, is there any way to message you directly? So the best way to message me directly would probably be to jump in Discord. Um, and then you can tag me, or you can just send me a message, it's up to you. You can, I think, message me through YouTube, but I don't know how that works. So, honestly, the best way to message me would be to do it on Discord, I think. There's a link to the Discord in the description for any videos, including this one. Um, so, yeah. Um, where are we? Where me, Jade? Any chances of some Gardic phone or something else shenanigans? Not tonight, because tonight is Deep Rock Night. But, yeah, I'll arrange another, um, yeah, drawing, drunken drawing game. Honestly, we might do that after we do, um, after we finish God of War, because I'm going to plan on finishing God of War on Friday. So, uh, like six days time. And then depend, yeah, Dad of Boy. <laughs> And depending on when I actually finish it, like if it's if there's a few hours left before it's too late, then yeah, I'll happily will do some drawing games. I don't mind. Um, and I've got a super chat here from Tank. Thank you, Tank. And uh, Tank Tank says thank you for hosting. Well, thank you for joining. It is always good to have you on. And I'm back, by the way. Hey, Tank. Welcome back. Don't forget your beer. I yes, got, I, I grabbed it. I grabbed it. I I haven't had mine. Uh, what mission are we doing next? Egg Hunt? Yeah. Okay. It's a really quick one. This was one of your assignment missions. Lovely. Well, hopefully this will get me 25. And then what does what does promoting the driller actually do? Uh, oh. 
I mean, it does a lot, but if you mean by sheer function, you get access to a new active slot. So you get two. Active slot is what? You have the perks one, the the the, the purple one. Oh yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah. the things you can activate, you get an additional one of those. Okay. But it's only once, so it's not like with every upgrade. The first promotion will actually have like one quote benefit. All the promotions after that, other than like getting some calls and getting a fancy new star above your name with depending on the tier, a new color. So are they every action. are they every twenty five levels or yeah. each one is twenty five okay. levels? Okay, cool. Um, uh, yeah, and oh, sorry. I, I was going to say, unrelated, but what you're talking about in chat, I, uh, you're going to, that number of what the average height is, is going to vary massively, whether you're talking globally or country specific. Because um, globally, um, it's going to be a lot shorter than probably most countries that anyone here is from, because there's a lot of countries with a lot of people in, and the average height is very short. Well, I'm Dutch, we are been like the tallest people on average in the world for God knows how long. How tall are you from? Uh, I'm I'm average. I'm 181. I'm totally loaded. 181. So that I, is that pretty much bang on six foot, I think. Uh, uh, six I'm, feet I'm, is I'm, one. Can't ask me. Uh, six foot, I believe, is like 185. I think. Okay, because I think that's about where I am. Yeah. Uh, all of you are short, by the way. Uh, Why? Well, I told you. Oh, you're like. What did you say last time? I can't remember. Six. 193. 193 centimeters. Oh, nice. Uh, six foot two, six foot three, depending. Big boy. Yeah, and then they decided that they were going to shove me into a tank. <laughs> oh, look what I found. It was your calling. They heard your name and was like, well, it would be rude not to. <laughs> oh, and I found a helmet. What if... Oh, okay, hold on. I think I already mentioned this in a previous stream, but I had like a, a classmate and he was two eight. Yeah. Uh, what is that in feet? Fucking, um, someone, just fucking someone in chat, tell me two meters, two meters zero eight uh, in in feet. Let me know. That's like six foot seven. Okay, because six seven is the height of uh, one of my friends who I game with and play Warhammer with, and he's rather tall. I, I think I think he's the tallest person that I know. Uh, Rolly poly. It was funny because um, he would always be picked first, of course, uh, with basketball, and oh yeah, he could pretty much also just you know just lay it in there. But he was just so bloody cut. He was not good at basketball, but it was just his height, you know. It's uh, it's 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 not a sport anymore. Yeah, he's not going to care about what anyone else is doing. Fall over his own legs and like walk into a wall, like. Where was, um, like, once the swarm's done, I'll go get it. Where was the helmet that you found? Oh, uh, I actually haven't had a chance to look. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's literally back in the, uh, first, uh, first, um, in the first cave. Uh, where we dropped in. Okay. Did did one of you grab an egg? Is that is that why we have the swarm? Yep. Yeah, I grabbed an egg. Okay. Was probably a bit careless. That happens. Well, that was easy. Oh, nice. Oh. Gold. Alright. Uh, Um, the the purple thing. That's the helmet. Yep. Yep. Okay, because I can just diggy diggy straight there. Diggy diggy hole. Diggy diggy, diggy, diggy hole. hole. Digging a hole. Yep. Nice. Nice. What do we get? Let's see. I got pickaxe part, hammer blow. I got. Uh, tavern pie. So those, uh, like, lootable you, things... You get the same, but if one already has the part that's supposed to be in it, they just get another one. 
So I probably already had the part, so I got something else or vice versa. But like, what yeah. is the loot pool for that? Is it everything that has ever existed in the game apart from the stuff that you have to pay for now? No, uh, um, yes. I believe so, yes yeah. And no. Like, if it's in the shop, it's not in there. Sh yeah. Shop as in pay real money or pay... No, 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 pay, pay, like, the in-game, uh, the in-game gold. Okay, yeah. okay. The, the shop okay. is its own little pool and everything uh, that you get in a mission is by default on the shop. Those are two separate pools. Okay. Yeah, so... That's a, one thing that I really like about this game is that there is there is no... Uh, in-game... Uh, there is no, like, premium currency or anything like that. I think I found yeah. one of these tower things. Omen Modular Exterminator. Yeah. Uh, you know I what that is? I don't need it. What, what is it? I don't know. Oh, that's for the core. Uh, oh, no. Um, yeah, that's for the core. Uh, the core stuff. Uh, you'll get that once you hit twenty-five. Okay, nice. So there's no point in. I mean, I'm happy to do it if anyone else needs it, but there's no point in me doing it now, right? Yeah. You uh, get like additional experience. You could even get like experience for just activating it. Okay, yeah. nice. Um, I mean, we did pretty good on the buff. We did pretty good on the one before, so we can do that one. Yeah. Uh, if, if people need it, sure, yeah. I don't mind. Um, and yes, Postal John says in chat, if you have not listened to Wind Rose, uh, they are a Dwarven-themed metal band, then absolutely listen to them. And I can second that because they are fan-fucking-tastic. The album Warfront that came out, I think, last year was one of my favorite, al favorite albums from that year. Um, they are fantastic. And... Um, yeah, why not? So, um, a couple of years ago, I actually did some editing work for their producer, which was really? a little, oh. bit, little bit of an experience. That was quite fun. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, Stuart Knoll says, do you play on consoles or are you strictly PC? I currently am strictly PC. I have owned consoles before, but I... I, I basically, I have, like, my gaming computer, which is what I'm on now, and then I have a downstairs computer, which I basically turned into, like, a Steam bot, um, where I can just, like, plug and play and put on something and basically treat it like a downstairs console. So it boots into Steam Big Picture mode, and it's essentially my old computer that's just plugged into the TV. Um, what I that's need... Cool. Yeah, what I need to do... Because, yeah, like, I think it has, like, a 970 in it, which, you know, you could probably buy that computer for the price of, like, a PS5 now. And it's probably more powerful. What I need to do, though, is migrate it out of its old case and put it in, like, a much smaller case. Uh, so that it can, you know, fit nicely under the TV. Alright, are we ready? Um, uh, one yeah, second. where are we? I'd say stand on this one and give only need to pull this one. This is the same thing as before, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And let's move counterclockwise, since there's no uh, platform over there. Okay. User is here. Yeah. Ready? Uh, sure. It's on. I'm very low on health, by the way, so there's a big likelihood I'll die fairly quickly, but we'll see how it goes. Middle. We can only target one of them one at a time, yeah? Yeah, this is the middle one. Okay. Each platform corresponds with a different section. Oh, shit. I ran right into that. Oh, oh Jesus. No, oh, hamburgers. Oh, it's got... Yeah, it's got... Uh, it's got suicide going left. Going left? Yeah. Those are the worst in my opinion. Yeah, knew it. Just keep killing the bottom one, don't bother with resuming me yet. Yep. Oh, oh Jesus, the fucking drones. Ah, I'm down. Am I unwilling? Yeah, probably the worst combination I can think of is this bottom one. Those annoying little homing drones, and then the turret on the second one. What is it that's sending the drones at us? That's the top one. Okay, yeah. I'm down properly now. Um, thank you. Oh. 
Nice. There we go. Going right. left, yep. Now we just get the drones. Oh, we just literally, it doesn't matter where we stand. No, oh, no, we gotta stand at the other one. Okay. Uh oh, fuck. Lovely. Nice one. I do. Nice. That was empty. Born ready. Uh, it's not the um, Galagum. It's the they don't get better with beer. They get better with whiskey. <laughs> oh, there's an egg down here. I'll diggy diggy to it. Oh. I'm going to say something that's going to be rather controversial here. Irish beer is actually pretty terrible. Uh, before yeah. I before I uncover this egg, are we good to go, or do we want to be healing? It should be fine. Okay. I never We're actually had any good. Irish beer, so... We, 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 trash. we as, as Dutch, we make a lot of fun about the Belgians, but the one thing we do not disrespect is their beer. No, the Belgians have really good beer. Yeah, Irish whiskey hits difference because it's actually good. Irish beer is just garbage. I need to try yeah, some I Irish whiskey. It. So I think the next egg is right about here. That's uh, should be up there, I think. No, German. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I know. Well, somebody already took it. I'm, I've got it. It's here. Yeah, it's over there. Denmark is constantly inundated with Germans in the, uh, in the, uh, in the summer, and they come in just for our beer and our beaches, so, no, German beer is garbage. There, said it. Fight me. Uh, we also get a lot of Germans in summer. You see, I don't think that they actually got the memo that they lost. It's also funny, because we have, um... <laughs> <laughs> we have one island to the to the north uh, to the northwest, Cecil. Uh, oh. My brother lives there, and it's already a really touristy spot. But in summer, there's a whole truckload of Germans there, and it's always like a little game, like spot the Germans, because um, <laughs> in the Netherlands, of course, we cycle a lot, and there's also a lot of bicycle rents and stuff. But no. We as Dutch folk, like, everybody's on the cycle, but nobody wears, like, a safety cap. That is not a thing that we do around here mm. on just your regular bicycle. Oh, Germans, yeah, yeah, yeah. however, everywhere. Yes. Yes, they are They are exceptionally paranoid when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's the same in, it's the same in Denmark. Like, we bicycle all over the place. I actually think... I will actually argue, I think we actually out-bicycle you Dutchmen. But... <laughs> Uh, mm. <laughs> no, let's not get started on that one. Let's yeah, not get started on before, that one. before we come to blows, i got a question for you guys from chat. Mm. Stuart Knoll says, RFTM panel, anyone know of a good dark rum that I could get imported to the US if it isn't already available? I don't do rum, but maybe you guys can... Uh, uh, if you... The well, there like... should be plenty that's available in the US. Uh, Kraken is not too bad. I was literally going to recommend Kraken. As Kraken the only is one. good. It's the only one that I drink, so... Uh, if you want to go traditional, uh, if you want to go traditional, um, Lambs is always good. That's, uh, uh, that seems to be one that we, uh, that the, I, uh... I personally, this is gonna, not everybody's gonna agree with this one, but I personally like Havana. Mm. Are we mm. good to leave? Um, I can't see any more minerals, so... But yeah, yeah think... overall, uh, other than that, I don't really... I, I have some just basic bitch rums. I'm not a big rum expert. But yeah, I, considering the response, I'd say get Kraken. Kraken is good. Um, Actually, Kraken with, uh, with Bark's Root Beer is actually very good, I found. Drop pod? Drop pod has arrived. Retrieving the mule. 
Drop pod departing in T-minus five minutes. It's easy to bicycle in plain countries. Yes, it is. Yep. When you got a shit ton of mountains, that's just hard to do. No, that is true, that is true. I used to oh, cycle, we're... but then I jo started driving, and I hate cyclists when I'm driving. Maybe it's because people in the UK are just douchebags when they're cycling, but yeah, they drive me fucking mm. nuts. I was in London for a month, and I've seen people cycle in London, and th th those, those people are madmen. Like, the way oh, yeah. that London is set up for cyclists, it's just... There is... Um, Rus Russian roulette is probably safer. The, yeah, the safest way, I think, to travel in London is probably the underground, and that's saying yeah, something. Yeah, the tube is great. Yeah, the tube is really convenient, and I, I just, I don't like trains, but, like, typically it is, you know, it typically goes off without a hitch. The fact that you... How can I phrase this kindly? Driving in London is a goddamn nightmare, though. I just don't do it. Uh, that's also same for, like, the big cities over. It, Rotterdam is fine for driving, but Amsterdam and Utrecht... Uh, uh, a nightmare with cars. Mm. Yep, no agreed. But yeah, the fact... Um, in London, you see every demographic of the entire society use the tube. That should be, you know, enough of a statement to say the tube is good. Yeah. Assignment complete. Congratulations. That's the kindest way I can phrase it. Um, like, people don't see it as a necessity, but really as a convenience. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, question in chat, I just want to answer. Swag Mc, McJMac, uh, thank you for joining chat. I hope you are enjoying the stream. Hi, RFT, would you ever make an Everything Great About series, maybe about Lord of the Rings? Um, I think I probably will do a video on the Lord of the Rings, possibly multiple. Whether I will do them immediately after The Hobbit, I don't know. And if I do, it almost certainly will not be the same format as I've done with The Hobbit and Rings of Power. Because it won't work. There's... it will... it just won't... It won't have the same entertainment value. I don't think it would work. Um, one idea that I did have um, after discussing this with a friend is... There are... obviously the... basically everyone seems to think that the extended versions of Lord of the Rings are just the version of the film that you watch. Like, no one watches the theatrical. And there are certain scenes in the extended that I had assumed were in the theatrical. So um, I actually didn't realize this until recently, but I have never seen all of the theatrical version of Fellowship of the Ring. I have only seen the extended. And the scene where Galadriel gives everyone the gifts in Lothlorien is an extended scene. Mm. So what that means is that if you don't have that scene... You then fast forward to um, Return of the King, and you have Frodo in Shelob's lair, and he and he uh, hears Galadriel's voice saying, um, "And I give you the light of Elendil, our most beloved star." And then he uses it to like scare off Shelob. If you don't have the giving of the gifts scene, then yeah, then then you are you are paying something off that did not have a setup, and I think that is terrible. Like, I'm, I'm amazed that that was not in the theatrical cut of the films, because it's like, and Frodo, if you remember off screen, I gave you something that is now in your pocket, and you can totally use it right now. How about that? Like, I think that's shit. Do sex machina. Yeah, like that. Yeah, Jesus. But then, yeah, I don't, I don't know why they cut that scene in particular. And honestly, there's multiple, multiple extended scenes that just should have been in theatrical cut. There's a couple that I would have kept cut, but because there's a couple that I just don't think are worth the time that they take. Um, but yeah, circling back around to the video idea is what I might do is look at each, either each extended scene or look at each film as a collection of extended scenes and argue why they are good or bad. Like either why they're necessary and shouldn't have been cut or why they're unnecessary and should have been cut. Because the format then could remain pretty similar to what I'm doing at the moment. But it would, broadly speaking, be a positive review, because obviously it's Lord of the Rings. So, yeah, that's that's an idea. Whether I'll do that immediately after The Hobbit, I'm not sure. Hmm. Also, I think we should do a Lord of the, Lord of the Rings uh, movie, movie night. Well, yeah, because there's people in chat and in the Discord who have never seen the extended versions, which is insane to me. What? Yeah, I've only recently gotten to see them. Well, I, oh, yeah. 
so during COVID, I had the um, opportunity to see all three extended versions in the cinema. I mean, which was amazing. It's. Oh wait. I reckon nowadays it's even harder to to try and view the theatrical version other than the extended version. Mm. I need my drink. Two seconds. Drinky, 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 drinky. I think. Am I good? Am I good? Oh, you made it. You got out. Thank you. All right. Okay, I'm coming. I thought you already had your drink. I'm sorry. No, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't realize I was talking. I didn't realize. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Charleston uh, never seen the uh, Lord of the Ring. Uh, oh, he's seen the extended, just not the Hobbit. Yeah. Um, you're not missing anything with the extended Hobbit. I, at least in my opinion. <laughs> you're not missing anything with not watching the Hobbit either way. Jesus, yeah. No. So this is something that pissed me off a couple of years ago, is I wanted um, the extended versions of Lord of the Rings with all bonus features on Blu-ray. And the mm. only way to buy them was to buy the six film series with the Hobbit. And it was like, why would, it, like, you know, now I, it might have been useful to have all of that bonus material. And honestly, I may still buy them so that I have it for the final autopsy video, but I didn't want to spend like a hundred pounds on six movies when I'm only ever going to watch three of them. Mm. Um, so what I ended up having to do was going to eBay and finding the older release of the Lord of the Rings extended that ended up costing, I think, more, or if not more, pretty much the same as, because people just aren't interested in owning the Blu-rays of The Hobbit. They're willing What's to pay the same amount of money for just Lord of the Rings. My wife got me the original collector's edition of the extended versions of the Lord of the Rings. Nice. When they when they came out. I had those on DVD and then I wanted to upgrade them yep. to the Blu-ray versions, so I swapped them yep. in and out. But yeah, that box set is it's just so good. It is. Just the amount of behind-the-scenes oh. stuff that happened when they made those films, it's nuts. Um, oh, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. Um, one of my favorite stories is, like, uh, was it Orlando Bloom getting head-butted by uh, Viggo Mortensen? Okay, go on. I, I don't remember this one. So, uh, they, 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 just, they had this tradition of when they, like, ran into each other, they would, like, you know, just, like, tap each other on the head. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah, they would, like, headbutt each other. And apparently Vigo Morton, Vigo was incredibly tired, <laughs> and he forgot like, uh, and he just he just went up to Orlando and just, yeah, just, uh, just wound just up and just, him. yeah, and so <laughs> they're in makeup and you know how like Legolas is supposed to be flaw uh, like all this you know flawless and and perfect elf, but he's got this giant bruise from where uh, Vigo headbutted him. <laughs> <laughs> it's also kind of funny because nowadays, you know, if you hear stories about behind the scenes, it's mostly that actors got like beef with each other. But with Lord of the Rings, where you read all the stories, they they had the time of their bloody lives. Yeah. One of my favorite um, stories was the um, so Sean Bean. I, I don't know if I if I explained this before off on stream. I can't remember, but I'll I'll say it quickly again if I did. Sean Bean um, does not do helicopters. And for the the scene in Fellowship of the Ring where they're where they're crossing the mountains and they have the the scene where Bobo uh, Bobo where Bo Boromir uh, picks up the ring when Frodo falls over and um, he's like so much uh, worry for such a little thing or whatever the line is that was filmed on mountains in New Zealand so they had to get a helicopter up there in full costume in order to film the scene. Um, because but he would trek up there in yeah, full so, costume. So because he had to be there in costume and makeup, they were basically flying there, and they saw this little speck climbing the mountain, and it was Sean Bean, dressed as Boromir, climbing the mountain. <laughs> 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 oh. um, and apparently Viggo Mortensen asked him, like, while they were, um, you know, in between, in between takes of doing their scenes, he was like, hey man, so you, you, you still worried about the helicopter? Because obviously they had to fly back down the mountain, and he was like, yeah, man, I'm still worried about the helicopter. I don't want to do it. Uh, that is dedication, though. Yeah. <laughs> um, he really well, climbed that mountain. Yeah, he did. Uh, as Boromir. As Boromir, yeah. I mean, I, I, whether he was carrying the sword and shield, I have no idea, but he would have been, yeah, full costume. I think there was another story. I think, it, I think we all know that whenever... 
Vigo kicked that helmet, he, of course, broke his toe. Yeah. But I did not know this. I was not aware that Orlando Bloom broke ribs and was still riding horses. I yeah, heard that, yeah. yes. I don't know when exactly he did that, but I, I heard that that was the case, yes. Yep. That is friggin' mad to me. Uh, I'm. Uh, we don't have actors like that anymore. I mean, like, was it the that Clark woman who was you know, terrified of the horses and had to get like a bunch of stunt uh, some people to do it for? In in what in in Rings of Power? In Rings of Power, yeah, apparently. Oh, Morphid Clark. Yes, sorry, I was thinking yeah. Amelia Clark from Game of Thrones. Yeah, okay. I don't no, think I she was afraid of the horses. I think she was just too short to actually get on them. Yes, yeah, she needed help. <laughs> Oh god. They oh. literally had to give her like a case of, like they literally had to give her like a case of dev stool. Yeah. Also I realized something, um I think it was yesterday I realized this. I saw shit, I might go I might die here. Yeah, I'm down. Don't worry, don't worry. Um yeah, I saw a list that someone had made of the ages of the actors from the Lord of the Rings at the point in time when filming started in nineteen ninety nine. Um I because I'm now thirty one. I am older than Kate Blanchett was when she played Gladriel. Damn. Um, and that kind of made me be like, oh. Huh. <laughs> that makes me feel old. Hey, Kate Blanchett was amazing. I'm just gonna. And, and the and the and the I, who played it? Who played Arwen? Liv Tyler, Stephen yeah, Tyler's was, daughter. Yeah, she's amazing. She was amazing. I heard she had a really big issue with leaving her ears in her car and they would melt. Oh, okay, the elven yeah. ears, yeah. Yeah, apparently she hated them. Like, they <laughs> they kept, the, yeah, they kept, like, messy, like... I could imagine they'd be pretty uncomfortable. Yeah. No, no, we're good, we're good, we're done, nice. Uh, the other spike is up here. The uh, no, I made a little. Uh, but, oh, for fuck's sake! I just, I just killed myself. Sorry. Uh, you are a little card yourself, my dude. Yeah, I trapped myself. <laughs> no, wait, no, this happened on screen, so I didn't have more. Did anybody myself. Uh, throw some of the shit down here so I can also uh, help? Oh, I can dig up there. Can you just uh, toss a foamer down or a vacuum? Oh, no. Alright. I'll just get out of myself. Is anyone using Molly? Uh, no. I'm not that I'm aware. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there is no Molly. Okay. Where is the... Minehead, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna. This, uh, if you if you have any more of the um, aquax, chuck them down, and I'll bank them because we've got two here. We only need one more then. I already threw one down. I'm not sure if that was the um, one you mentioned. But... It, I, I've got one. I can see yours. We need one more apart from them. All right. So, one of the things I really loved about um, about Lord of the Rings uh, and how they filmed it was. They always tried to make the uh, the elves look like they were kind of like ethereal and glowing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, they actually tried to make them pretty. Mm. So I don't know if anyone in chat knows the terminology better than me, but there is a an editing technique that came around about the time that I, I think the first film that did it properly was um, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, the Coen Brothers uh, film. Final thing we need to write there. And um, it's when you it's when you touch up the um, footage in post by lightening or darkening different things, color grading. I think it's digital color grading. I can't remember exactly. Mm. And that is partly how they made the elves look like they did. So, like, if you watch uh, a film from like the early '90s, everything has kind of the same look to it because it's all just kind of captured on film. Whereas when you start to get to like the early 2000s and I guess late, I think Oh Brother was I think 2001, which was obviously the same year as Lord of the Rings. I think that was when it actually came in. So what they could do is for like the um, scenes in like Moria where it's very dark, is they could digitally lighten the actors' faces and their eyes in particular so that you can clearly see what they're doing. Hmm, um, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, like that kind of thing did not exist prior to 
2000, as far as I'm aware. I believe digital color grading is what it's called, but maybe someone in chat can correct me. Yeah, apparently they created like a bunch of, uh, they actually created like a bunch of new techniques just to try and capture like the, you know, like Lord of the Rings or to try and like make it actually look neat. It definitely uh, set some standards. There's a few yeah. things I can think of. I mean, obviously the motion capture with Gollum, that was revolutionary. Mm. Um, like the only other example a of fact? that having been done was Jar Jar Binks, um, which was two years prior. But that wasn't technically motion cap. Um, or I think it was... I, I might be getting this wrong. I believe motion cap is what they did with Gollum. Performance yeah. cap is what they did in Avatar. And performance cap is when, when you actually have the actor's performance is recreated digitally, which is what every movie now that has CGI characters does. That was started with Avatar. What Gollum was in The Lord of the Rings, I believe, was just motion cap. So everything, all of Gollum's facial expressions and all of that, those aren't um, driven by Andy Serkis. They used Andy Serkis's face as a reference, but it was all animated by animators. I believe that's yeah. the distinction. But um, he pretty much did all of it. And the fact oh, he yeah. didn't... And the fact he did not get actual credit for it, that makes me mad. D didn't get credit for what? He... He was... I believe he was at one point nominated for it, for it, an award, but he didn't qualify for it because oh. it was in CGI. Like Best Actor or something, because it technically yes. isn't. Okay. And that... Oh, that pissed me Oh, I've been grabbed, guys. I've been grabbed. Oh. I have no idea where you I'm, are. I'm next to Steve. If you can see Steve, you should be able to see me. Thank you. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. But yeah, just because he played a CGI character, he couldn't get qualified for before. Yeah, that. And it was so messed up because he literally did the voice, he did the motions, everything. Well, when they hired him, um, they only hired him to do the voice. And then they, and then he was kind of like, no, I think, I think I need to be on set because, like, the, the, the way I create the character is, is a lot more than just the voice. It's not like I sit in a recording booth with my cup of, cup of coffee and go, or it's or whatever. You know, I actually have to become the character on screen. So Peter Jackson yeah. was kind of convinced. Okay, well, let's just put him on set, so that that way we can then film it twice and we can get the voice and everything. And then they slowly realized, nah, we gotta, we gotta actually work out how to capture this and use it as reference because. You, you can't do Gollum as a man in a suit. So that was where yeah. the whole technological uh, breakthrough came from, mm. was them working out a way to get Andy Serkis as Gollum, like physically as Gollum. Um, just quickly, super chat from Nikola Bradovich. Thank you once again. Um, in the first movie, an extra threw a real blade by accident at Viggo Mortensen, and he had to block it with his sword. Of course, they left it in the movie. It was the last battle in the first one. Yeah, so um, that is all correct. I don't believe it was an extra, though. It's the guy, Lawrence Ma Ma Maukari, or Makuari. I, can't, I don't know how you pronounce his name. He's the guy hmm. that played Lurtz. Uh, he also plays Bolg, or I believe he was the motion capture for Bolg. And he also played... Is it Gothmog, the guy in the, the orc in the third movie that looks... He has, like, the fucked up face. Um, that's, mm. all, that's all the same guy. Um, and, yeah, he... When he throws his knife at... Or he throws Aragorn's knife back at him. That was for real. Press the button. Well, wait. Don't idiot. I gotta get these Eastcodes. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, oh, the, uh, the, oh, the other thing that I... Um, I don't know if anyone actually noticed this, but... This was something that uh, that I picked up on. If you look at Galadriel in Rings, uh, not in Lord of the Rings, and you look at uh, specifically look at her eyes, you'll actually notice that they are much brighter, and um, actually will kind of shift in color. And that was to kind of indicate that she was um, that she was different from all the other elves. Like she was older than all of them because um, she had been alive. Uh, she had been alive when the when the uh, the trees of light were there. I do remember hearing that, but I didn't. I definitely did not notice that when I first saw the movie. I wouldn't have known that. I never noticed that too. I will say yeah, no one no one ever looks at it or no one ever notices it until I've until I've until you've heard it and now you're going to look. <laughs> it's yeah, it's one of those almost hidden details that they have because when you watch the film, like the film focuses quite a lot on her eyes, and yeah. like her eyes are very. Uh, deep and blue and like the, I, I had assumed maybe just contact lenses or whatever but they actually put more effort in than just that um, yeah. and like another thing about 
the uh, costumes is that they would have like for example the, the Gondorian soldiers or whatever they would have like the sigil of Gondor sewn into part of their costumes but it may be in a location that is interior so it's never going to be seen on camera but, yeah. the, but the props department just did it anyway because it was like well this is what it would be like so you know it helps them get in character I guess so yeah it's just insane attention to detail that doesn't actually change what what, what ends up being recorded on screen but it's almost like they wanted to make they, they wanted to recreate the world as much as possible and treat it like they were adapting historical events that had actually happened mm. rather than well, making a movie that's i find that so interesting uh, well it's it's really funny because that's that's what actually tolkien tried to do like lord of the rings is is meant to be a mythology a history for the english yeah like it is a yeah and i think that really shows in what uh in what they did uh, drop pods? Coming in. There, over there. Oh, yeah. Attention! Boy fleet! Oh, nope. I went the wrong way. Down, down here. Is, oh, it's down. Oh, okay, right, coming. Oh, shit. No, we're okay, we're okay. Who just made it first, as usual? Man, I want to play gunner a little bit more, because I think my gunner is level one. I want that gun. You want the hurricane? I certainly do. Yeah, at some point I'll give the gunner another go. No. Um, Uncle Herb um, says, didn't Treebeard take a massive amount of work? Um, not to my, I mean, the answer, I guess, is yes, but, like, any more effort than, like, Gollum or whatever? I don't think so. Because, like, Treebeard is a combination of, um, uh, he's a fully CG character, but then it, there's also the, like, physical prop component to it. So anytime you see, like, Merry and Pippin sitting on him, it's a, it, it's a set, basically, that then would move around. And then the face would all be CG. So, yeah, it probably took quite a lot of effort to get it working. But like compared to Gollum, I don't think it, I don't think it, it was as much of a technological development. Mm. Um, but yeah, I, as far as I'm aware. Oh, oh, I've hit level 25. There we go. Thank you, Mission Control. Yes, yeah, so now you should be able to access your promotion over here. Yeah, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, I believe Jurassic uh, Park, d d I'm going somewhere with this, there's a there's a chain of, like, what made what possible. So, Jurassic Park, the, the creatures in that were only made possible because of the developments that were done for Terminator 2, uh, with the, the whole liquid metal thing, um, creating fully CG characters. Um, and then when George Lucas saw Jurassic Park, he was convinced that he had the tech available to do the Star Wars prequels, uh, that it, the tech now existed. Um, that then, I guess the fact that Jar Jar existed proved to the Lord of the Rings crew that, that it was possible to fully CG create, uh, Gollum. And then after seeing Gollum, um, James Cameron realized that he was able to do Avatar because he wrote Avatar before Titanic and then he held off because the tech wasn't there. So, yeah, you just have this long, I mean, I think most of it was Stan Winston and, um, was it I no Weta Digital, not ILM. ILM's the Lucas one. So yeah, a lot of it will have been the same companies, but yeah, Avatar mm. in particular, I think was. It, I, I want to say all of them put together. It was Weta, it was ILM, and I think it was Stan Winston as well. Uh, oh, speaking of um, speaking of Jurassic Park, uh, I heard a a story that um, during the film filming of uh the night scene where the uh they first run into the uh the tyrannosaurus rex yeah um because it was uh because of the rain and all that it would short out the um yes I heard this. in it and so every now and then it would start moving and just freak the fuck out of everybody yeah 
So yeah, what they ended up having to do. Uh, hold on, how do I how do I promote my guy, or have I just already done it? Are you level twenty? Do you just turn level twenty five? I have just turned level twenty five. Oh, I need to. You oh. just need to go to the assignment board. You're not get a special quest. That you need to. Okay. Uh, you need to do probably four assignments, something like that. Do I not have but to go to the to... memorial place first, or? No, 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 because no, okay. you first need to complete those missions, and after you've completed those missions, then you need to go to the uh, memorial hall. Okay, cool. Yeah. But uh, also, for those assignments, you don't have to play that class. Yeah, okay, cool. Plus, you were saying you wanted to try out the the gunner, so if you want to switch, I can take over the driller. I'm happy to play gunner. Um, I'm literally level one, but I'll, I'll happily try gunner. Um, if you want to, it's you. Let me let me have a look quickly. What's what's the assigned promotion qualification driller? That yep. sounds like it. Yep. Yes. Lovely. Uh, good night, uh, where me. Oh, good night, where me. Thank you for joining. Um, okay. Well, if I need to go to the toilet quickly, so um, if you guys, I won't put up the overlay because you guys are still on stream, and I trust you to be nice. <laughs> uh -huh. So um, yeah, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, and if you guys want to pick the uh, mission, then have a look. Back in back in one sec. Okay, so now that he's gone, should we, uh, we're gonna take over his stream, right? We're taking over his channel? I need a drink, so I can't help you with that one. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Actually, I do have right. a question. I do have a question for you, uh, chat. Um, should I go, uh, to the galley to get food, or should I order a pizza? Order a pizza, I'd say. Yeah. I wonder what chat says. Fair warning. Wonder what will be deducted from your pay at the end of the month. Yes, yes to what? Herb, that doesn't help me. Oh, okay, order, order pizza. Right, I'm back with my headphones. I'm just gonna go and refill my ice. Hmm. Oh. I think I'm gonna order a pizza. I thought that'd be nice. You're gonna order a pizza? What kind of pizza? I'm thinking. Uh, I'm basic bitch when it comes to my pizza. I order pepperoni. Fair enough. Pepperoni. Oh, man, to my heart. Pepperoni jalapenos would be the minimum that I would take from a pizza. Um, pepperoni is a maximum for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, like what, what I mean is, if it doesn't have pepperoni and jalapenos, then I I will order something else. But mm. um. Yeah, you know, That's peppers fair. Peppers are always nice, just, you know, red and green peppers. But, yeah, it's oh. got to have jalapenos and, and pepperoni. Although... You know, with extra pepperoni on it, nothing mm. else. I really hate it, but, like, now they have, like, this weird action, like, this weird promotional pizza again at the, the Domino's nearby. And then it's just this pizza with the truckle, triple meat, quadruple cheese with this and that, and, like... How how the fuck can anybody enjoy that? You, you can't even <laughs> taste everything. Like you're, you're just stuffing your face with edible things. So there and, was there was a Pizza Hut pizza that they did for a limited amount of time a while ago, and I was I tried it just out of morbid curiosity. It was one that had um, the you know how you get like stuffed crust. It was stuffed crust, but the crust was stuffed with a burger. So each crust had a burger in the crust. Oh lord! <laughs> so that like, sounds huh? revolting. yeah, like I want to say, um, like about a third of the uh, what diameter well, of the pizza was burger. <laughs> they actually um, had like a hamburger special, a, a hamburger pizza special, a while ago, where it was basically two pizzas with toppings on, like turned over on each other. Oh, like yeah. a, <laughs> it's it's not like a filled calzone. <laughs> Oh, uh, Lord, what does the world come to? Right, that level just, one gunner. Just, I just need to pick my gear quickly. That just reeks of... I, I'm sorry, but that just... That's very American. <laughs> I, oh. Uh, yeah, generally you want cooling. Cool, cooling... For your, uh... Oh, okay. Yeah. Go on. Yeah, I'm back. So Bonjour. what you do is see, it's a goal. Yeah. What the? Uh, 
Modification box. Alrighty, so we got boss man playing gunner. Yeah, this will be interesting. I I think I have only played the gunner in the tutorial. So, yeah. I think you shall have fun. I think I shall. I mean, yeah, point and shoot, but then also I've obviously got the zipline. Oh, uh -huh. If you would like uh, a man that's... to oh, um, do, uh... tru Truffle and gaggle them because you guys have some sick fascination with my toilet habits. Yes, I went for a wee, but then I also went to get some ice and some cocktail sausages. <laughs> and if you'd like a minute to do a little bit of decorating yourself, you may. Decorating? Um, oh, in the wardrobe. Changing your look. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, we'll do that quickly. Why not? Uh. Oh my god, what the... Okay. I haven't even looked at these, Jesus. This is well. Ah. <laughs> you made that one easy. Oh. Uh, I thought I could step in front of you. Might be this. Oh yeah, because I'm only level one. I only have the level one uh, beard options and everything. Oh. Um. Son of a bitch. Your mission, Random, no. if you want to do your mission, it's a on-site refining, but we don't have shields. I you know. I wouldn't mind doing an on-site refining because we haven't done one tonight, but I, whether we do my mission, I don't really care. I'd say go for his promotion as soon as possible because then we can also do the weekly oh. core hunts and maybe even do a deep uh, dive. Sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Deep dives, right. well, uh, deep it, dives it, are good. Yeah. In that case, does it make sense for me to be playing the gunner because I'm literally level one? Like, yeah, yeah, it still makes sense. You, okay. you can, because you can do the um, you can do the missions as a uh, uh, as whoever. Do we need a beer or no? Um, uh, what are we got? Wrap. Liquid more kind. Final wrap. Would you use full damage? Yeah, yeah, why not? I'll get it. There we go. Let's get down and you might want to change your armor to more minerals instead of the re re uh, recharge for the shield. Just to make it a Me? bit Have I... easier. Oh. No, just everybody in general. Okay. Teamwork and beer will keep us um, so Gagalim is going to assume that it took me 35 seconds to pee. That's fine. You can... That's okay. Uh, Uncle Herb says, why do you eat ice with cocktail sausages? So the ice is for the whiskey. The cocktail sausages are for my... Um, yeah, for my mouth. Move it, guys. <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, no. Right. Yeah, there we go. I've already got the shield one. Uh, not, not the shield one, the other one. So we're good. All right. Let's leave. I also went for the um, distance on the zipline, which I figure probably makes the most oh, sense. Oh, yeah. That's nice. I think I'm gonna have a apple pie cider. Apple pie cider. Yes. Uh, oh shit! That's my, my fucking dad over here. Oh, try him out too. Can we back, please? Right. It's at the time in the evening where we're getting Ooh. some silly ass questions. So. Kraken asks, if you had to get a limb amputated, would you ask the doctor if you could keep it and eat it? No. No. Um, I might... Keeping it, I could understand someone wanting to do that, potentially. Um, whether I would... I mean, maybe. But then, like, what are you going to do with it? Just keep it on, like, like mantelpiece? Like, children, this was my arm. Like... Stop it. You... Literally get it freaking taxidermy, yeah. Yeah, taxidermy yourself. Uh, seems a bit of an odd thing to do, but yeah. Um, uh, we got a no. crassus. What's a crassus? A gold boomer. Oh. Okay. So does that mean we need to be digging a hole and then luring it in? Uh, yes. <laughs> Give me just a second. 
Okay, what Schleider is the gunner? I'm, I need to kill it, but not yet, right? Uh, let's look uh, you can You can damage it already a bit. Try to um, uh, shoot off its little uh, sure. bolts. Um, I would I would recommend if we, uh, because we don't have Molly, lure it over this way. Um, closer to the, uh, closer to the, uh, the pipes. Okay, that way it... Okay, Skull, are you gonna dig? Will... Yes. Okay. Then just we lead had... it in there with me. We had to do this before, but I don't know if we've had to do this on stream. So also if you guys haven't it... seen this, it's a little bit... It takes a little bit. <laughs> Be extra mindful, because once again, we got no shields. And we have yeah. no molly. So a hit from this bad boy is basically an instant death. Yeah. Alright, lure it in do here. We have a, do we have a hole? Golden loot bug as well. We have a hole. We have a hole. And we will dig out as far as we need to in order to make room. Is everybody in? I'm in. No, yeah, I'm 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 behind it, so don't worry about me. Yeah, I'm more worried about the fact that he might turn around. He, yeah, I'm, if I'm closer to it than tank, he's turned. He's turned. He's turned. Yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. All right. Sweet. <laughs> Scooting right, into surprise. Just, just hold off a bit. No, come here, just you wait. fuck. Get back here. Just wait. Come on, you big gold bastard. Come to Papa. We have enough room behind us to, um... Reckon we're good. I'll keep drilling, though, just in case. Just kill it now, yep. Yeah. Okay. Right, it's pop. And pop. there he goes. Poppy pop. There we go. We're rich. And we're, we're rich. We're rich. Yeah. We're, rich. We rock. we're rich. We're rich. Every time we do that, it reminds me of the... The South Park episode oh, with actually, um, I got a good, I got an idea. I got an idea. Oh, go on. Make it even easier. Make it even easier. Oh, I uh, know. Oh, you uh, make it oh yes. Yeah. Yes, pipe yeah. it. I was already ahead of you, good man. Yeah. Oh, I had this a few days ago also with the crashes. And it, it, it was a just solo game. It took me like 15 minutes just to get everything. <laughs> Down it um, too bad we didn't have the pots of gold. Yeah, I was going to say that the, the we're rich thing just reminds me of the South Park episode where you meet uh, Timmy's parents, his mum and his dad, and they're, um, they, they, they're they like Timmy, they can only say their name, and he just goes, Richard! <laughs> no, wait, we don't have to, never mind, I, I, for a second, though, the way with exploding, because we, we don't get the bonus gold, but we don't have the pots of gold. We, yeah, don't, have gold. we don't, but we, we still have to go back to bank it every time, right? Yep. Yes. All right, well, I will just grab what you guys drop, because I feel like my digging is probably slower. Yeah, there we go. You're digging it quicker than we can bank it. Uh, Hello? Kraken, that's a question that I don't... If you could, would you drink lava? No. It, uh, it would, good. It would, what? It would depend on what it tastes like, is the is the answer, but also, like, if, is it going to kill me, then... It tastes like burning. That's it. I, I, I mean, it's the same question as, would you eat rock? Yeah, like, there has Why? to be a reason to do it. it. You can't just be like, oh, look, there's some lava, I think I'll eat it. <laughs> like, if it was... Brandon, if it was... If you have ever seen people use it, and, like, if... It... It has the... Blair, it has the consistency of, like, tapping them. To be fair. Shit, I'm down, guys. Oh, what'd you... Uh, there's bugs, there's bugs on the, uh, the base. Oh, fuck, yeah. Oh, shit. I've iron willed, but I'm gonna go down it properly in a sec. Okay, I'm down. What's your fire, moron? Uh, yeah, I... If you stay, if you stay by the uh, deposit area, you actually um, uh, it actually gives you a bonus to defense. Like literally next to the thing where you press. Isn't it a perk? Yeah, that's a perk. That's for veteran depositor. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, no, never mind then. I may not have it then. <laughs> so, um, going back to our early discussions on Rings of Power, those of you who are more familiar with the lore, what predictions do you have given what they have already done? 
Um, so you're not allowed to change anything, the, but you're, you... They're going to shit the bed. Well, yeah, that, yes, but <laughs> what else? Like, knowing what they have already done, where do you think the story will go? Because I have some theories, but I, I don't... I'm not drawing from the source material, so I don't know what direction it will actually go. Well, mm. so... Our Farazon actually has to marry, um... God, I'm drawing a blank. Mariel. Mariel. So he... So he... Because he is the... He is the cause of the downfall of... Of... Of Numenor. So that has to happen. The flooding. Uh, is yeah. Yeah, so what... In, in this lore, what actually happens is... Um, so Numenor was was so powerful that Sauron, even with the ring, did not want to mess with them. Because they're like and, Ubermensch. Yeah, like, uh, in... Not that you would um, know from the, watching the show, but yeah. Yeah, yeah they're the, supposed to be, yeah. yeah in, the, in the book, or in the lore, they had ships that could carry, hundred, uh, like, thousands of people. Uh, and also had essentially spring steel. They had spring. Uh, they had spring steel crossbows and full plate armor. Okay, so Sauron was doing whatever he was doing, but he didn't want to touch Numenor because he couldn't yeah. deal with them. And then, on oh. all of that, on top of the fact they were giant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like, El uh, like um, Elrondil is supposed to be uh, nine feet tall. Basically, genetically superb humans. Swarm, guys. Yep. Yep. To, uh, not mention any other words. So, okay, so why... Why does, uh, Farazan have to marry Muriel in order for Numenor to, like, fall? Like, why does the marriage matter? Like, I think that probably well, will happen, but, like... Yeah. That's how he becomes king. Right, but like, what does that have to do with Numenor falling? Like, why does it... Because it floods, right? So what does, why does he have to be yeah. married for it to flood? So what... Uh, so in the book, what happens is... We don't, uh, he becomes sorry, king. Quickly, quickly, guys. We don't have enough for supply drop, and I'm out of bullets. Yeah. Uh, oh, crap. Meteor. Shit. Another death... Well, that's not a, a crisis, but we got another bulk detonator. Uh-oh. That's we got good news. Don't bother getting me up. I'm out of bullets, like I said, so I'm no use. You could be a meat shield. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I'll happily be a meat shield, run, but run. Not we want to get away from the base, I think. Go get him, Steve. Die. Die bravely for us. Hey, oh, Doofy. Crap. Doofy, I'm dead. Um, also, oh, get shit. enough nitro for a supply drop while running around. Is it 80, yeah? Uh, it's, it's either 80 or 90, I can't remember. It's 80. Okay. And yeah, chat's still alive and well, I think. Chat, how are we doing? I think we're doing okay. I'm not, because I'm dead, but yeah. Also, I've run out of cocktail sausages. Why did I die? Um, I got nibbled on. Someone was nibbling on my heels. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, yeah. Get away. Oh, actually, no, that, that may solve our problem. What? The meteors are landing on the bulk detonator. Oh, lovely. Are they? I think they're not. Wait, no, they are. Wow, nice. That's, uh, uh, that's absolutely planned. That was my it's idea all, all along. according to the plan. Yeah, there we go. Oh. <clears throat> um... Right. You're in a precarious position there, fella. Wonder what slot is standing Frankly, up. that's you, bro. Damn it. I went down. Wait, am I the only... Oh, no, it's me and Skull. Hold on. Let me get you guys up, because I don't have any bullets. I need a resupply. Oh. So, um, while we were looking for... While we are looking for Nitrum, um, I think Gagalum had a question. Was it gone? Is there a possibility that Rings of Power will have dragons law-wise, not that they care about the law? Uh, how does that line up? Uh, there are dragons in the Second Age. Um, I don't know any named. Off the top of my head, unfortunately. Are they narratively uh, relevant, or do they just exist? There, there's one that... Uh, there's one in the Third Age that... 
Um, one of the Rohirrim defeats. I can't remember off the top of my head who it is. Uh, I know he's an. I uh, apparently he's an ice worm. Okay, so because yeah. what they could do. And what they probably will do in that case, because obviously, like dragons, it's like everyone sees dragons, are like, oh my god, it's yeah, dragons. I've got enough nitro. Okay, nice, go for and it. And I'm also just finishing the, uh, well, finishing uh, the, calling down the last, uh, well thing, Jingy. Like, what, um, I'm, what I'm kind of expecting regarding dragons, if they existed, or if they existed at that point in time, is um, kind of like what they did in. The Witcher and also in The Mandalorian, where it's like a monster of the week type thing, where it's like, and this is the episode with the, there's a dragon. And then they deal with the dragon, and it's like, yay, we killed the dragon. Well, I think they might do that. But. Considering what dragons are supposed to be in The Lord of the Rings, it would be really weird to turn them into a monster of the week kind of deal. This is Rings of Power we're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> that would really set the, that would, oh. Like, ah, oh, good, good thing this one was just a baby. We don't want to wake the mother. The mother is called Smaug or something. Like, that, that's, you know, something like that will happen. Also, how do we deal with this lava if we have no shields on this map? Because we stand on it, we uh, die. You suffer through it. Well, I can make platforms on top of it. Oh, if you... Okay, no. good. Because I've, I've, I've lined up one of them. The second one, I haven't quite got there. And I need to find some sugar so I can heal myself. Right. Um, also, there's all the gold still back here. Yeah, there's also a metric ton up of this area. There's a whole bunch of shit here. Um, okay. Um... Oh, yeah, but they, uh, also getting back to the other, uh, yeah, so our Farazon has to marry, um... Muriel. God, God, Muriel, because that's how he becomes king. And the reason that he, and the reason why that's important is because he, when he becomes king, he captures, uh, he, he actually captures Sauron. Like, okay. Sauron surrenders to him because he doesn't want to deal with because uh, he doesn't want to deal with uh, the Numenorians. Um, but as but because he's a uh, because he's now a hostage of Numenor, he actually worms his way into a uh, uh, into um, into a position of uh, he, he essentially worms his way into a counselor position, and in he begins in Numenor. Okay. And during this time, um, they've. They've kind of hinted at it. Uh, so, the men of Numenor are jealous of the elves because the elves have immortality. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, it's it's called the uh, the gift of um, it's the gift of Eru. Eru gave them immortality, uh, whereas men he gave the gift to essentially die to pass on. Speaking of dying, I'm about to die. I have no uh, bullets. <laughs> I'm trying to deal with these fuckers with my pistol. There's a whole bunch of nitro over here on the floor. Okay. Sorry, go on, take it. Yeah. Um, is... who's... Who's the, uh, who's the engineer? I am. Okay, are you able to platform me right about there so I can grab that sugar? Uh, I only got... where? Because I only got one... Uh, thing left. Okay, well I'm completely out of ammo and I'm also out of health. I, I need, I need to get some, uh, I need to get some sugar. I can mine there. There's sugar there. right there! Yeah, yeah, I've got to get there though. No, it's right there on the floor! Where? Here! Oh yeah, there's some sugar. Thank you. Just come back to the mine head. There's, th there's literally ammo. Oh, good, right. Where's the mine head? I called it in. There's also so much gold up there. Uh, Kraken asks me, could you please do a Terraria stream sometime? I have never played Terraria. Oh, you know what? Is it, which, which one is, no, Stardew Valley is what I'm thinking of, which I've also never played. What is Terraria? A common joke it's, is that it's 2D easy Minecraft. To describe is, yeah, 2D Minecraft. Okay. But it's got a lot more action in it. Yeah, it has a lot more boss fights, magic. Multiplayer? Yes. yes. Okay. It would actually be fun. Yeah, I, I, I may pick it up then. I might have a look. Because it's been on my list for ages. I just never played it. Also, I'm kind of lost. I'm trying to find... There's there's the refinery. On my way. Because... It's, uh, it's, it's, it's worth some, uh, some time if you've never played it. Nice. We can also... The the, the cracking is ready, by the way. We can start it whenever. Until I get all the 
bringing minerals and such. Am I okay to take two of these resupplies? Yeah, we've got three here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool, cool. Yeah, I called them in for that. Uh, is that another? Don't say it. Well, if it is, that's good, right? We can take it into the same hole we took it into. Another crisis? Well, I don't know. I can't see it. No, no oh, don't it. Okay. But it's still... I've never had three in one session before. Well, maybe we'll be lucky. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I need ammo as well. Daka, 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 daka. Okay, it's, oh, it's about to blow, go pop. Blow. Kapla! Is it, is it popping? Yeah, it popped. There, there we go. Splat. Alright. That's a good way to wave clear. Uh, I blame you, Random. Sorry. Yeah, this is probably all my fault. That's good though, right? We killed a bunch of bugs with a with a bug, you know. I used the bugs to kill the bug. Yeah. Right, protect me. I'm swigging some whiskey. Shut a bunch of platforms up in the sky so that's a, a scoot. Yep. Excellent. The scoot is being the scoot. Okay, so as you I were saying, some, can, can I get some light around here? Yeah. Um, as you were oh, saying, Tank, a, uh... oh, go on. Sorry, what, what are we doing? And then I'll I'll continue asking you questions. Because we got oh, we can do the rock cracking track. thing, or okay, nice. Okay, I reckon uh, somebody can. Uh, well, mostly the you're the driller. Who's I'm, the driller? I'm the gunner. I think uh, skulls the skulls the driller. I think skull should get okay. uh, to digging uh, to the uh, extractors. I'm already working on it. I reckon once we dug it up, we first do the mine cracking before we start the liquid mold fight ideas. Well, we've got a Agreed. we've got a pump jack here that isn't actually connected yet. On my way. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay. So, Tank, you were saying that Farazon marries Muriel, and then Hal uh, not Halbrand, goddamn Sauron, ends up on like the council, and he manipulates bullshit to happen, which ends up destroying Numenor. Yeah, so what happens is when Numenor was created, it was created as a gift, uh, gift to the Ed Edine, who are, who are men. Yeah. Uh, for the uh, for fighting against um, Morgoth. Uh, in, including into this was also a uh, was also a gift of ex uh, of ex uh, of long life, and um, that they would be the best of men. They would be the greatest of men. Okay. Um, yeah, literally Ubermensch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, however, they were told that they were not allowed to sail west. They were not allowed to sail to Num uh, to uh, sorry, I almost said to Valinor. Yeah, and, and um, Valinor is the only thing that is west of Numenor, right? Yes. Okay. And what ha and what happened is, uh, as the the men, be as men became more and more jealous of uh, the elves, they also began having shorter lifespans, because it was seen uh, they would uh, they would build themselves like massive cathedrals uh, for their uh, uh, tombs and all that for for the dead, and it was and basically they were turning against Eru uh, Eru, who was who was God. We got a lot of bugs quickly. Yeah. Um, sorry, where, where was I? Yeah, so they were turning against Eru, and all of and uh, this is what actually creates the uh, creates the two factions in Numenor. One is known as uh, the Faithful, who are yep. faithful to Eru Iluvatar, and the others who are uh, the Kingsmen, who are who want to become immortal, who want to get uh, yeah. So given nope. that those factions already exist in Rings of Power, that's another instance of it of the timeline being fucked because 
None of that has happened yet in Rings of yeah. Power, right? Yeah, they haven't. Uh, they're kind of hinting at it, but yeah, they actually haven't really shown it. To be fair. So the fact that the factions exist would suggest that what you just described has already happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, the, well, no. The, like this is this is a thing that's been going on for for uh, for ages. Oh, and um, um, quickly, sorry, uh, Fenrir in chat. Yes, you can play this game solo. It is much better if you have a group of four. It's much more fun. It's a lot more fun because you have all the different synergies between the classes. If you're just playing on your own as a gunner or whatever, it's like, okay, I'll do the mission and then I'm done. And you know, there's no um, interplay between the different classes. There's no synergies. There's no yeah. It's it's kind of like playing, I don't know, like League of Legends in a bot game where you're the only human player. Like, and what? you miss out on the sheer chaos when a certain driller accidentally pulls a uh, a boss. Uh, are we pulling a boss? No, that was me with my accident earlier with the. Oh, um, oh okay. Are we sorry? Are we doing the the cracking before we do the um? Yes, yeah. I would suggest so. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'll head down. I'm here. Uh, anyway, so where was I? So yeah, so uh, this is this is something that's been going on. Our uh, our, our Ferizon is one of the king's men. Um. Um, I can never remember her name. I'm M Muriel. Sure that. Muriel. Muriel's father is one of the faithful, and so is she. She was actually supposed to become, uh, she was actually supposed to become queen, but because he marries her, he becomes king, and is named Ar Farazan the Golden. So did right. he? Ready? Yeah, go for it. So did he did that as like a political move to become in charge of Numenor, or did she want to? Like, did he force? forcibly marry her or was it like her choice or because uh, it was a forcible marriage yes okay i was gonna say because from what we have in the show so far it seemed it doesn't seem like she would let that happen but like i don't know yeah consent was, was not involved yeah consent was not involved let's just play it like that I yeah okay and uh anyway so what happens is um he captures he captures uh uh, Arthur is on capture Sauron. Sauron becomes his uh, closest advisor, and he begins uh, he begins uh, talking about like how unfair it is that there is this rule that they cannot sail west. Right. Because okay. if they go west, they will become immortal. Nope. Can't see shit, Captain. Yeah. So that leads to our Ferrazon essentially uh, creating a giant fleet. Oh. And he leads all, uh, pretty much his entire faction over to Valinor. Okay. And he lands on it. And the Valar are not happy about that. And so they sink Numenor. Uh, Eru, uh, Eru actually sinks Numenor and actually uh because at this moment and moment in time the world is actually flat okay yeah Good job. and so when he sinks uh when he sinks uh numenor he actually rounds the world okay yeah so that's kind of like a i guess adam and eve forbidden fruit type thing it's like it you is, can have your eden but don't break the rules and then he breaks the rules yeah essentially okay um and uh, it's all oh, for fuck's sake yeah so this yeah. is the thing is i see now i'm i'm <laughs> seeing breadcrumbs in season one that set up what you just described because we already have that link between halbrand and farazan where he busts him out of prison and and gives him the guild crest so they already know each other yeah so if, yeah. Yeah. Are we yeah. doing the swarm first by the way yeah i was about to say, since we have a swarm we might as well start it oh okay Alright, I'll start it. Um, I could use some sugar if uh, if there is any. Not having a shield is not something I'm used to. There's also a great perk that I always have that um, also replenishes uh, a part of your health uh, where you're using ammo refill. Okay. Oh shit. Speaking of ammo refills, I am out of ammo. 
I called in uh, more. Plenty of ammo down there. Yep, coming. Uh, yeah, I have that perk because I just healed. Oh, I'll press that. And the warden. Oh, hamburgers. Jesus Christ. Did someone put this on like Hazard 4 or something? No, this it's is not, not Hazard, hazard 3. 4. Believe me, this is not Hazard 4. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done a Hazard 4. Jesus. Oh. You One sweet day. summer child. One day you shall lose your virginity. Yep. I'll be deflowered by Hazard 4. <laughs> and then Hazard 5 just waits. Um. Okay, while we're doing this, Gagalim has a question. Do you and the boys have any wild theories on possible cameos in Rings of Power like Mando Season 3? I haven't seen Mando Season 3, but Mando Season 2 was basically, look, we've got this character, and look, we've got this character. So I don't know how they could possibly do that in Rings of Power, because all of the characters people know, apart from people who know the source material, uh, won't have been alive. Like, they've already done a bit yeah. of that with, like, Gandalf and Galadriel and all the rest of it, but... And Elrond, obviously. Like, who else is there that was alive at that... Like, Treebeard, maybe? I guess they could throw him in yeah. and be like, Ah, oh, I was a tree once. And, like... Yeah, they could... And maybe Saruman? Saruman yeah, was Saruman. alive at that point in time? Yeah, Saruman, Saruman's an angel. It's my wee boy, Saruman! <laughs> That's uh, my wee lad! <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, they uh, could Saruman do that. Yeah. Saruman is a, uh, he's a, he's, uh, the same thing that, uh, Gandalf and, um... I know, I know. Yeah. Okay, but, uh, given... I'm very well, that doesn't apply to Saruman, but... Oh, uh, Jesus, uh, my health, my health! Just the thought of it is bloody hilarious, and to be yeah. honest, they are incompetent enough to fuck that up, so... Well, what I'm wondering is, like, we don't have definite proof that the the stranger in rings of power is gandalf like i mean he's gandalf everyone fucking knows but we but they could subvert it and be like actually it's saruman you know so if we assume that it is gandalf is saruman older like was, was is gandalf the oldest one or would they be screwing with things further if they decided to subvert that? Isn't he supposed to be like the oldest and the wisest or something like that i had assumed that saruman was the oldest but i don't know i don't know if yeah, that's here. um so Gandalf is actually Gandalf is actually more is supposed to be more powerful than Saruman, but he did not want to take uh, he did not want to he didn't want to be leader, which is why they chose uh, chose Saruman. Okay. Yeah, I mean theoretically they could they could do either, but the problem is if they if they introduce Saruman, then you end up with another like Gandalf type scenario where it's like he doesn't know who he is and he's got to learn how to eat berries from a bloody hobo and yeah it, to be um, fair it would explain why Saruman would side with Sauron because fucking hell having to spend that time with his half foots would make you want to fucking kill me yeah maybe yeah it would explain the scouring of the Shire at least plus I would have to add this going into season 2 the whole uh oh, stream no there's another death later what would effectively be uh, the plotline for him and Nori, they wouldn't have really an antagonist to work against, so it would make sense. Well, so what they have set up um, in Season 1 is that Nori and Gandalf, or not Gandalf, are gonna go to Rune so that Gandalf can learn who he is. Um, and maybe that's where they find Saruman for some may reason? Maybe? Maybe they find another another uh, Harfoot who's accompanying another hobo? And he's like, my name's Saruman. He's like, my name Gandalf. Like, mm. yeah, may maybe that will happen. Who knows? But yeah, that that's what has been set up. Why, you know, what's going to happen when they get there? I, I don't know because I don't, yeah. But I get the feeling that lore accuracy is not the first thing in their minds. I, I mean, 
<laughs> like my, my guess is that you tank don't even know what is going to happen with that plot line when they go to rune in season two the only oh, the only I thing know. i can think of is if it, if, Button? if it's not gandalf if it's not gandalf then he's going to be one of the blue wizards yes Button? uh yeah. if we're done yeah, let's uh, let's just get the hell out of here before another bulk detonator shows up. Yes. Yeah, we've already had four. I'm about Frost to go down, down, by the way. Oh, oh shit! Uh, plenty of I'm ammo. Down. I'm down, guys. I got you. So Gagalim says. I mean, cameos like Lizzo or some other random celeb who isn't um, even an actor. What's a Lizzo? Uh, Lizzo is Lizzo? a singer, and she was like a horrible reference in the... I don't hate her as an artist, but like, what the fuck was she doing in The Mandalorian? I so this was just like watch the Mandalorian. I just saw the clip and I was like, "What? Why? Why is this a thing?" This is just like throwing a pop star into Star Wars because why not? Like, yeah. Okay. Um, no, that for Rings of Power, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. My guess is that, because doing that requires some amount of creative input, and I don't think that Rings of Power has any amount of creative input. Like, even if it's shit, like it sounds like that is in Mandalorian, someone had to sit there and be like, and then this is where we, we put the Lizzo. Like, I don't think that those people exist for Rings of Power. No. But, yeah, maybe. Um, Truffle says, imagine if they introduced Tom Bombadil and retcon the entire first season. <laughs> That's a point, actually, because I I don't really know anything about Tom Bombadil because he's not in the film. But um, Tom Bombadil would have been alive at this point or no? Oh, yes. Yeah, no, Tom, Bom Tom Bombadil is the first and he's the oldest. He's the oldest out of everything ever. Step away for a yeah. second. Yes. Okay. He there's various so there's various theories about who he is some think that he is that he is either like the actual spirit of arda so, so he is god basically no no he's not god he no. wouldn't be god god is uh Eru. right right okay um they also think that he, he could be an avatar of Eru, or he could just be tom bombadil no one really knows he's just some guy like He's just, you know, some guy who walks around with yellow boots and sings and... <laughs> yeah, like that's... Uh, all I really know of Tom Bombadil, because again, not read the books, is that removing him from the Peter Jackson films, because I know why they did that, and I completely agree with removing him. Mm. So, like, that's an example of, um, you know, something being unfaithfully adapted and being better as a result. Like, the fact that it's accurate doesn't make it better. Um, and yeah, it might be cool to see Tom Bombadil, but at the same time, if you're trying to build up the ring as this, like, you know, you cannot fucking resist this thing. It is pure goddamn evil. And then the first guy that Frodo bumps into is like, oh, it's a ring. That's nice. I'll play with it for a little bit. Like, that would just completely ruin the world building. Like, maybe it works in the book, but there's no way that works in the film. Mm. But yeah, I mean, theoretically, yeah. they could throw him into Rings of Power in that case. Like, if he if he existed at the time. Yeah, he did. Um, like he uh, he was saying, he remembers when the when the mountains were basically the bones of the earth. Like okay. he is first, and he is eldest. Um, the thing about like the thing about the ring, and this is what a lot of a lot of people kind of miss about it, is that the ring is a while it is a corrupting influence. It's not something that happens Just like like that. It's something that takes a very long time. For example, Frodo had it for, uh, if I remember correctly, almost 20 years before he went on the went on his journey. Bilbo had it for about 60 years. Yeah. So if we're going purely from the films, there's a. Do we need a drink, by the way, or no? It's Tunnel uh, Rat again. Got... Tunnel Rat. Tunnel Rat. Tunnel Rat's fairly useful. Okay. Um, yeah, so going purely from the films, in terms of people that we have being corrupted by the ring, you've got, like, Frodo, and it takes a little while. Bilbo, it takes a little while, but he doesn't use it all the time. Boromir, it's up in the air as to how how much uh, his apparent corruption was 
as a result of literally the ring corrupting him and how much of it was, you know, his genuine desire to, like, we need this to help Gondor. Because, th again, that's the deleted scene basically explains that. Um, Isildur was corrupted, again, going from the film seemingly very quickly, but it was almost like same as what happened with Frodo. It amped up the corruption because it knew that it was about to be destroyed. So yeah. it, it wasn't a linear yeah. process. It was like its final defense mechanism. You are not going to destroy me. Kicked in immediately. No. So that, so that, um, that part is actually one of the things that actually makes the um, that actually kind of weakens the, the film, in my opinion, because in the book, in the in the Lord of the Rings book, what actually happened is Isildur or, or Elrond did not actually know that Isildur had the ring. Okay. Um, and what happened is he took it as um, he took it as a uh, as a um, as a blood price for the death of his brother and the death of the death of his father. Isildur did. Yeah, Isildur did. Okay. Yeah. So it wasn't it wasn't he didn't take it because of uh, because he was like cor corrupted by it. He took it because uh, he took it because of. Um, he had just lost his brother and his and his father. And it was like a fuck you, I win, so I'm taking your magical artifact. Yeah, essentially, yeah. Well, because the thing is, you you can't, like, knowing what the ring does, just going purely from the films, you could explain that, like, that would be his rationale for doing it, but that doesn't yeah. mean that the ring isn't corrupting him. Oh, no, it is. It is. Like, and um, when he, uh, and when he actually loses it in the, um, in the river, uh, he actually says that he felt a great relief and a release of a burden when he uh, when he dropped it, and then unfortunately he stumbled out of the river. Uh, the orcs saw him, were terrified of him, and they shot him. Okay. And that's how and that's how he died. Uh, just quickly, what's this mission? Mule salvage and boom yeah. caps. Cool. But yeah, the uh, the corruption of the ring gets more powerful. The the more powerful that you are, and the more ambitious you are. So, which is why Gandalf and Galadriel didn't want it. No. Yes. Don't it also me for you. Why yeah. say Bilbo wasn't affected too badly by it because he he didn't have any like super evil plan or anything. Yeah, he d he yeah. didn't have any power. That's the whole. Same with Frodo, until he was about to destroy it. I like, obviously... A, um, go on. Betsy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, there's a Betsy. Betsy, yeah. Which one is Betsy? What, is it? what does that do? Betsy is basically the machine that will let you... Uh, once you defeat her, you can ally her. It's uh, yeah. basically uh, a walking ball machine. Okay. Yeah, so the, the ring obviously corrupts Frodo, but it isn't until... It doesn't actually, like, take over until he's about to throw it into Mount Doom. Okay. Um, yeah, and... Yeah, at that point he is. Um, at that point he is at the the he is at uh, where the ring is the most powerful and just it's just ripping into him like yeah yeah. And I think um, the, the the one moment where the ring will will quickly quote unquote corrupt if 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 the ring itself is like in some kind of danger. Yes. Yeah. Like going to oh Jesus! Playing a gun is a bit different. I'm I'm taking some. I don't even know what that was. Oh, you alright? Yeah, like weak. It's which bag? Oh no, I don't. I don't mind playing the gunner. It's 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 an experience. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll decide. It depends on how long we're gonna go for. But yeah, I'll 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 play whatever. Um. We're gonna get the so, tank. Oh fuck! Oh, well, I guess we are now. Is that dreadnoughts or is that? Wait, where is no. this? That's the Betsy. Oh, uh, that's. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna go down again. I have no help. Oh crap. Don't forget you have a shield. Ah, uh, thank you for reminding me. Yep, there we go. No, that, I think that's a proximity mine. Or is that a shield? It, it, it's a shield that looks like a proximity mine. Okay, because I just I'll threw it. That. I think I just threw it at the, at the enemy and 
Wondered why it didn't do anything. Right, here we go, sugar. Yeah. Um, so Truffle says, there is a theory that it turns hobbits invisible because that is their deepest wish to be unseen by big folk. Um, yeah, essentially, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, any theories? Because we got a, we have a pretty large continuity problem with the Hobbit movies so far. Um, Bilbo is being corrupted by the ring very obviously during film two. And yet, by the time he's 111, he seems like, if not totally fine, nearly totally fine. He is. Watch out. Yep. So he got corrupted, but then also not really. Like, is that just a straight up continuity problem, or...? That is a continuity problem, yes. <laughs> uh... Oh dear. I mean, I'm 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 just kind of looking forward to seeing exactly how Battle of the Five Armies ends because at that point I can make like definitive statements as to what does not fit with Lord of the Rings. Yeah. yeah so um, the ring being destroyed was actually one of one of the few times that Eru actually um, influences the uh, the world. Uh, the. When when Frodo destroyed the ring, you mean? When uh, when Gollum destroyed it, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, that whole yeah, yeah. So I mean, you can call that a uh, Deus Mac, uh, Deus Deus Ex, but yeah, that's a. Uh, well, so that is as portrayed in the films, it isn't. But if it goes down differently in the books, then potentially. Yeah. Well, no. There's, uh, uh, actually, what happened in um, what happened in the crack of Mount Doom is essentially what happened in the book. Okay, because that is explicable without any kind of ethereal interference. Like, you don't need a yeah. god that wants you to win for that to happen. Yeah, but uh, in the in the book, that's it. That is, it's uh, Tolkien later explains, like in his uh, in his writings, that it was a um, that it was uh, his uh, it was. God's influence that actually made that actually uh, allowed uh, what's his name uh, Gollum to trip and fall, and yeah. <laughs> okay. Because I always the other mule. Uh, I've got a mule up next to me. I've got. No, oh, hold on. I don't know if this is the same one. There's another one, I think, down there. Oh no, I think it's over there. Uh oh. Um. So Darth Tura says. Um. The, oh shit! Hold on. Ah! No. Okay. Right. Let me read. Let me read the comment game. Darth Tura says. Uh, the ring prevents its bearer from destroying it. It could only be destroyed by chance, like what happened with Gollum falling in after being cursed by Frodo to fall into Mount Doom if, if he ever touches yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, I just went down again, guys. Sorry. Yeah, no, it's not a problem. Where are you? Let's see uh, if I can get to you. I'm next to Betsy. Uh, that's going to be bad. I see you. Give me I a second to deposit this. I'm already up. Oh, all right. Um, and that's what I was kind of... Thank you. Uh, the eagles are the biggest plot. No, they're actually not. Like, I was about to read that because I wanted explained in the to have that discussion. It's explained in the in the movie. It's not even explained, to be honest. I think it's yeah. sufficiently implied in the movies. Yeah, I mean, you got the the Witch King and uh, the Nine, who are much, much, much more powerful than than the eagles. Well, you. you yeah, plus the fact that in the movies, which is Wait, not in the film... Did we just get three play guards out of one meteor shower? I'm told okay you. with that. I told you, you can sometimes get two. I didn't know you could get three, though. <laughs> um, Yeah, like, plus the fact that in, in, the, in the Lord of the Rings films, but not in the book, you have the literal Eye of Sauron acting like a lighthouse looking at everything in Mordor. You're not True. getting anything past that. I mean, unless it's literally like Frodo and Sam, like that that works, but you're not flying an eagle past that. No. Can I just say one thing on that one point? 
Sauron's eyes uh, literally looked right at Frodo and effectively the ring. And he, how did he not know that the ring was literally on him at that point? Well, when? Uh, I'm trying to remember. I, I know exactly the bit you're referring to. It's when Frodo's kind of looking around and he's all delirious. And then Sauron looks at him and then Frodo falls over. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, uh, no, that's, he, that's, why, that's, uh, that's why he goes after Pippin. Because he thinks that uh, the he thinks that Pippin has the ring, but at that moment Frodo yeah. had the ring literally around his neck, and he and Sauron looked at him. Uh, are you talking about like in the um, in the mirror of Galadriel? No, it's in it's in it's in the third film. It's shortly mm. before um, we have the I can't carry it for you, but I can carry you scene, um, and Frodo falls over and he's like, I can't, mm. it's too heavy. And then Sam picks him up and takes him. Um, I think what well, Skull is asking is the fact that Sauron literally looked at Frodo. You would, you could reasonably assume that he would at that point realize that Pippin does not have the ring because there's a fucking Hobbit in Mount in in Mordor right next to Ra Mount Doom. Oh, um, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, um, I, I'd, yeah. I'd have to rewatch it to potentially answer that question, but. Going from what you've said, yeah, but you could potentially fix that with editing because you could edit it so that that way, if Sauron directly looks at Frodo, you cut that in with the Nazgul being pulled away from the fight in order oh. to, because that that isn't yeah, yeah. why they're pulled away. They're pulled away when Frodo puts the ring on. Um, okay, okay, yeah. So, um, actually, to answer this question, it's because Sauron doesn't actually believe that they are going to destroy the ring. Oh shit! Oh really? No, he believe he believes, um, and this this is more in the book. Um, but during the Council of Elrond, um, guys, I found it. Do you want to know where it is? Um, where you are? Where are you? It's underneath the rig. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh, damn it! Okay, okay. I've never seen that before. I'm coming. That's that was weird. This um, feels like a ghost game, like, we had three of those detonators earlier, now this, and also- Oh, god, wait, whoa, wait. <laughs> this is, How, is this the legs that we're looking for, yeah? Yeah. I have never seen a mule spawn underneath the drop pod. <laughs> no. And I've played this game for nearly a thousand hours. Um, so, um, Charleston Jew uh, quickly oh. says, um, Nine Nazgul, thirty plus eagles. Yeah, the Nazgul are the Nazgul. They're one more. Sorry, I've come down again. I'm iron willing it. There's there's one uh, right up the ledge there. Yeah, like contrary to what Battle of the Five Armies would have you believe, the Nazgul are actually pretty difficult to kill. Yeah. Um, and then on. Uh, anyway, so what was I saying before that? Um, about, Sauron um, doesn't believe that they want to destroy it. He yeah. believes they want to use it. Yeah, that, so that's the other thing is he believes that. I mean, like if you're given if you're given something that can that gives dominion over everything, you would want to use it. So that's why he's he's very much of the opinion that they're going to use it, not try and um, not try and destroy it. So even if he sees like even if he sees Frodo and Sam inside Mor Mordor. He still believes that they're they're just spies, and uh, the mouth of, uh, the mouth of Sauron actually does come out and say like, "Oh, we have, uh, you know, they were they were little spies rooting around in Mordor." Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, it sounds like that works a bit better in the books than it does in the film because yeah, that scene it doesn't. I don't think it works exactly how it maybe yeah. thought it did. <laughs> It always just confused me. Yeah. Yeah. All mules are secured. Now to get the pod working. First, establishing a proper connection mm. between the pod and the space rig. Set up the uplink. Okay, I'm coming. Module us out. Yep, here we go. Fire. Uh. Ready. Um, if you Truffle Pup says if I reread Darth Tura's comment, I'll get it. Hold on. Oh, he's well. Yeah, Darth Tura says. To be fair, they probably had more flying beasts than just nine. I mean, yes, but I think even if not, the fact that they have nine Nazgul and the fact that forget the Nazgul, Saruman, not Saruman, Sauron has again the literal eye of Sauron. 
He's, he, he can see everything that happens inside Mordor. The only... The, that's why the whole emphasis was put on this has to be a mission of stealth, because otherwise, give it to Boromir, turbocharge Gondor, and then go at it that way. And they were immediately like, no, this won't work, you have to do it stealthy. Which is why there was only nine of them. Like, had, had everything gone to plan and the Fellowship not broken in the first film, the, all nine of them would have theoretically got into Mordor, which would still be a mission of stealth, and then destroyed the ring. Like, theoretically, I think that, that was their plan. And it ended up not going that way. And that's when, like, Rohan and then Gondor got involved. Yeah. So, um... I, I, I hate doing this, but... <laughs> Uh, in the in the book, um, in the book, the the idea wasn't actually for everyone to go to uh, to go to um, to go to Mordor. That was supposed to be Gandalf uh, and those who would wish to. Yeah. Um, Aragorn was actually going was actually going to uh, Minas uh, Minas Tirith with uh, with Boromir. Why to like command an army to distract Sauron or something? It, 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 he want um, so. This is another kind of point uh, of difference in the uh, in the book. In the book, Aragorn wants to become king. He wants to. He's he's essentially he's essentially coming back to to say like, no, I am the king of Gondor. I am his, I am uh, Elendil's Deal's heir, heir, and all that wonderful stuff. Okay, I mean that to me that's a change that I like from the movies. Yeah. Um. Cedric, go get him, boy. Yeah, I. Uh, it'll probably take too long to go into why I like it, but yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they they uh, say at the beginning, like it, uh, at the beginning, in in the um, council, that it has to be a mission of stealth from the very start, which is why yeah. they shoot down the idea of let's get an army and do what you see in the prologue, because that won't work, or they think that won't work. Yeah. In the end, it doesn't. It, it still doesn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just serves as a valuable distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I find it rather uh, rather funny that they um, they got Gimli and Legolas kind of mixed up. Okay. Or, uh, yeah. So in the book. Legolas is actually described as being uh, as being always quick with a with a smile and a laugh. He he's he's the one that actually makes a lot of jokes. Um, whereas Gimli is very very dour, very sour, very uh, very stoic. And okay. I, I always find that really funny. That's an interesting change. I mean, it works in the film, but yeah, it's no. interesting that that's different. I guess you know. To be also to be perfectly honest, it works better with uh, John Rice. Uh, with John Rice, I think. Uh, what? Because he—that's the kind of person he is—and having him playing Gandalf, uh, not Gandalf, Gimli. Yeah. Yeah, that could be part of it. Like, a, it, some of it could well have been ad-libbed. I don't know. Like, it doesn't come across like that at all. But it could be that they turned him more into. Because that's one of the criticisms that people have of the Lord of the Rings films people who just straight up don't like them is that Gimli and Merry and Pippin were almost straight up turned into comic relief mm. um, and like how that compares to the book I have no idea but I think most of the comic relief works from them Yeah, like there isn't really any comic relief that comes from Aragorn or Gandalf or you know other characters like that like maybe yeah. there's one example but I, off the top of my head I can't think of one I think in most cases, the more, I think the more, the more serious characters, they have like one or two moments, but that's all. Yes. Yeah, I mean, like the one of the few that I can think of is like Aragon trying um, the suit. Oh yeah, the, yeah, suit, the suit. Yeah. Yeah, but that's not really and comic he, relief because it's not at the expense of him as a character. It doesn't change yeah. anything about him, and it tells you about him and Eowyn, like. Yeah. And it, is it who's the other? Is it Legolas that's there as well? I can't remember. I believe that in that scene it was Gimli. It may be yeah. Gimli. I can't remember, but yeah. I think it's someone who sees his reaction and he has to like 
pretend that he likes the suit, apart from it being Eowyn. I think it's just the elves are generally more arrogant or um, elegant, which is which is really funny because like in the again in the books, and I hate that, you know kind of doing that, but in the books, like Elrond was also supposed to be a very jolly fellow. I can't like, imagine the movie version yes. as being jolly. Yeah, I can't see that. that that's kind of. But again, it, it, it's Hugo Weaving. Like, I can't imagine yeah. Hugo Weaving being jolly. And I yeah, think him he, as Elrond is one of the like most memorable characters from the films. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah, it's, it's interesting. I don't, I'm wondering, is it, it's a chicken and egg scenario. Did they cast those actors knowing what they wanted to yeah. do with the characters? Or did they change yeah. what they did with the characters after, you know, after the auditions or whatever? Because, like, my guess is that all of this was so... Sorry, I didn't realize it was ready. Don't die! No, you're fine, you're fine. We're good, we're good, I'm out on no health. Um, yeah, like, that would have been so pre-planned that it's insane. Yeah. Like, I, I highly doubt that much, if any, of what we've got was ad-libbed. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And I'm just, I'm not saying that the changes are bad. I actually do, like, I, I do love, sorry, what's his name? Um, Hugo I, Weaving. I'm, yeah, Hugo Weaving as, as Elrond. I think he is one of the best cast characters. Yeah. Um, same with um, yeah. Same uh, and what they did with uh, what they did with Legolas and what they did with Gimli. I, I just it was just something I found really f kind of funny and interesting. Is that they completely uh, they switched the uh, the two. Yeah, I also I because I didn't know that until literally just now, and I do also find that interesting because uh, it's. At what point does the adaptation argument become, I guess, relevant? Um, mm -hmm. Cause yeah, I, like that is an example where I think you could strongly argue in both directions. It's better in the book or it's better in the film. Whereas most, uh, whereas most changes that they made, it goes for The Hobbit as well. It's going to be pretty clear cut whether it's better or worse. Mm -hmm. And there mm -hmm. are concessions that they will have made knowing that like, yeah, this probably isn't as good, but we kind of have no choice because uh, because of the, the medium that we're using to tell the story has changed. Like, one example of that off the top of my head would be the, what is it, 17-year time jump at the beginning of Fellowship of the Ring? Yeah. Um, that's not in the film. If you had put that in the film, the pacing is fucked. So, yeah. Like, I, I can understand it both ways, but you, you can't really do that in the film and have that work, I don't think. Oh, no, 100%. 100%. Like, And uh, and honestly, if those are like the few criticisms that you have about Lord of the Rings, like I, if only uh, they are our adaptations, then that's barely an argument. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much how I view it. it, it it's good or it's bad because it was in, like I've had some. I'm not going to say unintelligent, but I've had some comments that I didn't really approve of on the Hobbit videos recently, yeah. uh, as in in the last like couple of days, and because I like read all the comments, and it's basically people who are like, I can't believe you said this. It's explained in the book, and it's like, okay, I thought I made that but clear. You know, Apparently, I didn't. Yeah. But yeah, um, yeah. Like if if I'm trying to think, like what's something that's absolutely core in in the Hobbit, narratively, to understand. The fact, okay, the fact that dragons like gold, that is explained in the film. If that wasn't explained in the film, but it was explained in the book, that would be a problem. Because yeah. the film has to tell you. <laughs> mm. Mm. In some way, shape, or form. Yeah. Like it's, uh, oh, can we, uh, the pause? film has I, to stand on its own do, merits. So, before you start this, do, does anyone else want to jump on Gunner? Because I fancy playing something else. I, th I think Gunner's not for me. Uh, I just need to uh, run to the washroom. Which yeah, no you want. Yeah. Oh, give me a second. Which are you playing? Engineer. You, Engineer. If you're happy to play Gunner, I'll go back on Engineer. Sure. Nope. Oh. Where is it? There it is. Quarters and objectives to fulfill. Let's get her done, lad. Um... Half the cast in The Hobbit is unnecessary. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you're pretty much right there. Not, uh, that's, he's not wrong. Yeah, like that, I think that's something that I argued either in the video or possibly on stream, I can't remember. Um, you don't need 13 dwarves in the film. I, I, whether you need 13 dwarves in the book, I don't know. That's not an argument I'm going to make. But in the film, not necessary. And 
if you read if you check the script for the film itself there are not 13 dwarves in the script there are seven because the other six were just they're just not there they don't have a purpose they just knew that they needed to have 13 so they brought in six extra guys and gave them a costume and fed them lines every now and then so that you know that they exist but they're always what? there in the background which means you're always reminded that this character exists and you know nothing about them because they were not in the goddamn script so yeah that's an example of where deviating from the source material would definitely have been a good thing speaking of which weren't most of their lines taken from the books that literally belong to the let that just belongs to like the main group so i don't i don't know if that's true but what i did find was that um because in the script there are only seven dwarves any lines that the other six had were in the script but were originally given to the seven that are in the script so uh, uh i don't know dory might have a line that was originally for keely and they would just decide really that arbitrarily are. seemingly it's literally they, they just don't need to be there you delete them from the film and the film is the same because they are not in the script it's nuts damn talk about useless yeah, like, I, I guess they didn't want it, because obviously, like, the fact that there are 13 dwarves is a pretty well-known fact about the, it would kind of, like, be, it would kind of be, like, changing Smaug, like, he's not a dragon, he's a troll. Like, everyone's gonna know, but why is he a troll now, if Smaug is a dragon? Like, it's a pretty obvious change, but in the case of the number of dwarves that you have, um, there's absolutely reasons not to have 13 of them, because they, they're not all narratively relevant, whereas... In the case of the Lord of the Rings, like the nine members of the Fellowship all have a purpose. Like, mm. arguably, you could say, if you're being purely utilitarian, you can get rid of Legolas and you can consolidate Merry and Pippin into one character. Like, I would never do that because there's there's cinematic gold in those characters. But like, in the broader context of the narrative, Legolas does not matter. Um, he really doesn't. Yeah. yeah, Gimli matters. Like, narratively, he has a purpose. And his interactions with Legolas are some of the best parts of the, of the films. But if you're talking, like, does this character need to be there? No, you could get rid of Legolas. And in the case of Merry and Pippin, they're both... Actually, no, saying that, in, in Return of the King, they separate, and then they're both narratively relevant. So, yeah. Um, Legolas is probably the only one that you could cut without changing the plot of the films, I think. He's which is more... Yeah. He's more or less just like a beat stick. He literally just kills things. Yeah, which is great. Like having having a character like that is not a bad thing. But yeah. like if all of your characters are that, that's a problem. I think the only narratively appropriate thing he actually did was just point out the fact that the orcs were going to Isengard with and that's literally They're it. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. True. Yeah. But beyond that, I don't see what he did in the actual. So the other. The actual story that well, was, the other side of that is that you could, like, if Legolas didn't exist, you could say that. Well, obviously they're going to Isengard. We already know that they came from Isengard, so they could reasonably assume that they're going to Isengard. No. True. Um, so. <laughs> uh, let me just blast through a couple of comments quickly. Um, would you ever go on EFAP? Yeah, I would. Um, that would be fun. Um, I am a fan of EFAP, definitely. Um, Gagalum says they could have just given the rest of the dwarves cool helmets and armor. They don't treat them like characters and don't treat them like characters to begin with. Uh, okay, yeah, that's true. This is the start. Uh, what the fuck? Mm, what's up? And um, uh, there was another comment. Where is it? Joe B Blount says one thing I want to defend with the. God damn it, the base landed on my face. <laughs> no. Okay, so um, Joe Blount says One thing I want to defend with The Hobbit The story of Gandalf and the Necromancer was a necessary inclusion If it wasn't there, Gandalf would just disappear at an inopportune time Or at inopportune times um, There's a menace somewhere Okay, so oh. The movie, because I don't remember exactly how this goes down in the book but if Gandalf is just like, suddenly I'm gone now for some reason, then the movie needs to provide some kind of explanation as to why he did that. Because otherwise it's just arbitrarily like, and now he's not here for some reason. Which, I mean, you could do that, but it's not 
it's not character driven and it's not narratively satisfying. Um, that doesn't mean, I don't think, that the story of Gandalf and the Necromancer was necessary. If the story of Gandalf and the Necromancer was good, then I would agree with you. But the fact that you need to explain his absence doesn't justify his absence being ex be, be, being horseshit. Like, so I, I I partly agree with you. What is this mission? Sorry, I was I was um, not Aquats. concentrating when we loaded in. Aquarts. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, um, speaking of the uh, the part where he says they're taking the uh, the hobbits to Isengard, the, part of the reason they do that is because so in the book, um, when they f find that out, there's actually two groups of orcs. There's the Urukai who want to take him to Sauron. Yeah. And there's uh, a group of orcs from Mordor who want uh, want to take him to. Um, they want to take them to take them to back to uh, God damn it, uh, Sauron to Mordor, and there's also a bunch of goblins from Moria. Okay, yeah, because the in the theatrical cut of the film, you only have the Uruks who are like, we're taking him to Sauron, or we're taking them to Saruman. Um, yeah. In the extended version, you have the um, the orcs from Moria from Mordor, sorry. And that conflict is present in the extended version of the films. M the Moria orcs, yeah, that's not in the film at all. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the the whole... Um, what about their legs? They don't need those. <laughs> like that that character that follows them into the... Into the... Um, into Fangorn into, Forest. That yeah. exists in the theatrical cut. But you never have any context as to why this guy is there. Because he's obviously not an uruk -hai. He's obviously an orc. But if you just yeah. watch the theatrical cut, he's just... I guess some of them are orcs. Like, the, there is no context for their different allegiances. So, like, that's another and key scene for, that I don't know why it was cut. And as for why uh, some of them are a lot more, like, scrawny and yeah. kind of like, like, like I, they don't, like, even, like, they don't even sound like orcs. Very, like, high pitched, gross, and raspy sounding. Yeah. Which, uh, that's a, that's another thing that really annoys me, um, in in uh, Rings of Power, uh, where what's his name? Um, well, who's the evil elf? I'm trying to remember. Oh, Adar. Adar. He calls him. Oh, we prefer the term Uruk. Uruks hadn't actually been created yet. Uruks were a uh, creation were, of Sauron. Yeah, that's what uh, I assumed. Sauron? No, they were a creation of Sauron. Like, um. One of one of the really interesting things is um, Saruman because believes I, it. I thought Saruman crossbreeded them for Sauron, but that could yes. be. Yes. So, so that's the other thing is um, that's was actually a manipulation of uh, of Sauron. Sauron had actually created them, uh, but um, uh, but Saruman, in his arrogance, believed that he he was actually better than. Uh, was actually better and actually had uh, improved upon the orcs when he actually hadn't. So my like everything. Oh. I was going to say my presumption from just going from Rings of Power. We have an oppressor here, by the way. Was that Uruk is Elvish for orc, and the no. fact that's not the case. No. 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 Okay. Well, then, in that case, I have no fucking clue what they were doing. <laughs> so Uruk is a special scene. species of orc that is like more powerful, oh. and they can also no. walk in the daylight. Uh, sure. No, I, I understand that because that's explained in the Lord of the Rings. But I thought like the the history etymology is is that what the word would be? The etymology of the of the term Uruk originated with the fact that it means orc in Elvish. I, I had assumed that that was the case. No. Because otherwise, w uh, why does Adar want to be called an Uruk? Yeah. But yeah, if that, um, yeah, yeah, that's another problem, I guess. But. Yeah. Uh, Uruk is black speech for orc. No, no, it's not. Like, there's a, there's an actual, like, there's an actual different of Uruk. Well, okay, so I, I don't know if, I don't know if people are talking past each other. So, um, the fact that there is a difference between an Uruk and an, an Uruk high and an orc, I don't think that's what people are arguing. Um, yeah. What I think is being asked is, does the word Uruk mean Orc? 
it I'm trying I, I can't remember off the top of my head, but no, it it's it's actually like a completely different species. Okay, uh, but they're or not tribe, they're not, unquote. They're not named after the same thing in a different language. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Nope, we're okay. I have shields in this level. No, that's a Steve. Um, hmm. Fucking hell, I just lost all of my shield. Uh-oh. I don't know what that was. Um, Do we want to be rock cracking this? Rock yeah, here we go. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the last of the uh, Apocalypse Blooms. Okay, nice. Oh, I got those on me. Oh, you do? Oh. Yeah. There's a, still a whole bunch of Nitro over here that I can't get. I'll plug in the... Um... Oh. I almost ran into that. <laughs> <laughs> has has that happened on this stream? Because it happened previously, where someone oh, gets squashed. Crushed. Yeah, where someone gets squashed by the resupply. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know if it's happened tonight. Jackhammer in place. Uh, I don't, don't think so that. yet. I thought it would also do damage to you. Okay, one's plugged in. I don't know where's where's the other one. Yeah, the other one's being fetched. Um. Yeah, this is something else, actually, that I... This is in the books. Sorry, this is in the films, but it's not in the books. Apparently, Tolkien used the terms orc and goblin interchangeably, but in the films, they are different things. Is that... Why is that? Um, honestly, I think that was just just what he did. Uh, like... Wasn't that I something think that, 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 he, that he would also later uh, just change? Possibly? Yeah, I believe so. Like, I think uh, I think what he was thinking was like an orc would be uh, like an orc would describe something that is more um, human sized or uh, or at least more powerful, whereas a goblin would be a scrawny, malnourished, Moria dwelling. Guide. Yeah, yeah, more yeah, Moria dwelling. Because you get like literally the the goblins in Moria. I think is the only time. Because Legolas as well refers to them explicitly as goblins. Yeah. Um, wh which he doesn't do at any other point. He refers to orcs. I I'm trying to remember exactly when he does, but there's a point where he goes, goblins, and there's another point where he goes, orcs. And when you see them up close before the Balrog arrives, they very obviously look different. Are you mm. ready? Um, I... Yep, yep. Good to go. Let me move my turret. Well, that was also part of, like, part of what he did is, um... All the um, the the orcs and goblins all have different tribes and different uh, like not even their own uh, their own speech or languages are actually interchangeable. So they were constantly um, they were constantly at odds with each other as well. Okay, so they weren't all pro Sauron, I guess. Uh, yes and no. That was that was kind of thing. They were all servants of Sauron. Can, but I, they... can I call a supply drop, by the way? Yeah. We're detecting a jam. Restart the affected parts, or you will be down there all day. I um kind of kind of emphasize my point uh, when uh. When Frodo gets captured by the uh, by the orcs in um, in yeah yeah the the two are uh, the two captains are actually arguing are they're not arguing with each other but they're talking about taking some uh, some of them uh, taking some of the lads the trustworthy ones and going out and carving out their own little raiding empire. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, in the films, they I, I don't know if this is stated, but like looking at them, some of them are orcs, some of them are orcs. Yeah. 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 Oh. Ah, turret. Why you no ammo? We're good, right. Actually, speaking of or speaking of orcs, uh, 
One of the things that really uh, irritated um, or really bugs um, Tolkien was that he didn't know how to make the orcs just... Uh, he had a lot of problems with the way that they were represented just as something as irredeemably evil. Okay. Yeah. That was something that he could just never square. <laughs> yeah, because in The Lord of the Rings, they they just are irredeemably evil. Mm. Um, whether that was as intended is a different question, yeah. and whether they end up doing that in Rings of Power. Oh, yep, go for it. Swarm, okay. Um, yeah, like whether I think it seems pretty clear that they're going to go a different direction in Rings of Power, mm. because the idea of an inherently evil race is not allowed, apparently. Um, but yeah, like in, in The Lord of the Rings and in The Hobbit, I mean, of course they're evil, they're orcs. Yeah. All I know is that in season two, there are going to be more racist undertones with the freaking Numenorians and are there? maybe, and maybe the Black Elf. Well, yeah, because they, they really didn't do anything with that in with with Arendir in in season one. You have like, there's the one guy who doesn't like him because he's an elf. Yeah, but that's it. Like, we will need kindly to your pan around these parts. Which means you know they're gonna try to uh, add it in with season two and expand upon it. I, I mean, maybe. Like, I, I'm just wondering, like, because where does where did he end? That's right, him and uh, Bronwyn and the other um, survivors from the Southlands, they were going to go to the old Numenorean encampment, or, w or whatever it was, this, the old settlement that magically didn't exist until five minutes ago. So that's where they will be when we next see them in Season 2. Unless they're going to yeah. make a meal out of them walking there or something, I, I don't know. That would be impressive. I d well, I feel like maybe they'll do that with the Nori and Gandalf story because they've got to move quite far. So they could do season two as them traveling and season three as them arriving. I, I don't know. Yeah. But I don't think they can do that with the with the Aaron de Bronwyn story. I have no idea. Mm. Do you mean Nori and not Saruman? Nori and not Saruman, yeah. Nori and not Gandalf. Nori and... Yeah. We don't know who he is. Hey, it could be Radagast. <laughs> Or Radagast, they did them dirty. They really did. Right, we need we need one Literally. more Aquax. Where? Still trying to find our last one. Yeah, I can't see. There's a seems to be a cave up there. I'm not sure if anybody explored that. Uh, ping, ping, ping. Oh, up there. Okay. Oh, I found it. Like the cave or the Aquax? I found the actual thing. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, lovely. Uh, and we have the flowers. Is is there another cave that we want to explore? Or I don't see anything. Uh, who's uh, there is a barley bulb in here. Other yeah, than that, I don't see anything. You're in a cave that we haven't been in yet. Yeah, this. I can't really see anything. Uh, I'm gonna get the barley bulb, but I. I did grab another barley bulb myself. Ooh, and some there more is gold. there is stuff in here, so you might want to come in. Oh, where is that? Um, that yeah, that's kind of hard to explain that. It's it's near me. Um, yeah, okay. But I am not sure if there is any much. There's nitro over here. Oh, there's we a can, hole. We can dig straight. Oh, there's here. eight glyphid web spiders over here. Eight. What the hell, game? Yep, here we go. Alrighty. That's it. That's uh, I guess we don't need to bother with Nitra because we're pretty much done. Yeah, I, I, I think we're good. Um. Joe Blount uh, can says, we get some platforms because I'm out of ammo for certainly. My, uh... Oh, in the for the nitro, yeah. No, 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 across. Is that the only exit? And I'm out of uh, zip lines. I got more. I called in a, uh, a resupply uh, over by the base. Uh, no, okay, or, right. Or drilling. That's also not. Drilling will work. There we go. 
Um, Joe Blount says, you, since you asked when orcs could travel in sunlight, Gothmog does in Lord of the Rings. Which one is Gothmog, and when does he do that? Because if he does, fair enough. Isn't he like uh, a... He's he's the really ugly one, the one that looks like he had uh, half of his face melted. When does he travel in sunlight? Because, like, the, the whole... All, well, because all of the battle of the Pelennor Fields, you have that, like, cloud of... It's not... It's not totally clear in the films because I think it's only an, it's an extended only but there's like a cloud of darkness that covers the orcs that shields the yeah. armies so that way they can move in sunlight um yeah. is he, does he, he ever sorry. not do that yeah when he attacks um Osculeth. uh that he was at crosses nighttime, it, wasn't it yeah he, he crosses it at night but uh, it does become daylight as he's standing over the uh the lieutenant uh, oh. that he stabs with the spear I mean, yeah, okay, if that's the case, then fair enough. The the thing is, it doesn't, um, sunlight doesn't harm them. It's supposed to make them sick and weak. But they can still fight and, uh, they can still fight and, uh, if they need to. So the point is that, the point of the uruk -hai, apart from them just being stronger, is that they d literally don't give a shit about sunlight. It doesn't make them slower or it, weaker or whatever, it's... Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah, like, the, the way Rings of Power did the whole sunlight thing, they're basically vampires, whereas the way The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings does it, it's pretty consistent. Um, yeah. Except that I, off the top of my head, can't think of an example in The Hobbit of them not, you know, of them avoiding sunlight. Mm. Whereas in The Lord of the Rings, that is a plot point, which is why the uruk exists. exist. Yeah. And it's a plot point they can't even keep consistent. Like I said, it's, it's, it's suddenly it's not supposed to like kill them. It just makes them like really sick and really weak and yeah, yeah. And, and essentially, I, I I think the closest thing would be like being seasick. Okay. Um. Oh, Gagalim asks, how long are you going? So it is 1 a.m. here. Um. Honestly, I'm gonna go until I feel tired. I'm good to go. Yeah. Uh, pretty. I don't know. I, I don't know how many more missions. We're kind of slamming them in. We're not. We're not really taking any breaks, which is fine. Um, yeah, we'll we'll be going for a little while. And in the meantime, just talking about Tolkien stuff, I guess. Yeah, which is all all good because yeah, different people have different amounts of uh, knowledge <laughs> of the source material and of the films, so it's it's interesting to um. learn, definitely. Ready to kill some more. Most of what I have is mostly on the films. Yeah, I only yeah. know bits of the actual lore. Uh, I I haven't read the books. The only reason I know some lore uh, from beyond the films is because of YouTube. Yeah, and I read the lore videos. I read the Lord of the Rings every year. <laughs> Uh, there's a really good YouTube channel. I don't know if anyone in chat knows or you guys know. Um, Men of the West. Mm. Yeah, and, yeah, they're they're good. Yeah, and he did a series. I think he's still doing the series, but he's releasing the videos very slowly about the differences between the books and the um, films. So uh, any no. major deviations that, uh, that, that the films took over the books. Where is the where is the drop pod? Oh, you guys are going. Wait for me. I'm running. Oh, good loud. Die, you double-jointed freaks! Die! Hmm. He's good. Yeah, men of the West are... I used to like... Uh, was another guy, Nerd of the Rings. He, does, he actually does some pretty good stuff, but... Unfortunately, he also was a shill, so... What, for Rings of Power? Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> I don't... yeah, I don't know how... how someone who likes... Because typically, like, if someone really likes the source material, generally speaking, they're gonna go into whatever the IP is, wanting it to be similar. Um, like, whether they should or shouldn't is a different question, no. but... Rings of Power is not at all similar, from what I've heard. So I don't know no, how... I don't know how that happens, you know? Like, 
I think it was more of like he he, he just really wanted to like it and no one was going to tell him otherwise. Okay. Uh, because, oh, like it's, know, it's cool to see Numenor kind of Numenor kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like I th I think his, but then again, he also got like the writers on, and uh, he was uh, he got the director to do an interview. He did an interview with um, uh, Billy Boyd, I, I believe. Oh, okay. As well. So that's that's why I'm like I think it was more he was a shill. And that was Amazon because Amazon now owns Lord of the Rings. That he was able to say, like, no, go do this because this guy is going to give us positive. Yeah. Yeah, he did. A, he did do a video that he says he was disappointed. Yeah, but it, like, how long was it? It was like six or seven months after. Uh, after, which is why I, I'm I'm very much saying that he was a uh, that he is a. Uh, oh fuck! This is a low oxygen one. Yeah. On an escort mission, no less. I don't know how those missions work. What? How does low oxygen, oxygen work? Is basically, um, Molly and uh, also in this case the escort uh, Doretta will have oxygen tanks on them. And you just if have you to... stray too if you stray too far away from him, you start to you do have some time. It's not that you start to instantly choke, but you see an O2 meter that will go down. And if you're okay. if it's empty, you will start taking damage and die. So you kinda wanna So you go gotta back stay to relatively to close Clarissa or Molly. Um, yeah. Okay, to nice. Keep your oxygen up. Yeah, before we do this, I'm going to order a pizza. Yeah, no problem. We can take five. Yeah, let me grab another alcohol. Oh, my dog is being a good boy. Case, I'm gonna take my lat storm. Can't move while shooting. Well, I probably don't want to move it all anyway. Did I get the chicken nuggies with with the pizza? Chicken nuggies with the pizza. Yeah. Or just get them, get them, and put them on the pizza. Oh, oh, oh! I'm not gonna lie, if I still had the option to order, I absolutely would right now. Hmm. What do you Actually, think, chat? Should I get the chicken nuggies? Yeah, chat, I get the chicken nuggies? Chat, tell Tank whether he should have a chicken nuggie pizza. Oh, actually, <laughs> since we were on the topic of Tolkien, uh, Truffle says, if if you guys want to see a real nerd, check out Tolkien Untangled. The dude even speaks Elvish. <laughs> oh. Okay. 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 Uh, JXI, no. Oh, JXI. No. Yeah, I'm. I'm not a fan of him. But no. No. <laughs> no. I don't know. Just something about uh, about uh, about Jay just uh, annoys me. Has Jay done content on Lord of the Rings or Rings of Power or whatever? I'm, no, I'm downstairs, I think... so I can't see chat at the moment. But uh, he's just saying, uh, be sure to play a JXI video if you're ordering nuggies. And it's just like, uh, oh. I don't know. Just something about him just annoys me. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. It's 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 just something. I think he's very funny. <laughs> I like him a lot. Oh yeah, that's fair. It's just something. Just mm. fair enough. The the, the the nuggies thing that was from the whole yeah. that was the Hassan Piker J thing. That was where that came yeah. from, right? Oh, something happened with Piker and yeah. I, I oh. swear this. It, it was a meme, and I think I heard about it through EFAP. I I might be wrong. Chat can possibly correct me, but basically J. Jay did a... Uh, okay, so the short version... The short version is that Jay made a video that uh, Hassan Piker used as filler on one of his streams where he just left the room and went for a shit or something and left Jay's video playing while he was doing that to entertain his chat. Um, he didn't credit Jay, and Jay was obviously understandably pissed off with that because why, why would that be okay? You're just stealing someone's content. Um, and one of... In Hassan's response video, he basically said something along the lines of... What was it? What am I supposed to... Like, I have to eat, what am I supposed to do? Die, was, was one of the things that he said. As if that's a reason to steal someone else's content. And the chicken nuggy thing came from... I believe it was that he said that his he, he gets his mum to make himself chicken... To make him chicken nuggets while he's streaming so that he doesn't have to leave the camera. Uh, for too long <laughs> and then that became chicken nuggies <laughs> and yeah like i don't follow hassan Piget like at all i only know of him through like watching other people talk to him 
Um, so I don't know if his community has sort of adopted the chicken nuggy thing, but I just find that very funny. Oh, oh that's yeah, that's fair. Oh. Okay, okay, I'm I'm getting the chicken nuggies. Okay. Do it, do it. You can't not have chicken nuggies. I'm getting chicken nuggies. And I'm getting them with cheese sauce. What? Yeah. You never Why? had chick you, you never had chicken nuggets with, with cheese sauce? No. I'd have chicken nuggets oh. with barbecue. Also my dog wants some of my pizza, so I need to go and get him a treat. Give me one sec. <laughs> God damn it, why is everybody having pizza? For well, I, I had a pizza for dinner and I left some of it because I was full. And I just like I just like cheese, so I'm having it with the nuggies. Mm. Well, you know, I'll have nuggets with Tabasco. Oh, Tabasco is amazing. Tabasco yeah. is amazing. There was a I, um, limited edition Tabasco that I had recently called... Uh, it wasn't... I forget what it was called, but it was like a Chipotle Tabasco. So it had like a Chipotle flavor to it, and it was brilliant. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Worcester and uh, Tabasco are two staples in my house. Worcestershire? What? Yep. Worcestershire. <laughs> <laughs> no one ever says it right. Worcestershire. Oh, yeah. I can be a, I can be a blue. I can be blue. Yes. Da ba dee da ba da. Uh, can I afford I to be blue? Be certain that it's called that. I can't For afford sure. to be blue. I'm gonna be blue. You shall be blue. Yes, and I can have a pink beard. <laughs> okay. Oh Although no. Now you don't trust myself. Hold on. Yeah, we're doing this. Beer. I'm snowmaning myself. There's a balaclava. What the? Why am I only now just discover discovering this? I think I may have only just unlocked these. That's a look right there. Uh, hey, no. Also, double checked it. Yes, it is pronounced Worcestershire. What Worcestershire? Worcestershire. That was close. Worcestershire. 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 Wash the Shire. Wash the Shire. It's filthy. Uh. Worcestershire Baggins? <laughs> Alright, I have ordered pizza. Yay. That's and chicken nuggies. Alright, give me a sec. I'm just ruining what my character looks like. You know, for fun. Any... And has it. What do you want me to do? Die? Yes, uh, yes, uh, uh, I will say. If you are weak, you should, you should perish. Uh, should I have another cider, or should I have a beer? Um, have a whiskey, that's oh. what I'm doing. I don't have any whiskey, unfortunately. Uh, damn. Oh. Then what, what were your options? Sorry, beer and cider. Yeah, I have a pear, strawberry lime, uh, nectarine, or... Well, oh, the nectarine is good. What might I will well, say is that I have you might had, as well drink lemonade. I have had point. bad experiences from mixing, like from drinking both. I typically don't drink beer, but if I drink beer and cider on the same night, it, it goes bad. Um, so I personally would stick to whatever. Yeah. I've already mixed it, so either way, I'm done. Oh, okay. Well, then you <laughs> don't mix your pleasures. Oh. Uh, what's the saying? Uh, you you only rent uh, uh, rent alcohol, so yeah, fuck it. Hmm. Uh, the saying I like is that when you drink, you're borrowing happiness from tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, that is brilliant. Yeah, we're going with that. It, it uh, transmog. The the WoW player in me is revealing himself. Right. Oh, that's brilliant. <laughs> I I do like that. I do like that. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. So, okay, okay, so nope. hold Holy on a second. Be before you do anything, before you do anything, before you say um you need to do this, I'm gonna I'm just gonna send it to you. Okay. Aerodynamic. Aerodynamic. What's it? Um I've also overwritten my yeah, that's my other character now, so I've overwritten this now. He just looks like some Frost Goblin. 
Uh, hold up. Have you messaged me? I'm messaging you to you. You need to sing this when you do it. Okay, hold on. Oh god, yeah, well... <laughs> I'm uh. <laughs> Maybe I'll practice that for next time. <laughs> <laughs> Did I oh, hear God. a rock and stone? I like my driller. Where's I've made a new one. That's Where? awesome. Um does anyone want to switch to uh, to scoot? Um I will Yeah, why not? Let's go scout. Uh, what are you running? You're I'm, running NG? I'm engineer. NG? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that goddamn he looks like. Uh, yeah, okay, so we're going Scoot. Scoot's good. Yeah, Scoot is Scoot is fun. I think so far Gunner is probably my least favorite, but I do still quite like it. And like, I feel like once I up upgrade the guns, it'll be quite a lot of fun. Easy to pick up, but hard to master. Yeah. And yes, Joe Blount says, mix cider and beer and have a snake bite. So, um, I went to university in Portsmouth, and snake bite was the um, drink of choice for many of the uh, many of the students there. A mix of beer and... It's a, yeah, I don't know if snake bite is a generic term that refers to a half and half mix of beer and cider, or if it's a specific beer and a specific cider. I'm honestly not sure. But the one that they um, did in Portsmouth was like purple. Um, the fuck? Yeah, I don't. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna Google this now. <laughs> Although someone, I should know that was Truffle. Truffle asks if anyone here is Welsh. I don't know who he was talking to, but he just says, "Are you Welsh?" I'm not Welsh, nah. but I lived in Wales for a few years. Mm. Yeah, here we go. Welsh here we go. Oh. I've got it here. So a snake bite is an alcoholic drink from the United Kingdom, traditionally made with equal parts lager and cider. Um, if a dash of black currant cordial is added, it is known as a snake bite and black, or a diesel. Oh, uh, that, interesting. That may be what I'm thinking of, but everyone just called it a snake bite, so... I'll have to try that next time I'm in, uh... I'm in, uh, the UK. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I'd recommend it. I haven't drunk it for about 15 <laughs> years, but yeah. yeah. Oh, I'll try anything once. I don't... You, you see, that's the thing, is I feel like that... that that doesn't work when you throw things like heroin into the mix. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> or like or like murder. <laughs> well, I mean <laughs> Hey, now, dri driving a tank to protect your country, that is not murder. <laughs> well, talk to the other guys. Oh, wait. <laughs> well, uh, wait, are we saying evil is a point of view, Anakin? <laughs> that is a government approved murder. <laughs> Oh, I would say talk to the other guys, but, uh... <laughs> talk to the hands. <laughs> uh, who hasn't had their beer? Uh, oh, yeah. possibly oh, me. Really... How, how do no, I... I it. Oh, I, I switched no, characters. I, I switched characters, so I do... Does it carry over if you switch characters? It should. Yeah. Oh, well then I probably have it. Yeah, no, Slayer Stout, I've got it, yum. Yeah. Alright. So we're good to go? I think so. Let's rock and uh, oh, but, but uh, speaking of the uh, speaking of the Welsh, how does a Welshman find a sheep in the tall grass? Oh lord, uh, very satisfying. <laughs> I'm not sorry to any Welsh people here. No oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> Right, what is this mission? This is the Oxygen one, and it's the Escort mission, yep? Yep. yep. Okay. So, yeah, just stick close to, uh... Doretta. Uh, Doretta or Betsy. Molly. What am I saying, Betsy? That's the lick you're talking about. Bacarl! Let's go! This time we're after an Omeron Heartstone. In order to extract it, 
Yeah, so you see you got the little uh, O2 meter? Uh, uh yes. Yeah. Dina Pearl, and it automatically refills when you're... Okay, got it. Yeah. Stand clear of the landing zone, team. And remind me, how does the, um, this shit work? The oil shales work? Uh, you'll, uh, mind that when you get the, um, the what you call it. Uh... You only do that at a certain point in time. What is this? Yeah. Hmm? Oh, that's the... Okay, it just appeared when I was digging a thingy. I think it nearly landed on me. <laughs> Um, shall I fire her up? No, 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 go away. Okay. Uh, there's some, uh, nitro... I think there was some nitro. And right Charleston Jew, no. The, um, I mean, yeah, typically you would be correct, but the escort mission in this, I really, really like. Maybe that's just me being weird, but I really quite like it. So we do have two options. Do we dig ahead, or we just drill normally? I... Oh, you've already got the pearl, nice. I say we I'm, just drill right, I'm ahead. Stuck, apparently, the drill on foot. Where are you? You carry a load well, Molly. I'm right next to the ranta, but I'm like stuck in the corner. So probably once she starts moving, I'm I'm free. But for now, um, I can't move. Um, oh, wonderful! You son of a bitch! That uh, that didn't help. Wait, are you stuck? Where are you? Um, yeah, but probably oh, once we start, I reckon when she moves. Oh, there you, there you go. Oh, I no, actually you... thought that would at least dislodge you. No, it did. I'm just... Wait, do I have any? Nope. Sweet. Ah. Which this gun is this? Off the right side oh, that's now. the flare gun. Right. Uh, no, I don't think I have anything that can dislodge you. Oh. Just... You're free on my side. Oh, just okay. starts her up. I, I'm right. sorry, there. Um, Let's go. I'm still stuck. Uh, I reckon I'm just gonna hop out and hop in. Yeah, that might help. That was weird. That was weird. I blame random. Sorry. Whatever I did, I'm sorry. Mm. This nectarine is uh, this nectarine cider is actually really good. I'm unconvinced, but if I'm ever in Canada, I may try some. It's a little too sweet, but it's actually. It's not bad. Okay. Oh. You are free. Yay. Stock and burn. Rock and stone. Rock and roll and stone. We don't want what that the... detonated to get close, do we? No, nope, there we go. Not. It's gonna go pop. Uh, I think my game just crashed. Oh shit! No, no. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, I'll go back and get that nitro. Uh, who's the tank? You're the engineer. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Uh, I need a platform back here, possibly. Okay, I'm gonna set up a turret to help protect uh, Doretta. I'll protect Doretta. Just FYI, I have an attachment on my minigun. If I shoot, I cannot move. Oh, you got that? But it, yeah, it doesn't. It does like a ton more damage, though, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, you got Let's Storm. Yeah, Let's Storm exactly. Yeah. Okay, so where do you need the? Uh, we got nature up there, and I want to say there's more. Oh no, this was all. Yeah, it was there. That was from the detonator. That's why we have a giant hole in us. Oh shit! Oh, no! right. God damn it! What's going on back there? Uh, nothing. He fell. Everything's going to plan. 
I'm calling Molly over here. Hurry, hurry, please. Oh, for Christ's sake. Now I'm gonna die again. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, that's a problem because now you guys can't get to me. The uh, radioactive spike killed me um, and then bugs nibbled my toes. I don't know if you guys can get to me. If you shoot out the floor from under me, does that free me? We can destroy the spikes, so. The one is FTNC. Oh. No, uh. Hmm. Okay. Oh, this is going to be expensive, but oh, I can. Uh, Joe Blanche says if you shoot out the floor, I drop down. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Oh, there we go. Oh, you already got him. Okay. Okay, so how do I deal with this radioactive spike of bullshit? Uh, you can you... destroy it by yeah, hitting you it. you can destroy it. I can shoot it, or... Um, you can you shoot can... it if it has impact, but you can also just blow it up. You can also dig through it. You can also... Uh... But it, it'll kill me, though, if I go near it, right? It will do some damage, oh, and, and you should be able, with full health and a shield, you should be able to kill it before it kills you. I'm running out of oxygen, guys. God, this is all going wrong. Right, I'm back. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, come back down here with yep. uh, Molly. Uh, she's got an oxygen tank. Whenever okay. you want to destroy those actual crystals, hit it in hit it in the uh, the bottom. In, actually hit, hit it meaning if, with the pickaxe, yeah. If you want it if bleh, my god. If you want to disable it in one hit, hit it in the bright spot, which is okay. like in the middle. Cool. You got it? I killed it, yeah. I don't have much health left. That's alright. What's over... Anything else? Or? Um, we got some nitro right there. But, uh, I think you've already platformed me. Lovely. And, uh, Lovely. yes, Joe in chat says that he's a scout main, so he's used to dying in unfortunate situations. Oh, unfortunate locations. Um, yeah, I haven't played Scout very much, as you can probably see. I think I'm level 3 or 4, I can't remember. But yeah, Scout's quite fun. It's good is fun. Good is fun. My favorite class, though, is probably Driller. Yeah, I think it's Driller, NG, Scoot, Gunner would be my favorites. I just, I like being, uh, I like Driller just because of the war crimes you can commit. <laughs> yes. Plus the fact that, like, you can just... You can basically go anywhere, like you're, you're the most, you're not the fastest, but you're probably the most mobile. Hmm. Mm. I think I got all the nitro from back here. Let me ch double check. Yeah, I did. I got a play card. Do we have any sugar around here? No, uh, not that I see. God, you missed you missed a wee bit of gold. Point zero one gold. Still nitro up here by the bike. Yep. Excuse me. Getting the loss of the oil shale. Is anyone grabbing uh, Bulu caps? I haven't seen any. I've been uh, grabbing them as I have actually seen them, but I've not seen too okay. many of them. Yeah, I grabbed two a little while ago. I'm not seeing really anything else. Need to get down ASAP because I'm choking to death. Lock and loaded. Oh, yep. sugar. I found some sugar. There's some sugar over here. Sugar. Oh. No! 
And um, yes, Joe in chat, I am very thankful for you being there. Uh, Joe says, I literally discovered you today. Watch seven hours of your stuff while playing Zelda. <laughs> Well, then Zelda's you are really good. Then you are brand new to the channel. It. This is the new, the new new Zelda. Like this just come out. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah, like I may play it at some if, point. If it weren't for the fact that we already like arranged this, I would have been playing Zelda all day today. Fair enough. Oh shit, oxygen. Yeah, if that if if those games were on PC, I'd play them. Like I I say I have a Switch. Wife has a Switch. I just I'm not that bothered about using it. So, but yeah, I mean, if, if it was on Steam, I would absolutely. I mean, it's play it's it. probably the best example of a of a sequel I can think of in a long while. Because this is really one of those cases like it builds on everything that the predecessor did. Yeah, well, I'm and not many games anymore. I'm I'm pretty unfamiliar with Zelda like as a whole. I'm also out of flares. Um, thank you. The Breath of the Wild was my first. Thing. The other game that I played, so I've heard Breath of the Wild is fantastic, and my brother played. Um, he had a, is it a ROM? I I, I can't remember because it was like a version of the game that was like cracked and worked for PC when we were younger. Um, for Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask, so I watched him play a good chunk of that, but I don't. I never played it myself. Well, they did already crack it before launch, and uh, and made working on the Switch emulator. Oh, okay, right. So if you are really inclined, oh, I I could... prefer not to do that. What I'm, yeah, if it was on Steam, I would happily buy it and I would happily play it. But uh, yeah, you know, the only yeah. time I think at the moment where I would like crack a game in order to, um, like play it would be if it's on a console that you just can't buy anymore. But yeah, the the one thing uh, for a moment I was really afraid. I'm not going to give spoilers, but uh, one of my most hated mechanics of Breath of the Wild. Um, is still in it, but the way they redeem it is because they are now giving you ways to actually deal with that certain mechanic. Would, well, it, be a spoiler, that, would it be a spoiler to say what mechanic it is? Not really, but so, some people can be slightly touchy. Okay, guys in, chat, guys in chat, if you don't want to know anything about the new Zelda game, this is your warning. Mute the mic for about 20 seconds. Mute, mute the speakers for about 20 seconds. Um, yeah, go for it. What's... What's the Basically, mechanic? in Breath of the Wild, you have random weather and it can start to rain. Climbing is a fairly important part of Breath of the Wild. And when it rains, which once again is random, um, walls and everything gets wet and your character basically becomes close to unable to climb. You can still climb, but you will fall down, it will, you will waste stamina. It's a fucking nightmare. That's pretty interesting. And you have no way to deal with it. Just that is still a thing in um, Tears of the Kingdom. However, you now have so you can now make potions and have equipped special armor that deals with that slipping. So maybe that maybe playing it is different, but from just hearing you describe that, that sounds very interesting. I can't think of another game. Like the only other game I can think of that maybe is a little bit like that would be like the um, wet and cold survival mods for Skyrim. But even those, I don't think, affect how you move. Oh, like, I mean, um, probably is like one, this is because um, Breath of the Wild's already, um, and also Tears of the Kingdom, they will also deal like, if there's like a desert, uh, it will be hot. So you might want to have special clothing that really reduces, you know, uh, that will also look more okay. suitable for that weather, but also have will deal with that weather. Because that's a mechanic um, in Red Dead 2, which I was very surprised at because I hadn't seen that kind of thing before. Yeah, the Breath of the Wild is full of that kind of mechanics, and they also have a shit ton of details when it comes to cooking food. Okay. For example, um, cooking is is a, is a pretty big deal, and I'm just going to give you an example of an egg, because you can just cook an egg in a cooking pot, but you can also lay an egg next to fire, which will uh, cook it. Uh, but you can also, and th this can't be done with other foods, you have actually hot springs and you can actually boil eggs in hot springs and that's the only type of food where you can use a hot spring to cook it. Okay. And Link, for example, for opening a chest, he has five different animations depending on where you stand relative to the chest. Interesting. Yeah, things like that, like crafting, 
it, oftentimes I think in games can come off like busy work, and I don't like... I don't like having to do a long list of random shit that I wouldn't have possibly worked out for myself. Um, but if the game kind of teaches you how to do the thing, like, for example, what kind of clothes to wear in Red Dead 2, it, it's very simple to do, it makes complete logical sense, and it's no effort to just do it. But also, if you forget, it's not the end of the world, it's just you're wearing the wrong clothes when you go in the snow. Like, that will have negative effects, but it's not game over. Like, it will give you different ways, because, like, wearing the, the specific clothes is just one way. You can also make elixirs and food and help you deal with the with that specific problem uh it can also be that you for example um you'll have like magical flame weapons ice weapons uh and stuff like that but that will also actually help you with your you know territory for example if you're in like a freezing mountain having a magical flame weapon just equipped will actually heat you up a little bit Interesting. I'm fucking gonna die! God damn it! Yeah, I'm also choking. Uh, I would normally save you, but I'm also gonna die myself, so... <laughs> I, didn't, I thought it would chip through the shield. Oh I didn't realize God, it was gonna right just kill me. Yeah, so right two of us are suffocating. Up. Suffocating. Yeah, so the other bit that, like, speaking of games not being available on the wrong or the right platform... I don't know if I can wait four years for God of War Ragnarok to come out on PC. Oof. Because, like, I, I don't know if it will actually take that long, but that's how long it took God of War 2018. Uh, probably. And that's also my my gripe, like, God of War, I like, mechanically, they're absolutely fine, but uh, the main thing in those games, um, especially the new God of War, is, like, the story. That's, like, in, in the initial pull. But I don't own a PS5, and... God of War is great, but I'm not just going to get a PS5 just for God of War. That's, I just don't have that kind of free cash right now. Um, so what I do as soon as the game is out, I watch a YouTube video about the story. Because once again, okay. I'm not going to watch it. And once I've seen like the boss battles, I've seen, I've seen the games. I'm sure there's some value of playing it myself. But I'm like, mm -hmm. I have limited time, uh, limited cash. Uh, if if it would just be instantly out on PC, bam, I'd buy it without a thought. But that well, yeah. console is just such a hurdle, and I do want to because you know you see the story, people talk about it. You want to at least be able to somewhat understand what they are talking about. So I just watch it, and then it kind of loses it, its initial value. Mm. Like I think I uh, think con console or. Not even console. I think exclusives are just bad for the consumer period. I think there is... Yeah. I think that if you were to release... It, it's a little bit different with something like God of War or The Last of Us or whatever because it's a it's a Sony-funded game. So obviously, Sony, PlayStation. But... I'm out of ammo, so I'm going to call it a drop. Um, I've just refueled. So, yeah, something like... Um, well, I mean, I guess... Let's use God of War as an example. They make that available on every platform. If the PlayStation version of the game is the best version of the game, and if the PlayStation is the best console, people will buy that game on PlayStation. But the idea of like a system seller doesn't seem to really exist anymore. Like, how many people are going to buy a Wii, uh, not a not a Wii, a Switch, just to play whatever the new Zelda game is? Some, <laughs> but I, probably not that many. Like, what was mm. the what was the Wii the Wii U? Like that did not have good sales. But I want to say, was it Breath of the Wild that came out for the Wii U, or did, or am I mixing them up? I mean, you're mixing it up. up. Yeah. I have uh, to say, the... I did get the Switch exclusively for uh, Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Okay. I have what? all the games on it, but those those two were showstoppers at a time that was pretty bare bones. And also, the fact that it was portable was really uh, handy for me. Yeah, okay. yeah no. 100%. The Switch 100%. is a little bit different because it is, again, portable. But yeah, like that, I, I can see the argument for having a Switch even if you don't do consoles. But it being exclusive, it, yeah, I don't think that's good for anyone. Uh, hold on, I'll. someone else can do the refueling. I'll go and get the Bulu Cap. 
Give me a second. Don't drop. There you go. Why? Thank you. We also have a ma a machine. Oh, also a bullet get down there. Okay. I'll go get it. I'll see if I can get a zip line, but I need the angle. That's the best I can do. Oh, um, I don't know if any of you guys have played it. Speaking of games being on the wrong platforms, Bloodborne. Oh my god, I would so love for a 60 FPS PC port. Don't even get me started. Like, I'm not Bloodborne, any kind of... It must have been, it is, well, must have been, is one of my favorite games of all time. Okay. Because, like, I'm not any kind of purist when it comes to, like, it, uh, it has to be at 60 FPS or whatever, but for a game like fucking Bloodborne... Oh, Jesus Speed Christ, I'm going to die. everything in that game. Everything. Yeah. How, how can that game exist at 30 oh. FPS? I don't understand. Uh, I'm going to die. This oxygen bullshit's pissing me off. Yep. Yeah, I'm, yep. I'm dead. I, I don't know where the zipline is. Yeah, it's it's like up. You need to kind of dig your way down because I, I don't have the angle to shoot it. Uh... Okay. I'll, I'll come fetch you. Let me just get some air myself. Thank I'll... you. I dug a hole down. All right. Yeah, like I'm. I'm just trying to think. The most played games that I have, I don't think I would buy a a console or a PC if I was a console person, just to play that game. Like almost just on principle. Thank you, brother. Like the thing mm. with a with a PC is that basically everyone has one. So like playing Call of Duty or League of Legends or whatever it is that you're going to play, it's not really any extra investment for you to do that provided the mm. computer that you have can run it, because everyone has one. Whereas, you know, a PlayStation only plays games. And I know that, like, Xbox tried to, like, I'm gonna die again because um. I'm out of oxygen by the time I get to the top of this fucker. <laughs> no, you're fine, you're no, fine. Okay. The air is getting heavy. Um, yeah, like, Xbox tried to be more of, like, a media hub center type thing, so that even people who weren't gamers might want to buy one. Um, but... I sold my Xbox when I moved house, and the last for the like the last two years, the only thing I used it for was a Blu-ray player. Which is why I currently don't actually own a Blu-ray player because I just haven't had a chance to go out and buy one. I mean, at the time I wanted a PS5, but like when I wanted it, there was no bloody way to get it. There's nitro up there. Is there a uh, platform that I may have? Oh. Where? Uh, sorry, You're right now. Yep. Cool. Thank you. And right now, all the titles that seem to be on there seem to come to PC anyway, eventually, so I'm like, yeah. Oh, then. yeah. What's... Why would I pay 600 buckaroos for a well, it's because that doesn't seem to have any additional value to me? Yeah, it's because the, like... If you... If the games were exclusive and they were, like, truly exclusive, as in you cannot play those games, I'm gonna die again. Can I possibly get a platform underneath me? Um... If they were truly exclusive, then if you wanted to play those games, you have no choice. You have to buy the PlayStation. But you have a choice, because you already own a PC. Thank you. Uh, oh. one of them. Mm. Haram. So one of the things, uh, so as a scoot, what you can actually do is use your grappling hook, aim at the ground, and you won't take fall damage from it. I've been doing that, but I thought it had a cooldown time. Maybe maybe it had reloaded it's already, there. but... Yeah. I need to fill up on oxygen, and then I'll try that uh, again. We have a um, chest. Apparently. Oh, where? There's a battery insertor over the there, so. I hear a bolt. I hear a bolt, too. Better than life. Oh, god damn it. Nope. Money. Yeah, it uh, Oh, it's all just it's the um, pickaxe overcharger. I'm down, guys. Sorry. I can't, I can't get that nitro. Saving the reds up. Thank you. The red is fine. Thanks for saving me. Uh, yep, there he is. Let's, uh, wait, get him. Well, that, does he attack the reds up? Yes. But well, then it needs to die now, right? Damn. Yeah, That's Skull, okay. I got you. Yeah. I'm also Kevin. This low oxygen bullshit is bullshit. It's one of the most annoying, yes. Can we wait, hold on. 
Why don't we just call Molly here? Because then we can cover a larger area. And that is why you have an engineer. Uh, ooh, what is this? Pickaxe overcharge sprinkler, what the hell is that? Basically, this pot will shoot out bluish orbs that you can fetch. And there's going to be basically glyphids that look like they're encased oh. in stone. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. Um, t Tank, could you give me a platform here? Uh, one second, I need to reload. Okay. Where are you? Um, under that gold. Where, oh, Skull's got it, don't worry. Canister in. Just one more. The drill dozer is fueled and ready to go. On. Got it. Danger buddy no. is fun. Uh, start the drill or are we, we waiting? Not are we gonna, gonna do this first? Oh shit, yeah, that's a, yeah, let's go do that. Well, ready? It's pretty uh, much set up, so whenever you're ready. Joe, if you have any tips for Scout, definitely tell me, because I have played Scout for probably less than two hours. Um, you probably want the single-shot rifle on Scout if you have it. I don't think I do. I think this is the only gun that I have. But yes, once I unlock other weapons, I will try them out. Oh, you have to pickaxe them, right? Yep, I remember. Bigger they are. Uh, someone's attacking Doretta. Yeah, go, going. I'm dead. Oh, for fuck's sake, was that the oxygen again? Jesus Christ! Let's fill one of the event ones. Oh, fuck, fucking oxygen. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, yeah, um, supply drops also have oxygen. I forgot to mention that. Okay, nice. There's some nitro right there as well. Yep, yeah, okay. Has anyone been up there? Uh, yes. All right. Um, we can uh, start the rest up again, I think. There were, oh, no. There, yeah, there was gold over here, but I think Skull got it. It might have been a loose piece. No, I mean, like, there was a whole load, but I, I seem to remember you getting it. All right. Get ready me, you are. So, um, hover boots will save me from full damage if I time them correctly? Yeah. Okay. Uh, or at least reduce it by quite a bit. Okay. Does it have a wind-up time, or is it a case of press it and you, you stop falling? Oh, no, it's a uh, passive. Wait, do, do I not have to use them, presumably, or...? No, no, it's just a passive. A so when it's I... It's a passive boost. Oh, okay. But yeah, back to Block Boom, I was uh, heartbroken when it was, like, from soft the announcement, and then it was... I forgot the name of it, that robot game, that old series they haven't made in a while. I was like, no, this is not what I want. <laughs> Good night, Truffle. Thank you for joining. Oh, there's a room up here. Um, chat is saying that the hover boots are inactive. They are? I think they are. I thought, I thought they were passive. I've, I've never used them. You need I don't to know. activate them. Oh, okay. Well, never so mind you, then. So when you're falling, you press the jump button and you will immediately stop falling. Is that how that works? 
Uh, I rarely ever use it, so you have to say I have no clue. Okay. But then again, like, I don't play Scout, so... Is it, I guess it's pretty much only really useful on Scout, because there's other better ones. Yeah. I think I was mis I, I think it was mis uh no because there's a uh, there's a perk with the uh with the grappling hook that reduces the amount of fall damage that you take okay that's probably what I'm thinking about yeah And it was still a boatload of nitro back in that room. Two, yep. uh, two calls. I'm heading back now. Awaiting your call, team. There's one uh, way up in the roof, so you might not be able to see it straight away. Okay, uh, we got some gold there as well. Supply drop has been ordered. Is on the way. Right, let's try and not suffocate so, this time. Good time. This is fun. Heading to the mule. Um, does anyone mind if I if I call Molly? No, no, go ahead. Uh, I'm just hanging around here. Actually, while we're waiting, I'm going to run to the washroom. There's also gold up here, but I do not have the air to fix that. Give me just a second, I'll come over there. Help me, Molly. There we go. Um. Oh, for fuck's sake, bugs, bugs. We got bugs. We got a live one. <laughs> Let's bring them to tank because he's AFK. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Um, uh, oh, Tank's the engineer, isn't he? Um, there's a bit of gold oh. there. I can't really get to it. I guess I can drill down, can't I? I got the final Boodle cap spider by. Okay, nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm suffocating. Thank you, Molly. Look, sorry about that. No problem. Um, was there more nitro in this? Yes, there is. Uh, Tank, are you able to come to me? Yeah, I'm on my way. Thank you. There's nitro in them there hills. Them there are hills. Why, thank you. Did we get all the Bulu caps? Yep. Just need to turn them into Molly, but uh, I, was born ready. I don't want to kill random. You don't want to kill me? Oh, you don't want to summon Molly? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm basically full of oxygen if you want to. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just play. This room is empty now anyway, so... Okay. EV Squad asks, what shows have we been watching lately? Um, uh, yeah, you guys go. Go for it. I've not been watching anything. Yeah, I don't really watch TV. Um, I've been continuing with Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, I'm now Ooh. just over halfway through season four, I think. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. There's a, there, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff in it that's like, I want to say extremely cheesy and almost janky, but like the, the character stuff is fantastic. So like you kind of, 
the, the rest of it is possible because of how good the character stuff is in it. I had such a crush on that when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I never watched it when I was younger. Of uh, Buffy? Of Buffy? Yeah. yeah. He had blonde chick kicking ass. And yes, Joe, um, I, well, so I was aware of what it was, and then I think I heard that, like, Mola was like, this is the best show ever. I don't know if he literally thinks that, but I'm, something along those lines. And I was like, okay, well, I don't remember it being, you know, amazing, but I'll give it another go. And I've just slowly been watching it for the last, like, year or so, and yeah, it's, I can see why he likes it so much. Um, no, it was a, uh, you know, what was a, uh, what is a great show? Uh, go on. Uh, Firefly. Firefly, I definitely think Firefly is better than Buffy, but I'm also not sure that that's a fair comparison because Firefly was only one season. Um, but I like, was still waiting. I'm still waiting for a second season. Yeah. I, oh, God. Didn't I, did I hear that someone, possibly Amazon, I don't quote me on that, was, had renewed it? If only it was I don't know. I haven't heard anything. Because all the actors are now like 20 years older than they were or whatever it is, so I, yeah. I don't quite know how that works, but... Yeah, well, and obviously Joss Whedon's had his troubles recently, let's say. So, um, you know, I don't know how you... I don't think you can recapture what Firefly was now. I don't think that's possible. I think you can take no. the name and make something else. Which, at which point, like, why bother? Yeah. So, um, how's the Reaper uh, clean its spear? Runs it through the watch. What's what? How's the Reaper clean its spear? How does it- Did you see the- Yeah, Reaper, how does it clean its spear? I don't know, go on. It runs it through the wash. Oh, god damn it. Okay, well, I'm not going to elaborate on why I understand that joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's been over several years. I mean, if that's a spoiler. <laughs> oh. Right, how do I deal with this on Scoot? Because I've only ever done this as Driller, I think. Do I just shoot the tentacles, yeah? Yep, just shoot them. Just shoot them. Oh, and uh, opinions on Bly Manor. Yeah, I'll talk about Bly Manor in a sec, because I also uh, watched that. Hmm. So, um, I think Bly Manor is... It, it's its kind of the same as like my thoughts on Buffy. The character work in that show is fan-fucking-tastic. Um... I personally enjoyed Hill House more. I really do not like how Hill House ended. Um, but I think that the highs that Hill House hit are better than the highs that um, Bly Manor hit. Like, Bly Manor is the kind of show where you kind of, at least in my case, I was watching it and it was like, I, I don't necessarily care about what's going to happen in the next episode. And it's like you're just getting, you're, you're being drip fed tiny pieces of information that take an hour to come across. But then by the end, it's like, okay, so that was really good. And that'll, yeah, that'll work. That was great. Um, whereas Hill House was not that. And like the two best episodes of Hill House or three best episodes of Hill House. I think there is an obvious three to choose. I think are individually far more entertaining than anything in Bly Manor. And Bly Manor lost me at some point. I didn't even finish watching it. I can understand people not finishing it, honestly. It takes... It pretty much takes until the final two episodes for it to be like... For it to all come together. Whereas, and like... also the time loop thing, I was like... Mm. I didn't like that part. Well, like the... The, the, the what? What bit, sorry? The... Bait, well, the, the time loop, whatever you want to call it. Okay, okay. Where she kind of figured out how she killed that person, like, somehow in the past, but still the same time, like, the... Um, I forgot her name. I, I no, don't... I forgot any name of the character. The I don't remember the specifics, but yeah, fair enough. Where she tosses the woman... Oh, uh, wait. But no, never mind. Uh, spoilers. Po yeah. Potential spoilers. Um... Oh, what was I going to say? No, it's gone. I'll remember in a minute. Um, yeah, I guess, like, had, had Bly Manor ended as strongly as it was going about midway through the season, then Bly Manor would have been, like, I don't know, I want to say 10 out of 10. Just like, by default, like, just lover's crawl, that kind of drama is 
Because that's the, what, the, what the initial story is, of course. Like, it, it, it takes a different turn. Yeah. But that's a whole less interesting than the complicated family drama of the first uh, Hill House. That's what I was going to say. So, I, I feel like a part of why people um, don't like Hill House as much is because Hill House... Not Hill House, sorry. I think part of why people Blime don't like Bly Manor as much is because Bly Manor is not overtly horror. And it's it it is it's coming about fucking hell. It's coming about after Hill House, and Hill House was very successful, and people liked it, and it is very obviously horror. Like there's more to it than that, but it is it is out and out. It's horror. I just died. Right. Fuck. Sorry, me and Skull are down. Um, I, sorry, I blew it up. And yeah, with Bly Manor, it. Delib I think deliberately shares the same name as it it's the haunting of Bly Manor. It's almost like it's a continuation of the same thing, even though it isn't. Um, so I think that that may have polluted people's expectations as to what it was going to be. Uh, which, that may affect why people didn't like it, but if you forget your expectations and take it as what it is, I... Yeah, I, I feel like that really is the only reason I can think of as to why people didn't like it quite as much. Because, like, it, it would kind of be like if you marketed Hill House as a comedy and it's like, this shit isn't funny, then people wouldn't like it. But that is a separate question as to whether it's kind of good on its own terms, which is what I try to do when I watch stuff. But, yeah, I can... Well, also, in, in, just in my case, like, I come from a big family, so I can far more easily relate with all the family drama and all that than the lovers for all weird, rich family, bloody, bloody, blah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't relate to that. Also, where with, with the entire family, with, with all the bullshit around that, it's just... Oh, I, I, I can feel that in the core of my being. Also, I've got to say, like, Hill House is the example that I would go to. Of, like, any, anytime someone says children can't act, and I, for, for the longest time I was that guy, like, kids just can't act, they're terrible. Because they, they act like adults, they don't speak like children. Um, watch Hill House, because Jesus Christ, the child acting in that show is phenomenal. Like, all of them. There, I don't think there's a weak link. But, yeah, like, I, which one I prefer? I think I prefer Hill House, but Hill House definitely is, it ends a lot worse than Bly Manor. I can't say it, I have finished Bly Manor. And good we good evening. Otherwise, how are we doing? It's Jesus Christ! It's two a.m. Are we going to run out of oxygen? Do we need to call back? No, Molly. No, you can just uh, hang over here. Right oh, here. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll hang you. Just don't forget Doretta. And there's also oxygen at the uh, the rig. Where are we going? Oh, down there. Okay. Yep. Yeah, wait, are we? Yeah, yep. we are. Okay. Oh, yeah, there we go. Get out of my way, Molly. There we go. Uh, right, we're good. Nice. Jesus, that was intense. That was a little intense, yeah. Ooh. I guess while we were on the topic of what we were watching, I don't really watch shows, but I was watching a lot of uh, True Crime and Terraria lately, so that was what I was watching. Terraria? Oh. No, Terraria. Oh, the game. Oh. Yeah. Beyond that, I don't tend to watch very many TV shows. I mean, a while ago, I rewatched the all the seasons of Boardwalk Empire, and I still think that was a fantastic show. That yeah, I've not seen. Rushed. Boardwalk is a uh, yeah, that's an interesting show. Apparently, they um they were skirting a lawsuit because of uh, uh from the Kennedys. Congratulations, Minor. You've proven for a bit. Oh, were they in the show? Um? Uh, yeah, um, 
I'm trying to remember John F. Kennedy's father uh, because they were impl- uh, indicating that uh, he might have had a few ties to uh, <laughs> uh, criminal organizations. <laughs> yeah, or uh, un- unreputable organizations, shall we say. <laughs> okay. See you later, Ender. Thank you for joining. Um, yeah, in terms of films I've watched recently, because uh, when I was on holiday, we watched a few. Um, RRR, which is... Yeah, I watched that for the second time. Best movie of last year. Masterpiece. Um, Meet Joe Black. Have any of you guys seen that? No. I thought it was I fucking not. awful. Ooh, there's a mining mission with Gold Rush. Uh, oh, also for Tang. You had me at mining. Uh... The boss man, he should be able to promote his oh. gunner now. Yes, or, let me let me go do that. Not his gunner, his driller. So let him leave real quick and let him uh, yep. get his uh, promotion. Yep. Um. Yeah, so you actually have to. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, leave I've again. left the group. Yeah. Um. Because they haven't fixed that for some reason. But another movie that I would recommend to anyone. Uh, watching or listening. Um, 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Have any of you guys seen that? No. I have. Yes. Okay. It's it's good. Um, it's a good action flick. If you're looking for something, though, that's more true to the actual history of it, uh, I highly... I don't recommend it. Okay, fair enough. I mean, it's Michael Bay, so, like, I... Yeah. yeah. But um, I think, like, I really like The Rock as, in terms of Michael Bay movies. I think The mm. Rock is far and away his best movie. I think 13 Hours is still extremely good. Oh, um, I love it. I, I love it. Yeah. Yes. Um, it reminds me a lot of one of my favorite movies that doesn't get, I think, enough love uh, in terms of that style of movie, Lone Survivor, mm. which I really like. Um yeah, 13 Hours it is, I guess, a Michael Bay film for people who don't like Michael Bay films. Yeah, uh, 100% agree. Uh, the Rock is amazing. I love The Rock. Right, I've been promoted, so I get... Do I have to choose randomly, or do I pick... Do I get all three? I get the claim. No, you just... You, 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 you get them all three, just random what you get out of Oh, them. good, right. A tri... tri Tritolite Key. Uh, oh, excellent. I don't know what that does, but all right, you guys will tell me. That's uh, the thing you need to uh, use the uh, activate the events that we did. And they're a resource that you have an amount of? You can't just do it all no, the time? No, no. Trader light keys you have an unlimited amount of. Okay. Uh, but the cores, because you need... Um, you need... Uh, what, the, what are the exact names? You need an unused core at the very end of the uh, event to get, like, a cosmetic or an overclock out of it. If okay. you're out of calls, you can still do the events, and that there's still a reason to do them, because they'll net you additional experience. You'll just not be able, uh, if you don't have a blank call, you'll not be able to get anything extra out of it. Okay. Uh, and then I also just unlocked a second, like, perk slot, and also a mission, an assignment. So if I jump back in... Who it was? Is it Skull's game or is it Tank's game? Does it matter? There we go. Skulls. All right, here I I can invite you. Okay, I'm I'm in. I'm loading in. And also, yes, Charles oh, okay. Jew. Uh, Netflix's Arcane is pretty fantastic. I watched that for the for the third time uh, the other week. Um, that is something else. That show, I love it. They, it is. They could very have... easily fuck it for season two, and I hope to God that they don't. Like, I don't want to get into spoilers. So mm. I will say this without spoilers. Um, I'm trying to think how I say this without spoilers because I really don't want to spoil it if anyone hasn't seen it. Friend yeah, of okay. mine, go on. Oh, I was going to say a friend of mine recently compared me to Cisco, and I'm like, I oh, don't Silco. think <laughs> Silco. Yeah, I'm like, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure that's a compliment. Please, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. So yeah what i'll say without spoilers but hopefully anyone who has seen it will understand what i'm saying is that in the opening minutes of season two they could very easily cop out and ruin the ending of season one um mm -hmm. if they do that i think it will be very very obvious that season two is not off to a good start um but yeah that's that's all i think i'll say for now but yeah i fucking love season one i think it's fantastic 
it it was and even though uh the the unfortunate part of uh the unfortunate part about arcane is that it caused a bunch of people to get on to league of legends hey it made me go back to league of legends <laughs> <laughs> I used to play it, and I went back because I was like, man, that game's quite fun. <laughs> and I reinstalled oh. it as a result. We're going to do a deep dive? Um, if we're going to do a deep dive, I need to be a driller, right? Yes. So I will switch off, and... Uh, I can you, want to to do, well, you want me to go to Scoot? If you're the yeah, only you person who has... I can also go... Uh, I can switch to Engineer if that helps. I was just going to switch back to the Gunner. What does... What is this? What is the deep dive? What is this? A deep it's dive is basically a three-stage mission. Okay. Three missions in one. And should I... Is there an assignment that I should take that makes the most sense? Because I don't know... No, this will not be for any assignments. Okay. Because I'm just looking at... Right. Oh, this stubby. I can upgrade my stubby. Okay. Let me change because I also don't. I don't like the plasma charger. So um, let me just make sure I'm using the right guns. The cryo cannon. I think I will prefer the flamer. Um, oh, and yes, um, regarding arcane. So the Imagine Dragons song. I really do not like Imagine Dragons. Like they're not my thing at all. And I think that I want to say I've heard at least two of their songs frequently, and I just this shit. I just they do nothing for me. I really, really, really like the theme song for Arcane. Like I never, you know, you 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 play that you play the show on Netflix and it's like skip intro. It's like no, you're not skipping that goddamn song. That song is it fantastic. Is a good song. Yeah, it is a good. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I, I no, I, I get what you say about like um, Imagine Dragons. It's very much it to me. It just seems like oh, it's um, what do you call it? What's the word for it? Um. To me, it's rock music for people who don't like rock music. Like, it, it isn't rock music, really. Like, it, it's... It, I mean, it's a step away from, I think, what is currently considered pop music, which is people whispering over a ticking noise. Mm -hmm. um, like, at least, I guess, Imagine Dragons, you can hear that there are other instruments in there. But, yeah, it's, it doesn't really do anything for me. I was going to say, uh, it just seems like trailer music to me. Okay. Like, like it's just it's just there to be trailer music. Uh, Joe like, says it's it's girlfriend <laughs> rock. Yeah, <laughs> it's so accurate though. <laughs> I was at the Rock Rafter a few years ago, which is like this big festival for a bit of pop slash rock music in uh, in Belgium. Uh, and the, uh, you would have like this daily paper that would also like there would be reviews on the acts that were were there. And uh, Imagine Dragons was one of the headliners that day, and the next day, uh, like this, well, basically somebody wrote an article, and he called their performance the uh, green mold on white croc shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're just... Uh... Like, I can understand maybe someone liking their music. I, I can't get my head around someone loving it. It's kind of... Do you know? Do you guys know Coldplay? Yeah. The, uh, yeah. yeah, so like mm. Coldplay, whenever I hear it, it's like... This is mildly catchy, but it makes me want to go to sleep. Like, I don't understand someone who loves it, you know? But, no, I, find, cool, I don't know. Like, they, they, they have a few songs that are kind of all right, but yeah, it's just like you said. I find that a lot of some like... It's always the... Um, how to how to put it? How to phrase it? I'm trying to think of a good analogy. I I also it's like the half I'm, sad, but also half putting you to sleep yeah. most of the time. Yeah, but that's not really a good analogy. But I can't think of anything good at the top of my head. I'm oh. probably well, going to oh. another thing that that you now have access to is the forge. You can get weapon overclocks as well as cosmetics. Okay, let me have a look. These will let you upgrade your guns further. So I don't have matrix, so matrix cores I get by doing this deep dive. And then yes. also weeklies and forging mastery, yes. I guess. Yeah. Okay, so once you we know, finish this, I should be able to make something potentially? 
Yeah, because you should get a blank one if I'm right, and you should get two full ones. Okay. And those will probably be one cosmetic and one overclock. After from just we doing this mission? Do or the, yes. these three missions, I should say? Well, these three missions. All right. Well. And there's also in the assignment board. Um, yep. There is the weekly car hunt assignment. And that also gives that is three separate missions, not three in a row. The three weekly individual ones. The weekly I've done. Yeah. And that's just but the I, blank matrix, overclock, and the cosmetic. I think I completed the weekly before I hit level 25, so I assume I didn't get any uh, forge cores, hmm. is my guess. Be, I don't know. Not that, but I'm not talking about the uh, the weekly priority assignment, but the weekly core hunt. Those are two separate assignments. What? What is it called? Sorry. Oh, sorry. Weekly core hunt. Prerequisites. Objective. Breach the core. So I have to complete breach the core first. Ah. Okay. In that case, I'll switch to that first so I don't... There we go. Okay. And I assume that for those, I have to do them on this character, right? I can't do them on the others? Nope. No. Doesn't nope. matter. Okay. Doesn't matter. Lovely. Um, uh, that's the one thing I love about it. Assignments are spread out against everybody, uh, amongst all your characters. Yeah. We're gonna okay. get a scout. Oh, uh, you want me to go scoot? Sorry. We need uh, a second. Uh, I'll play anything but scout. Well, we need whoever it is needs to be uh, level twenty-five or higher, right? You have nope. to be. Yeah. You have to be promoted. Promoted. That's what it said on my oh, screen. Oh yeah. You, I have everyone who's prom. I uh, I've promoted everyone. So. Okay. All right. So we can go. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I have to say, after this one, I'll probably will call it because then it's going to be around four a.m. So, after these three or after this one? After these, th no, after these three. Oh, I, I'm happy to do these three and then call it. That's fine. We've been going for nearly six and a half hours, so that's a good chunk. Oh, it's been great. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do on a deep dive. Uh. Ending it on a deep. So, if we fail at mission two, does that mean we have to reset the whole thing? Yes. Ah, okay. And uh, the, 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 the these tend to be well brutal might not be the word those are like the, the lethal core hunts but um, the, these can be rough with the modifiers yeah okay and the objectives themselves are they unique or are they going to be like what we no. had before um, no. some will have black boxes in them but it's basically uh, remember like the little where you have to the mini mules yes. And you have you have the like this big box at the base that you need to protect, and after that you get the tank that you need to protect. A black box is basically only the first stage of that. Okay. Oh, we got oh. low gravity. Yes, low gravity. And don't let the base fall on me. And one thing we will have to be careful here is make sure we've always got nitro. Yes. Yep. Um, also, the resources carry over, so you want to try and. If you're all kind of okay on ammo, don't use an ammo drop yet. Use that for the second mission. Okay. All your resources carry over directly to the next mission. And it makes sense in that case on mission one to just uh, fill up on all the nitro. Yes. Okay. Try and save as much as possible. But this first is an escort, so we kind of have to deal with the uh, the core thing at the end. So we, we, we need to balance out how much nitro we're going to use versus uh, how much well, we need. If we need to, I we can like save some nitro and then drop a supply drop during that boss fight, right? Yeah, if yeah. we need it. Okay. I, I, normally, I'd say always like drop a, a, a bunch like in the mission itself, like in front of it. Yeah. Right now, not do that. Just if we really need it, call it out. We will drop one. Okay. But. Uh, no pre-dropping uh, unless absolutely necessary. So when we yeah. finish this mission, it will immediately load us into the next one, or do we? No, get... we need to still need to go toward back to the um, rig, and then we drop down to the next level. Okay. So we still get the old exit, like oh, it, it will drop somewhere. We need to go towards it. Well, there's a bunch of enemies. Okay. Oh shit! Do you, I make a mistake? do you want me to drill somewhere, or are we going to wait for the for the big drill? No, we uh, need we're going to gonna... it. And I just realized I got the wrong main weapon. Oh, fuck. Oof. Oh, oh we'll make it work. We will make it work. Let's go. Everything looks fine, but expect 
This is nice whiskey. What was the other film I watched recently? Oh, Don't Worry Darling. If anyone is vaguely familiar with that. One of Back the funniest then, movies I I've seen. I wanted to see in the cinema, but then all the drama cut out and was like, ugh, I'm not even going to bother watching this. The amount and, of drama behind the scenes is in unbelievable. Yeah. The, the film is just so funny. Like, it, it's not supposed to be, but it's, yeah. It's not um, good. And at the, it took a long while to get on streaming. It is on HBO right now, but I didn't even yeah. bother watching it because in between that time, I watched like an analysis of somebody about the film and holy shit the, i haven't seen it myself but just from that video alone there is so many plot points in that movie that do not make sense yes pretty much <laughs> so we're gonna want to come back into these cap what the hell is that giant dna Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to want to go back down the tunnel to grab all the nitro yep. gold. Okay. And we don't have low oxygen, so we can actually handle it now. Yeah, we can finally play the game! Uh, what whiskey am I drinking? Currently, I'm drinking Maker's Mark, which I have not actually had before. I have... Streaming has made me run low on my supplies of whiskey, so I'm having to... Well, slowly refill it. Eyes. I'm having to improvise, yeah. I, I went and did a booze run the other day, and yeah. And your thoughts on Maker's Mark so far? Uh, yeah, I like it. I'm, I'm not mixing it with anything currently, but yeah, it's it's nice. I'm not sure if I prefer it to Jack. I think I'm, I'm just very used to Jack, though, honestly, so anything that isn't that tastes... Well, it tastes a little, little bit different. Um, Monkey Shoulder is another one that I have had a couple of times, and I really quite like that one. Monkey shell is nice. And oh, what was the other one that I had? Buff Buffalo, Buffalo something. I can't remember what it's called. Doesn't ring a bell. Buffalo Reserve. I want to say. I can't remember. Uh, I take it full damage is not a thing in low G. It is. But uh, it is, but it's severely reduced. Okay. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna go back, um, up, the, the back way, up the tunnel. The way full damage work in this game is not necessarily by height, but by speed. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, I remember you saying, I think. Um, Buffalo Trace is apparently the name. I have a bottle of it downstairs, I could check, but yeah, I, that rings a bell, I feel Never like I'm probably right. It's quite nice. Um, Take down that no, I like, uh, also like me some Glen Finish. And I do like the select reserve of McGregor. Okay. Every now and then, like, typically when I go to, like, Tesco and I do a booze run, I'll just, I'll see what there is. And if I haven't heard of it, I'll try it. My uh, brother-in-law, he is really big on whiskey. He's far bigger than I ever was. And he has, like, all kinds of way too expensive bottles for my taste. Yeah. It's good stuff, though, but, like, I'm, I'm not willing to pay, like, 80 bucks for a single bottle of whiskey. Oh, yeah, it's no, I, I don't do that. There's some that my brother has recommended. Um, I want to say Scottish whiskey. Mm. And, like, apparently it's very nice, but, like, I'm not spending that kind of money on a bottle they, of whiskey. The most I'm willing to pay for, like, liquor is maybe 50 or 60 bucks, but then it better be, like, really, really good. And it has to be for, like, an occasion that's not for casual drinking. Yeah, well, I mean, given that from, like, Amazon, I can get a bottle of Gentleman Jack for 20 to 25 pounds. Like, I, you know, for me to spend much more than that on a bottle, it's got to be something special. Oh. And I have to already know that I'll like it. Yeah. I'm not going to spend that kind of cash on a... Especially because you can buy a lot of cider for that amount of money. <laughs> um, I didn't see any Nitro, but it's possible that I missed it. I grabbed some of it, but we still got some more. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I need a supply drop if uh, we cannot afford one. Has, has one already been dropped? No. Shit. I don't think we just don't have the nitro. Okay, well, I'm out of flame of fuel, so um, I'm on my pistol. Which is fine for the moment.
There are so many wardens. Why are there so many wardens? Yo! Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, I'm gonna go down. <laughs> Leave me alone. Repair the radar. There's a wheelie boy. Uh, well, that's a name in chat. Um, I'm gonna read your comment, but first I'm gonna read your name. Spunk McCunkle. <laughs> Um, it sure is an interesting day. So Spunk McCunkle's comment is, has anyone tried Larceny? I've heard it's good, but I've never had the chance. I don't know what that is, so no, I haven't tried it. That sounds like a crime. It does sound like a crime. <laughs> yeah. L A R C E N Y. Uh, yeah. No, I have not tried it. Ooh, that's a Stevie for me. That's a Stevie for me. Yes. It's a crime and a bourbon, apparently. Oh shit. There's no nitro in here. Yeah, I'm just having a look for some. I got some up here. I'm gonna get the fuel cells, because I do think we want to get a move on. I don't think we want to... There's no nitro over here, we don't want to tango uh, There's too long here. There's oil here, but I can't see any nitro. There's some gold, but... Be tricky to get to. I wouldn't bother too much with the gold, really. Like, do you want to... These missions in general, they, they are not as generous with Nitro as other missions. Okay. So, uh... Like, gold, if you can just eat... Like, I wouldn't go out of my way to get gold. Let me phrase it like that. Yeah, okay. Because that's not the reward we're after. We're after the cause, so... But that's my opinion. Uh, I'm not sure if everybody else agrees with that. Well, I'm full of flame juice now, so I can actually be somewhat effective. Oh, I need an engineer. There's some nitro right here. Where, where the hell is that? Back, uh, back up the. Ah, uh, it here. loops around, I guess. Give me a minute. No, what? What? Where? Oh, actually, never mind. I got it. Oh, all right. That was weird. Okay. I killed a bug and it turned into radioactive splat on the ground. Yeah, the, uh, ex the explosive one, the explosive ones here turned into radiation. Okay. Yeah, it didn't seem to explode. It seemed to dissolve. Was it a uh, Praetorian? I think so. Yeah, it was the ones with yeah. the big green ball on the back. Yeah, yeah. Praetorians. Yeah. So, here in the radioactive zone, they turn into, uh, radioactive. Right, okay. Uh, there's a whole load more oil right there, if, uh, anyone needs it. We're almost done. Oh, and, uh, we got some nitro, I'm gonna grab it. Excuse me. Yeah, nitro on the other hand, do whatever you possibly can do to fetch the nitro. Oh, yeah. I think that's right, it. We got the. Can I, I'm just gonna start the engine right up. Okay. Yep. Let's get moving. There's still one ammo in the thing, by the way. Uh, who needs it? I've. I just refilled. I'll, so I'll I don't... take it, but I have already taken one. I think I'm. Yeah. Uh, we. Oh, God damn it! With three nitro up another one. Swarm detected. Keep the drill dozer operational at all costs. One sentry gun ready. Ugh. Sentry off. Don't let him fight you. You are terminated. But yeah, this is a taste of uh, lethal, uh, kind of lethal four levels. Okay. I'm just curious to see what happens at the end where we have the boss fight, because so far this has been a little bit more hectic than the last escort we did. But not like, oh shit, we're gonna die type. 
It'll get worse. I'm, I'm expecting it to. Ooh, bunch of nitro. That's a lot of nitro. Like, yoink. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's that's too many. That is by far the longest range flamethrower I've ever seen in a video game. Is it that? Mm. Yeah, it's pretty far. Yeah. yeah, same with the frost gun, it has a surprisingly uh, large range. Yeah, dwarves know what they're doing. Um, well, Real life, a flamethrower generally has a uh, uh, has a range of about 50 meters, give or take. I mean, that's still quite far. Like, oh yeah, no, it's it's huge. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna need a resupply before we do the uh, the boss fight. Seems to be a lot of nitro here, but yeah. Also, some enemies. Um, is there any I can dig to? Uh, there's a, there's some gold here if anyone has the time. Yeah. What's that? Is this gold or no? It's not. Light is up. Flares up. Where's Molly? Oh, Nitro. Yes. So you said we don't. We only want to call in the supplies that we're actually going to use. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, can someone shoot a, uh... Look over here. Uh, what do you call it? Um... Platform. Yeah, yeah. Come, come, come. Oh, crap. Wrong way. Nope. I think I can get it. Sentry done! Go get him, boy! Boy. Did somebody call Molly, or...? Yeah, where is she? I I didn't know. No, she's more moving on her own accord. She's no, she's yeah, she's nearby. She's being dumb. A big smelly dum dum. Consider this. Legally speaking, rocking is more legal than stoning. Eh? eh? <laughs> God damn it! I hear management's been trying to get a shipment of knee pads. In. Fancy that. Okay, I think that's all the nitro. Oh, oppressor. Yep. I've dropped a mine on it, get away. I reckon we should get started. Sure. Yep. Long. Um, I we can afford... Ah, uh, my maths is not good. Yeah, there we go, we can get another one. One is fine, but uh, don't don't call a second one. Yeah. So here, I want to be using my I want to be using my shovel hands to drill through the pillars. Yeah. When it. Yeah. On the la on the last one. Yeah. Three, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, phase four. Sounds like bugs.
Oppressor. Yep. Rock lobster. Drilling season? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. This Not is yet. swarm. Next one is running season. Okay. Now the fun starts. This is where the fun begins. Another oppressor. Got it in melee. Okay, I'm dry on the flamer, but I'll... I, I mean, I'm drilling now, so... Um, There's still one ammo in there. So. I've, already, I've already taken one. I'm just going to drill, because now it's the drilly bit. Yeah, I'm really bit. I was pretty much completely empty, so I had to take it. So ideally... I mean, if, I, if, if we all are, are like past half our ammo, we can easily take one, because then we're not wasting any, but... Well, like, ideally, I guess we want to go into the next level with zero ammo on everything, but with lots of nitro, right? We don't want to call it a... We don't want to call a supply and not use it. Yeah. So if we're like if we're all past fifty percent or an or, or ammo or one is past hundred uh, percent, just to give away an example, as long as we are able to effectively fully use up a supply drop at the very end, it's worth calling in. Okay. But we don't want to like waste the charge with like only for somebody with only twenty percent, because you're gonna need it. You're really gonna need it. Okay. And since I'm also running dry, I. Might think it's going to be worth it to drop in another one. Well, we're almost Agreed? done. Bro. Yeah, we're almost done. Might be able to hold out. I'm still on half. I'm out on my flamer, but I'm I don't need the flamer at the moment. Yeah, because we're we're there. We're done. All right, just wait. Now, since you guys are low, one of you that is low should carry the head. Low on ammo. The drill does have served its purpose. Because I'm I'm out on my flamer, so I'm happy to carry it. There's an oppressor. Okay. Oh yeah. That purple beam, is that one of you or is that a bug? Yeah, no, that's me. Oh, nice. Which weapon is that? Uh, that's the, what's it called? The, the breach cutter. Right, yes, I think Tank mentioned that before. I've not unlocked that one yet. Alright, press the button straight away. All your objectives are completed. Drop pod beacon awaits activation. Alright, let's move on. Alrighty. Stage completed. Proceed to the extraction zone. So do we know what the next mission is, or do we have to wait and see? No. We'll have to wait and see. Okay. Also, at the end bits like here, um, yeah, just try and not waste ammo like most critters. You can just walk past. That's yeah. Cool. Drop pod departing in T minus five minutes. Oh, hold on. Thanks. 
Take the zip line. I got the red up. Yeah. Come on, doors. Use the shield if possible. Gun the shield. <laughs> oh god, oh. this reminds me of aliens where it's like, God, I want rifle slang, no grenades. <laughs> Okay, I'll be right up. Oh, my pizza just arrived. Ah, good timing. Get in, get in, get in. Right, 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 right. Get in. There we go. Okay, I'll yes. be right back. No problem. Um, payday. I have played Payday a fair bit, but not for years. Like, I've got maybe 100 hours on that game, but I haven't played it for like four years, I want to say. And I found it was a lot of fun because th there's one guy that I played it with and we would just like gradually just build up the difficulty on a particular mission um, and we spent like there was a point where we just Ooh, cranked no up the difficulty shields. all the way and played it on for like I don't know five hours on one particular mission to do it and it was like you have to do it perfectly so that kind of thing I did quite enjoy but it oh, did we, get a little oh, bit repetitive you could have waited for the pizza so oh wait what I didn't hit go what's the next mission uh, kill one Dreadnought and salvage two mules, but we don't have shields, so that's gonna be fun with the Dreadnought. Oh, Jesus, okay. Like I said, these missions tend to be quite fun with the, uh, disruptions they have. Um, yeah, for those of you watching who haven't played this, this game, to me, is Borderlands meets Minecraft meets Left 4 Dead. I don't... Payday did not come to mind when I was playing this, but, I mean, I guess there are similarities. But yeah, Payday is a decent game. Like, I've played enough of it to say that it's fun. Yeah, like, the, 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 the thing with Payday, from what I remember, is we would basically always try and do the mission stealth, stealthy, so that you don't trigger the alarm and if you trigger the alarm it's like oh shit you know the shit hits the fan we need to change our approach because you can just go and do the bank robberies guns blazing and then it's just a you know it's it's like any other shooter which like if that's what you want then fine but like I much prefer the strategic stealthy type approach rather than here's a minigun go rob a bank because you know that just gets a bit repetitive <laughs> When I say highest difficulty, I can't remember. All I remember is it was, I want to say it was the Alesso Heist, if that means anything to you. And um, it was one where... There's a grabber. Grabber? Where? I don't know where, but I, oh, there it is. Okay. And um, it's dead. on this particular heist, it was a case of... Or maybe, maybe this was a difficulty thing, I honestly can't remember. If someone sees you... Uh, kill someone and you tie them up, you, you you can't deal with two people seeing you at once because the, the time doesn't allow you to um, it doesn't allow you to it doesn't allow you enough time to deal with both people which is why you need to have two people doing it um, I can't remember if this was literally the hardest difficulty or if it's changed or if this was a mission thing I honestly don't remember, we're talking easily four, possibly five years ago the last time I played the game uh, sorry about that, I'm here no problem. We've started the next one. Hmm. Yeah, I wasn't expecting the pizza guy for an, at least another half hour. <laughs> oh, that's the bonus of... I, I live like five minutes away from a pizza place and that's just... Oh. Well, I they're scheduled always, for seven... Oh, they're sorry. always earlier than they, uh, than the time suggests. And then uh, again, like, often times... I will just go out and fetch it, save me a couple of bucks, because it's really just a five minute route. Like, why would I oh, I've been grabbed. Thank you. order unless I'm really short on time? So we got two mules here that we gotta um, 
locate the legs for, and then we have to kill a Dreadnought, right? Yeah. Okay. Jesus Christ, this is a lot of bugs. Watch out, the egg of the Dreadnought is also right there. Just FYI, it's in the P same room. Ping it, please. I did. Oh, oh my god, that's right fucking next to us. Be yeah. careful, yeah. Holy, they don't let up, do they? There's so many Praetorians on my ass right now. Yeah, I also just ran to the other end of the room just to get some breathing space. I can't get some... Uh, I'm dead. I'm dead. Fuck. I'm coming here. I, wanna... I, I don't even have time to build my bloody sentry gun. Explosions from Michael Bay! Loot bug down. On the plus side, we got plenty of loot bugs. Which we means do. Nitro. I can tell you now. There's, a, uh, there's some nitro right here. I'm gonna need another one, so. Launching now. When nitro becomes more valuable than gold. I have to read this comment, guys. Um, it's a dangerous business, Frodo, living next to a pizza place. If you don't keep your feet, there's no, no there's no knowing how many pizzas you'll eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, 100%. So I used to, um, I don't know, I can't remember how many years ago it was, but I used to work for Domino's part-time uh, doing, like, delivery. Um, and that was dangerous for the old... Um, scales when you stand on the scales because at the end of the evening if there's any pizzas that people have refused you you just kind of get them yeah which is good but it's also not good because you know, three of them a week that especially if you're not paying for them it's like yeah why not second it's like second dinner like second breakfast you just kind of have it and then you're like oh i need to go to the gym you suddenly why or bleh you suddenly wonder why your floor starts creaking more often. Yes, and why the suspension on your car needs checking. <laughs> oh, well, I have to say, I did gain weight over the last couple of years, but it was more because now I, I used to work in hospitality, so I was standing 24-7. Right. And mm. now I just have an office job and I sit on my ass all day. I'm not allowed to sit on my ass. I have to make myself not. I mean, having a dog is is useful, but also I'm getting some gym equipment for the garage, so I won't have an excuse, because, yeah, that's the, I think, the only downside of the YouTube channel doing well is that I am nowhere near as mobile as I used to be. And when I say used to be, I mean, like, six months ago, so. I mean, mm. when I was in hospitality, I was, I was running 10 kilometers three times a week. I was standing all day. I went to the gym, like, four times a week. I was skinny and ripped, and that, uh, that's uh, no, not even close to the case now. The problem that I'm having right now is uh, 10 o'clock, we have soup. So, 10 o'clock, you're getting fat on, on soup. <laughs> All of the soups. Well, for me, it's also because uh, way back then, I was also uh, living at my parents, and now I live on my own. Mm. And I like to cook, but like cooking for one person, it's kind of hard. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. unless you unless you're doing chicken and rice, yeah, it is kind of hard. And I only have like um, like some people are like, why don't you just just like freeze it? Like my freezer is tiny. Yeah, no, I yeah, hear like, you. Batch cooking is pretty. It can be pretty useful. I um, if you don't mind eating a lot of the same stuff, like... And if you have the space to store and, it. Yeah, you do need the space to store it, yeah. Alright. Are we gonna pop her? I don't see anything else in this cave, so no, I mean... Uh, oh, it's I been popped! It it's alive! Yeah, one thing that's annoying with... For me is... Jesus Christ, I'm gonna fucking die! Is, um, anytime I have to cook food, because I, I don't cook. 
really. I, I follow instructions when I have to. Um, so, my wife is a vegetarian. Technically, Ooh, a, technically a pescatarian, because she eats fish. And I love meat. Like, I will, I, I, I will add meat to anything. But it becomes a problem because I have to then, like if we're doing veggie burgers, I have to work out like, okay, well, how long do I cook the veggie burgers for? How long do I cook the normal burger for? And time everything going into the oven at different times, which is kind of beyond I have, me. Uh, to say that I, have, uh, I come from a family of six kids, and two of my sisters are vegetarians, so that was always fun when I was cooking. Yeah. Uh, for, for me and my wife, it's a different, um, because we both like to cook. Uh, but she's Greek, so she she over makes everything. As in, makes too much. She makes far too much. <laughs> well, that's good. That's better than not enough. Fuck. I've got you, I've got you. Oh no, you're good, I think. Get into cover. Sorry about that, that's my bad. I still cook too much, but I kind of counteract that by not having breakfast or lunch. Hmm. Just eat one big meal a day. Yeah. I pretty much never have breakfast. Shit. I'll iron will it. Um, I am fully out of ammo. I have nothing. We got Such lots of nitro. Time. We got lots of nitro. I'm gonna call one at the at the base at though. Well, was the one I needed? Okay, I'm down. I got you. I got you. And random. Oh, thank you. Shit. We have a- yeah, we have a resupply, nice. Oh, damn it, what the fuck? Ouch. I'm gonna cut him away, uh, one is after me, oh. go res him. He's already up. Uh, we're up, we're up, we're good. Uh, I think oh, someone just tried to knock me. We got him! Nice. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. We got him. Uh, where is that? Here's the thing. For well, that was a bit intense, not having a shield. I'm going that one. Oh, uh, yeah. We're not, back to the we're cooking. We're not even done yet. Oh, we're not done. Jesus nope, Christ, okay. Well, that's fine. I'd, no, no, no. I've got more whiskey. I can, I can, I can survive. We're good. We're good, we're good, don't worry. Back to the cooking discussion. One thing that I have discovered as a result of having a vegetarian wife is, um, like most meat substitutes are shit. The mm. exception is halloumi. I really, really like halloumi. Halloumi's nice, but also the, the thing is like, um... What's halloumi? Uh, so it's, I think it's, it's Greek it's cheese. Like, I think it's yeah. Greek. Oh, Greek cheese? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, but yeah, it's, no, it's I know what it is. So you can, you can like sear it. Yeah, so like they'll uh, like veggies and no, well not vegans because they don't do cheese, but veggies will have like a halloumi burger where you have the cheese instead of meat. Mm. Um, and tofu can be really nice, but you really need to learn how to prepare it well. I can't stand tofu, but that may be because I don't know how to prepare it. <laughs> the main um, problem is you really have to like drain it. Okay. It really, you need to try and get it well, not dry, dry. But uh, you can't just get a, 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 a some tofu, get it out of the packet, and just cook with it straight away. Yeah, like I Ideally, find it a little bit difficult to cook food that I don't eat. It's like, when's it done? When it doesn't taste like plastic? And I'm like, but this shit always tastes like plastic. <laughs> mm. Well, you are you, you want to dry it first, which will take up to 30 minutes to an hour with some weights on it, and you just have to turn kitchen towels to uh, to replace them a few times. So you really get most of the moisture out. Cut it into cubes, marinate it really well. So this is not like a quick meal. This, this, this you need you need prep work for this one. I um, like to use like several nuts oils depending on what you want, and just with some chili and some soy sauce, and let it marinate for like 30 minutes, preferably longer if possible. And then when you're finally ready to cook, just like have to have the cubes and just make sure that they're just nice and golden brown on all sides. Uh, oh, who's down? Skull, got him, we got him. Yup, sir. Ah, fuck, I'm down now. 
And it's also like vegetarian, like that other people like they they want like a they want a meat substitute, but you really that's also like a mentality, like you really don't need a meat substitute. That's really not necessary. Mm. Like I'm not a vegetarian, not at all. Hell, I my work is my work relates to the meat industry, so I have a vested interest in that keeping that you know keeping course. Yeah, there's, but, uh, there's plenty um, of like, vegetarian food that is nice, but as soon as you start being like, I, I want, like, bacon, like, fake bacon, it's, it's like, yes. it isn't bacon, it's plastic, it, yeah. Turkey bacon's like, not bad. For example, like, I try to, I do try to eat vegetarian once a week, but more, it, that's more because I, I, I eat too much meat. Right. And, like, I'll just have, like, roasted veggies, like, just some sweet potato with some carrots, with some onions. And, you know, maybe some other vegetables with some nice herbs, and that's it. I don't need a specific thing that compensates for the lack of meat. Yeah. My my wife refuses to cook vegetarian. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> I, I think once, um... any vegan or vegetarian that needs replacement meat is just jealous of people who are not vegan. <laughs> Yeah. I once did get really angry at my sisters because, like, I once again, like I mentioned, two of my sisters are vegetarian, and I used to cook a lot when we were all living at home. And there was this one day, and like, I needed to fix somebody's stuff. Like, everybody was was wanting a piece of me. I was super busy while cooking, and I had to go outside to uh, help somebody with some stuff, like just for like a quick five minutes, and. I was only asking them to quickly, like, flip the burgers. Just fucking get a special <laughs> up, flip it. Nothing more. And they didn't want to do that because it was meat. And I just exploded because I had to go through all the hassle every single time of cooking their vegetarian food all separate, all with separate times, all trying to manage that with all the additional washing up and everything. And then they they are too fucking snide to flip a burger. Oh, I lost it. <laughs> yep. Oh shit! I'm out on my flamer. We're we're good. We're good. Okay, we have enough for two more supply. Oh, we got there's one over here. I'm gonna. There's still a, a two charges in this one. Yep. There's a grabber. He's, he's gone away. He's dead. Permanently. Um, veggie Indian food is outstanding. Dal paneer curry, naan bread's delicious. Um, I haven't eaten much Indian food, but what I have eaten I like. Like Mexican food, Mexican food and Italian food is kind of my go-tos, I guess. Mm. And like, you know, a burger, obviously, which is... I don't even know where. I guess that's American. Chicken curries can be really good, though. Yeah, curries like a good curry is really, really nice. But I would, mm. I wouldn't really go for a veggie one. I'd go for a, a meaty one. I, actually, saying the... that, prawn curries are what I would usually go for, which I guess technically is pescatarian. But, the yeah. one thing that the the one thing that the galley makes uh, makes that is um, that I, I I love is uh, they make uh, a prawn curry every Tuesday, nice. and it is wonderful. Yeah, spicy king prawn curry would be, if I was going to order from like an Indian, that's what I'd go for. And whether that's actually Indian food, I don't know, but if I'm ordering from an Indian restaurant, that's the kind of thing I'm going to go for. I would say that I have a weakness for Asian food. I just like it. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's hit and miss for me, because, again, Indian food is very nice. Chinese food is... I, I don't think I like. And Japanese food I just can't stand. Yeah. We can go. Go in. We're good? Okay. Let's go. Oh, that was close. That was good. That was good. Chicken nuggies. Nuggies. Burger is German. Is burger? Is that actually true? Well, I mean, the word sounds like it could be German. German. Oh, hamburgers. Uh, hamburgers are German. Oh, they are. Okay. Oh. Interesting. I did not know that. Yep. Uh, they were one of the few things that were actually going to be um, oh, low oxygen. Low oxygen. God damn it! Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts on no oxygen.
Oh, fuck me sober and sideways. Okay. And just to be clear, if we die, we have to redo the last two missions, right? Yes. Okay. Because fuck me, right? Okay. At least yep. we no longer have to be careful with our supply drops. Um, yeah, that's true. Good that we had this one last, I guess, yeah. Last yeah, a good, on, right a, good, a good burger is is great. Honestly, a, like a burger is kind of like pizza, where like if it's bad, it's still pretty good. Yeah. Whereas like a curry or something, like a bad curry is just like, what am I eating? Eyes on your objectives. Let's get it done. You know what food is actually remarkably difficult to do right, and people don't ever think about it? It's chicken. Um... Yeah. I can probably, I'd probably agree with that. Like, if I'm just doing chicken for myself, I'd probably just get, like, a chicken breast and cover it in, um... What is it? It's like this seasoning mix that I used to buy when I was when I would just eat chicken breast. And I can't remember Ooh, what it was. Do seasoning mix. It, 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 yeah, yeah, this is coming from someone who isn't a chef at all. Um, and I'd literally just coat the uh, coat the chicken in whatever the seasoning mix was. So it's basically entirely protein. There's no sauce. Mm. <laughs> Probably and about eight so percent salt. And it's so hard quite to possibly. not get it chewy. It's hard to get it tender. Yeah, if it's overcooked, it's. It doesn't. It, yeah, it, it took me a little bit to get that right, but I, yeah. I feel like I could probably cook a chicken breast from Tesco. Whether that would pass any kind of food test, I probably not. But uh, but boss man, you might want to go restock. Um, yes, I will. Yeah, I need to get back. I need to get back. Yeah, no, just call them all to you. Yeah, I, I don't know if that's the kind of time to wait for Molly. Getting some more. Right, I'm full. We're good. So, I guess we're probably going to go for the Morkite and then trigger the Dreadnoughts if we found them? The Morkite would probably be faster, yeah. Okay. Well, we already almost got the Morkite, so... There's a brood nexus yep. somewhere. There's a. I found one dreadnought. The other dread is uh, near you, frog and tank. I don't know if you can see it, but I'm I'm next to the other one. Uh, I can't see it. Oh, grabbers! Watch out! I got the perk, so I'm fine. But uh, I'm calling uh, grabbers. There's never I'm just one. I'm calling Molly, because we're almost out of uh... Oh, for fuck's sake, oxygen. Jesus Christ, I forgot about the oxygen. Yeah, I've yeah, called... Need, I've called need. Molly. Get over here. Get over here. I don't know if I can. I'm running. You're... I mean, I'm next to Skull, so Skull can get me up if necessary, but... I might... Uh, also be out of air. Uh, this is what the... No! Oh, you can get to... You get to the... Get to the supply drop. There's a supply drop right next to me. God damn it. Hold on. I'm gonna just die from mobs over here. I'm not gonna one pop Iron and Will. One. I'm gonna save Iron Will for the Dreadnought. Thank you. Um, should we, given that we're on low oxygen and we need Molly to stay alive, should we group up? Because I, I've totally yes. forgot. Yeah, we need to just stay together. Um, right, I'll drill to them. Oh, for fuck's sake, goddamn oxygen again. I forgot to fill up when I came back up. Right, yeah, I'll just drill straight to them. At least we got shields. Uh, yeah, we got shields, but we don't have air. Apparently apple pie is also German. That I actually did know. Oh, for fuck's sake, don't follow me, Tank. Uh, Tank Skull. Down it goes. Did you just fall? Yes. Yeah, you've just fall. I'm just gonna... Put one down, just to be safe. Eat it, you Donkey, come here! 
Right. A little bit more Morkite. Vubis does Morkite. There's Nitra up there. There's Morkite up there. Oh, yeah. I need uh, I need some light up there. Sounds more Nitra. Yeah. How much Nitra do we need? 16 more? Uh, what, to be able to drop three? No, no, um... Where is... I found another cave system, by the way. Oh, goddamn oxygen. Just wait with that. I reckon we're gonna kill the... Yeah. Dreadnought first. Here we go! So long, suckers! Oh, please don't be the Hive Tyrant. Hive Tyrant? Oh, no. I'm taking some of the... Yeah, they... Hive Guard one. You're talking in Warhammer terms, buddy. <laughs> You're confusing me. Let's also try to get this out of the way. I can deal with the twins, and I can deal with the... Uh... Yeah, the, there was a, a hive with the, with the deep dive last week that I had, and it was just all oh, painful. You think you can go up to that spot? Do we, well, Frog and Skull, you're pretty low on health. Do you want to fill up before we pop it? Uh, I don't see any... I'm just red sugar, oh. and my ammo is kind of alright. Oh shit, where is... So I don't really want to waste an ammo charge. Okay. That. But maybe after this wave, from the looks of it, uh, <laughs> ammo might need to get a little bit of a refill. Yeah. So maybe that problem will solve itself. Uh, I'll just recharge halfway through. Just keep one charge for me and I should be fine. All right, I'm ready. Yeah, good to go. We fuck you up, Slabowski. Oh my nice, the twins. Ow. Don't forget about oxygen. Yep. Oh, they're gonna heal, they're gonna heal. Use it to get oxygen. Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, Jesus. Can I get a shield on the uh, ammo? Go for it. They're gonna heal. They're gonna heal. Okay. Got a few shots in. Up, up top, up top. They're gonna heal, they're gonna heal, get oxygen. Yep. I think we can probably burst down the lancer the lancerator. Yep. Yep. Nice. Lacerator now this one's gonna go berserk. There is a tempest in me! <laughs> there we go. There we go. Lovely. Right, we need four more Morkite. Oh, and one more Dreadnought, because that only counts as one. That still only counts as one. God damn it. Oh, this is... No, we're doing good. We're doing good. Yeah. 
and I've got a little bit more nitro, so we should be able to get one more. I got three nitro on me. <laughs> I have ten. Oh, nice. All right, we got enough for at, at least one more. Okay. Whatever the case is, do not drop it anywhere else than near the other thing, because we're gonna need the oxygen. Uh, um, yeah. Point. Yeah. I'm gonna leave. Um, I'm actually pretty good on am ammunition. I got 320 on my assault rifle and. I'm and also I'm okay ish on ammo, so. I'll, uh, well, then I'll yep. take another one because I'm down on the flamer. I was completely dry. Yep. Okay. And then some red sugar here so you can heal. That would be great. Because that would be the only incentive for me to currently use ammo. I'm calling Molly with us. Yeah. Uh, well, I need to read this as well. So, another comment from Joe. One last interesting food fact. Yorkshire puddings aren't from Yorkshire. It was a joke at our expense because Yorkshire is a poor area and they're cheap to make. Damn. I did not know that either. Uh, let's I do wait like for Yorkshire Molly. puddings, though. Yorkshire puddings let's are fantastic. Wait for Molly. Uh, your oxygen. Nice with some gravy. Yeah, Yorkshire puddings are the best part of a Sunday roast. I don't like toad in the hole, though. Toad in the hole's good if there's enough sausage in it. Uh, if it's just, like, if you just have a plate of, like, dough, or not dough, I guess essentially Yorkshire pudding, then, yeah, it's a bit bland, but yeah. Uh, I've tried them with several different kind of sausages, and I just never, the, the, the pairing just never seems to be there for me. But maybe I just buy shit sausages, so. Are we going the I right will way? admit I have come to have a craving for, um, Yes, we are. Uh, sausage rolls. Again, sausage Ideally. rolls are good if the sausage is big enough. If it's more roll than sausage, it doesn't do it for me. I got the final more kite. Okay. Just take your Calling Molly. Uh, there's some re red sugar here, although I think all of you guys are full. Yeah. The room seems to be fine. You might want to get rid of some of this radiation bullshit. Oh, no. Nice. Uh, that would be oxygen. Oh, yeah. I also need oxygen. Where is Muley? I'm going to drop the ammo. Muley. Oh, there, there she is. No, don't run away, you bitch. <laughs> I'm losing health, Molly. Nice and safely, you right on top of the egg. Yep. Ready for the dreadnought? Uh, let me move. I'm right on it. No, 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 no. I need to fix my sentry. Okay. Sentry done. Go get him, boy. Yep. If we discover I'm ready. a new mineral, you think we get to name it? I think we're actually doing alright. Oh, nice. Okay. We got lucky. No hive guard this time. I'm kind of surprised, honestly. I'm I'm happy with that. What does what does the harder one do? The hive guard summons all the men, all the friggin' minions. Okay. Oh, oh, well, shit. first I have three or four minions that you need to kill before you can damage it. But after you kill those minions. He has three soft spots that you need to kill in order to be, to be able to actually damage it. And okay. then you only have a very small window to damage it before the whole show starts again. So it's basically this, but with like uh, extra steps. Yeah. So that will waste a lot more time, a lot more ammo, and it's also a lot harder. Shit. 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 Fucking guard dogs. Uh oh. I need to get some of that sugar down there. Why? Yes. He does not like me. Ooh, oxygen. That would be a good idea now, wouldn't it? It would be. Uh, I need oxygen. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Fuck. 
We also might want to call Molly round down there somewhere because it's not exactly handy to have Molly right next to the already existing oxygen source. I'm down. I've iron willed. No, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm down for shizzle this time. I got you. I got you. Thank you. Nope. Fuck. No, I'm down again. Did you shoot? Did you kill yourself? I did no such thing. I'm gonna you make did. a little path. Oh fuck! It, it's low on health. If you want to kill it before worrying about me. Oh, okay. No, it's on higher health than I thought. Thank you. Oh, Jesus Christ. I hate Jesus this Christ. weapon. Yes. Fine. Oh, we got it. Nice. Oh, Lord. Oh, that was intense. All objectives done. Press the button on the mule. Alrighty. Not the worst deep dive I've had. That's that, actually one of the best. That was my first ever deep dive. That went all right. That went actually very smooth, to be perfectly yeah. honest. It's not a bad one. So with deep dives, do you do you choose like hazard levels, same as normal? No, no, no. So they it just are, is what it is. They are set and they will gradually increase. Okay. Regular start out at, I think hazard three, and then go up to four, and then four and a half. Elite deep dives, they start out at at four, go to five, and then go to five and a half. Yeah, elite deep dives uh, are uh, something. Yes. Yep. All right, let's call her. Okay. Let's get out of here. Oh god, my health's. You're fine. There's some. There's some red trigger out there. I think we're going down here. Yep, yep, yep. At least the drop pod's close. Yep, there we go. Yep, there we go. Like that! Rock and stone! Rock and stone! Stock and rune! It's on the road! That TNT is a bit too close for comfort to me for her. Yeah, that's a bit of a. Hmm. Bit of an optimistic TNT. Okay, doors open. Slappy, slappy. And there we go. Bam. Oh, good. What bam? Well, that went pretty well. Oh. And I think I got an achievement for doing a deep dive. Yeah. Must oh, sorry, I got a skin set. skin set for the gunner. For the scoot. Yeah, I got a weapon set for the driller. And just to be clear, you, you don't unlock these right away, but you have the option now to forge them in the uh, Matrix Forge, whatever you want to call it. I'll have a look now so I can see oh. how the currency works. Oh. Because it, yeah, when, when I just interacted with it before doing this mission, it said you can't even view it unless you have the thing. Uh, you probably didn't have any, but if you go to it now, it should show you the ones you just unlocked and then you can decide to craft them for a cost and for every five that you do you get a mastery level the mastery level in itself is not really important but it will switch out in between a cosmetic or a uh, overclock and you get to pick between two classes to get a random uh, overclock yeah. for so what I've got here is I've got the Moss Crawler weapon skin set, which is just skins. And then I've also got AG Mixture Clean Overclock for the Driller. That looks like it's for the Cryo Cannon, or is that... For the Sludge... Uh... Oh, I don't... I don't. I haven't actually unlocked the Sludge Gun, if that's a thing. I. Yeah, you, you, you can... Um, you can already get overclocks for weapons you haven't unlocked yet. Yeah. Okay, oh, so... Cairo. Let's see. Bullets do Cairo. All damage. Can I unlock okay. the the... Sludge gun, like have I just missed it? If I'm level twenty-five. Uh I for the life of me I can't recall at what point you are you can unlock it, but Okay. 
Hmm. But like, I may as well just get it, I guess. Uh, I suppose. For the sludge pump, anti-grav pills suspended in the sludge let the projectiles fly further and faster. Um. Well, yeah, I mean, I have a shitload of resources. So, like, the point of overclocks is that it's it lets you mod your guns that you're currently using yeah. to let you play um, in a certain as way. As you see, that was a clean overclock. But you also have, like, a clean overclock does basically nothing but uh, have some slight bonuses. Yeah. But you also have things like unstable overclocks. They basically give a very good plus point, but they also have drawbacks. So yeah. it's a bit of a balancing scale. Okay. How much do you want to tweak your weapon? Interesting. And some of them will actually, like, you have also have balanced overclocks. Uh, that still, like, increases one bit, decreases a little bit, but unstable overclocks are the most drastic changes to weapons. Okay, so you have, is it clean and then unstable and that's it, or are there different tiers? No, it's clean, balanced, and stable. Okay, cool. Clean is just only positives, but the positives are, you know, minor little things, nothing too drastic, but it's a nice little boost. An unstable, uh, so sorry, a, a balanced overclock will kind of shift it in a different direction. Um, like, a slightly, uh, just to name a thing here, like, uh, for the, I got a balanced overclock for the stubby, which in significantly increased my fire rate, and it does bonus electrical damage, but it also increases the base spread. And for a okay. different weapon, I got an unstable overclock, which significant, significantly increases weak point damage when all locks are engaged. Very fast lock acquisition, but it reduces the maximum locks Let's I can get, and it reduces the magazine like size and ammo do. size. So that's a bit of a, you know, big plus for a big drawback. Okay. Yeah. And some of them might even change some in some weapon interactions altogether with the unstable ones. Yeah, like um, I just got one for my dual machine guns that uh, apparently creates um, cry uh, cryo minelets. For which gun, sorry? Uh, my submachine guns. Okay. So, yeah. I also for like the driller for the for the pistol, I got an explosive reload and stable overclock. Uh, I will have a lot less ammo, um, but every bullet I shoot will stay on as a little mini bomb on an enemy, and when I reload, they explode. Okay, nice. So it's yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just play around with it. I yeah, I just saw Joe's comment in chat as well. Uh, not a lot of point upgrading the weapon if I haven't yet got it, but yeah, I had already clicked it. But yeah, when I unlock the weapon, I will already have the overclock, which I guess is a plus. You'll, you'll have so many resources, like at one point I was just making my calls um, just to get like some Forge Mastery levels and get some random uh, things out of it, and I still yeah. have way too too many things I haven't built yet. Well, I could I've, probably... I've got... I've got loads of every resource, uh, but I, it looks like the bottleneck is cores, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, and how do you get cores again? You you have to do deep dives. Uh, and... Just the only way you can really get them is by um, promoting your characters, like because the first one, the first level just unlocks functionality, but the second level will remote you with uh, random cores. But of course, twenty-five levels, not a real easy way to get them. Yeah. Uh, the weekly deep dives and the elite deep dives; those are two separate pools, and just a weekly core hunt that assignment. Sucks. Okay. And that's it. More shiny. <laughs> I take it we are pretty much done. I think we're pretty much done, but uh, come to yeah. the dance floor if you're not already there. Uh, <laughs> and like we did before where I'm oh, passed wow. out on the floor. Yeah, pretty much. That's, uh, that's an image. Huh. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck oh, that's nice. oh, there we go. Uh, well, can I, can I, can I? Oh no, what are you doing? Wait, hold on. Is this the is this we the blackout the blackout one? 
we should all have a blackout stout, pass out, and then end the stream like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh no, oh fucking hell, it's yeah. moving me. I need to try and line this up. Oh, I'm not in line with you. Oh, god damn it. You got this, you got this, you got this. Damn you, deep rock galactic. I think we're okay. There you go. Right, there we go. Close enough. Well, that's it for us. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's as good a place as any to end the stream. Um, this, uh, we are now at, we're a minute shy of being at seven and a half hours, which is the longest stream I've ever done. Um, yeah. This was a bit of a long one, but it was a lot of fun. So, yeah, it's fun. Yeah, thank you guys for joining, and thank you everyone in chat for uh, sticking around or jumping in and out as you as you will. Um, yeah, next stream is going to be God of War, where I will finish God of War, which will be on Friday, uh, this no, no, next really. coming Friday. And then after that, I don't know, so I will work it out at the time. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, guys, and uh, I'll see you see you when we do the next stream. Thank you for watching. Take it easy. Yeah, take it easy. Rock and stone, brother.